perfectly timed, Kojima. That was like the ending note of the song. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for being here. Hope you're as excited as I am to continue. It is not an exaggeration when I say that when I finish streaming to the next stream start, at least 70% of the time is spent looking at Twitter because uh, Kojima tweets and retweets more than Donald Trump. I don't know how that's possible. Someone has usurped the throne. I just opened Twitter and it's just a steady feed of retweets from Kojima. Unceasing. I think now that the game is out and they're not having to do like crunch time to get like a day one patch, he just probably kicks his feet up on the sofa and just scrolls Twitter. And then just clicks retweet like on everything that has the Death Stranding name in it. Like, since the stream started, he had two retweets. And most of it, I'll be honest, I can't understand because it's in Japanese. But sometimes he retweets other stuff too. So I just, I just kind of let the... Uh, I just absorb it like a sponge. Sometimes there's pictures and I look at the pretty picture. But I have not spoiled myself on anything. I've, oh, okay, that's not true. I spoiled myself on one thing, but it wasn't my fault, nor Kojima's. It was another content creator I'm friends with tweeted about a mechanic that I haven't gotten to yet. But that's okay. Because I'm sure it'll still be fun. Anyways, it looks like uh, most of the states have been claimed. Um, Alaska was among the first that was picked. Interesting decision. Uh, Django is going to rebuild Kansas. That's very respectable. Hebu is going to rebuild all of Texas. I don't know why you would take one of the biggest states under your wing to rebuild that one first. But uh, you're going to have a tall order there. Florida didn't expect that to be in the top four. Uh, but maybe you could do a better job. I'm just confused. <clears throat> Maine, Tanglies, congrats. Uh, there's a lot of non-states here. There's a lot of uh, countries that don't exist inside the contiguous United States. Does Guam count? Uh, Serrano, this is not a political stream. Thank you. Pennsylvania for Toasted Bagel. There you go. Delaware, musically. Congrats. I'm just confused at Florida or Oregon. I guess you get Oregon then. <laughs> Where is this poll? Uh, for the for the VOD boys that were confused, that can somehow well they wouldn't be able to see chat I guess, or they they just hear what I'm saying and be confused. My stream announcement was just a joking. Uh, my go live notification said rebuilding the USA and Death Stranding first fifty chatters get to claim one state each to lead. Go. And that's what people have been doing. They've been making claims. <laughs> so at least half of them have already been swept up. That's the first. You can't have just Southern California. You gotta go all in. You claim Louisiana? Narnar, you go where most wouldn't. I wouldn't claim Louisiana. Green Courier says, hi, what up? Well, I'll go where Monster Energy is made. <laughs> hey, Zuberman, how's it going? All right, getting warmed up here. Dishes have been cleaned, therefore... Uh, hold on. Unprepared streamer. 
Toast to you, chat. A fresh cup of coffee. Thematically relevant again. I have to use it while it's the most relevant. Nice crab shirt. Thank you. Maybe one day there'll be another. Honestly, after the game is done, I'm probably going to buy some merch. Because I'm, I'm going to be lame like that. Unless, again, unless something happens. I'm going to buy some... I need some new shirts anyways. I got three new ones I can wash. And you guys are going to be like, whoa. Never worn that shirt before. I'll be like, yeah. My streamer wardrobe has increased. <laughs> anyway, those of you... um who were not able to see the end of the stream last night are in for a surprise, I think, here in a sec. As we jump on in here to Death Stranding. If you did not see the end of the VOD, you are in for a treat. To wait until it loads. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Oh, really? What color are you going to buy? Your glasses and hat. I can't buy a hat because my head's too big. Uh, the one-size-fits-all hats do not fit my head. My melon. My brain. Just too thick. I haven't had sunglasses in a long time. Maybe I should maybe I should buy some uh Death Stranding sunglasses. <laughs> Seriously though, now they they really won't. I've bought some hats and uh I don't know what my size is. I have to get like a fitted cap to wear a hat. And I have no clue what my size is supposed to be. Hat sizes are all over the place. Like, the charts are seriously indecipherable. Hat sizing chart. Let's see if we can find a graph so I can show you how confusing it actually is. No, adjustable hats are one size fits all. That's what makes them one size fits all. Okay, here we go. Here's a uh, find your hat size. <laughs> also, they're not very um, flattering hat sizing charts. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, first of all, you've got head size in inches. I don't have like tape that I can measure my head size, so I have to guess. Uh, but also, we've got small, medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. Nobody wants to buy an extra, extra large named hat. That is a big cranium. So, U.S. hat sizes go in... This is... Just pick one consistent measurement. You know what I mean? We got... Seven and a half inches, seven and five eighths inches, but also seven and three quarters inches. Why not just, if you're gonna go on eighths, just show everything on eighths so it's not confusing. Why do you have to change your, um, your fraction? Anyway. Welcome back to my abode. We're south of Lake Knot City, still in Chapter 3. He's still in Chapter 3, Londo, whatever. Uh, the big surprise, for those of you that did not see the last end of the stream yesterday, is that uh, Sam's done a little growing up. His gamer days, his uh, try-hard 24-hour LAN parties are over. Wow, it remembered that I drank. Actually, there's just no drinks here at all. <laughs> The monsters are gone. The monsters are gone. I'll just tell you, because I forgot that we drained all of them. Uh, we drink beer now. We're adults. So, uh, that's how you know that it's not a phase anymore, Mom. He went from uh, energy junkie to alcoholic. Just like that. Thanks for spoiling it, chat. Why, Feather, now you know a little bit how I feel. Just a teensy bit. 
when something is happening in the story, in the campaign, we get to a new chapter, and they're about to introduce the new mechanic, and before the game can just give it to me and tell me how to use it, some people in chat will say the thing just before the game does. Oh no, I just bought Monster! Metal Bit bought some! Officially licensed Kojima Death Stranding Monster to celebrate this stream. He must be talking about some other streamer's chat. What, who could that be? <laughs> well, we gotta get our day started right. Um, yeah, let's get our day started right. <laughs> I'm always spoiled by chat. Hey, me too. What flavor grenade? <laughs> We're gonna get some sweat grenade? We're gonna get some uh, P grenade? How do you get the P plus grenade? EX grenade number zero. Three grenades. We're gonna have so many. Well, the, here's the thing. We're gonna test something out today. Um, there's a few things I wanna do. Number one, I wanna get this highway built. Okay? Uh, I've got an idea on how to do it. But I want to check and see if our if our highway is still the same as it was yesterday, or if people have been building it up. Um, and if they haven't been building it up, then we're gonna- we're gonna make an extra effort to get that highway stretching out here, because it makes life so much easier. And also, it's just fun. That's one of the more fun things to do, for some reason, to me. But! Um, the thing we gotta test is fast travel. We haven't fast traveled at all. So we're going to do that first. Well, not first, but pretty close to first. My man had to go. They're gonna have to open up those two other parts of the Simon sphere. Whatever that is. Blue. Green. Red. Red. Blue. Four orange peas, please. Listen, it's just because it's just because of all the monster he was drinking before. But yeah, we're gonna what I wanna test for fast traveling is what you get to take with you. There's a small part of me that hopes you cannot take any cargo or equipment when you fast travel. I you probably get to take all of your stuff, but uh, we're just gonna experiment because it would be neat to have to have like ladders and um, climbing what do you call those things? The, uh, anchors. Climbing anchors and the bolagon and stuff at each distribution center, so it would give more reason to use the private lockers. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we need to go back. This, uh, color scheme's not doing it for me anymore. So what- you guys want to go back to gold hat? Is that still your favorite one? Are you team gold hat still? Um... Team gold hat? If you're gonna do team gold hat... Stealth black is probably the best to go with gold, but... That being said... Navy blue would probably look good too. We've done some super vibrant color schemes. Hello, BB. Hello, BB. We're about to uh, get a little bit more of your past. That's a lot of taps. He's tapping back! BB's learning! Don't bang that hard on the glass! What is going on? What is happening? Oh my god! Were you dreaming that? <sighs> Do you guys know how many times we've tapped on the glass and it's just been like, Hey, baby. Boo. 
<laughs> and then to like have that kick off the stream. Deep, that's gonna take a deep breath out of me. Um, <laughs> he's, he's freaking out because he just had a vision of BB breaking out of the glass. Yeah, no, he's drunk. He's still drunk from the beers that we drank last night because we saved as soon as we drank both of the beers. These are some drunk visions that he's having. This is crazy. Does he do the same animation again? Yeah, he just like taps on it trying to get a reaction. <laughs> that like, that like, I love that one the best. Baby's like scared. Kojima! So are there any other like, hang on. If he's drunk, does that mean we get different mirror? Maybe not. Because that would be pretty funny. I think that would be too many animations, probably. It'd be like eight more animations. There's probably one, at least one Easter egg mirror animation that I don't know how to get. Because that was definitely like an Easter egg check on BB. I have one of those high-tech, always-on mirrors. Yeah, I have one of those, uh... Mirrors that pretends like there's, a uh, fog from the nearby shower on there. What happens if you... Okay, he's still doing the claps. Have we ever tried zooming in from, like, here? What you got, Norman? There he is. I don't think we've seen the thumbs up, actually. That I, Somehow that's the first thumbs up. And thumbs down on the other side! Alright, this- I don't know why this is so interesting to me. Why can't someone just make a game that's this? I mean, they did. It's called Death Stranding. But anyways, let's, uh, let's- Hold on, my screen just- My monitor dipped out. Let's check on the, uh, the highways. Hmm. Story. We did do crotch zoom already. We did that, uh, the first time, I think. Because everybody in chat was like, hey, have you done crotch zoom yet? Speak hey, cheers to that, daddy. You want to have some beers? With me? Call it secret. I got my hands on something special. A time on Trashikonkwe. I might make a test somewhere you're open. A toast to Lisa. And to you. So all these visions have to be, like, within the last six months. All these happenings. Because BBs don't last longer than a year. Yeah, Mads is great. He's awesome. I like Norman Reedus in this a lot, too. He's like the perfect player character. He's got enough emotion to be, like, funny to me, and just enough not emotion to let you, the player, be your, like, imprintation of what you want him to, to be. 
He's got silent protagonist and voice protagonist, like a nice mix down the middle. Uh, what was it? Does this make your PS4 sound like a jet? Oh, good. Actually, it's pretty good. I don't know why. Is it maybe because I have it on digital download? But other games make my PS4 light up. God of War goes crazy. Um, and MLB The Show goes crazy. I think because they try to uncap the frame rate. And this caps it at 30. I have a PS4 Pro as well, so that may be part of it. Uncapped games go insane, though. So here's what I want to do. I want to check uh, the roads. We still got a road all the way back here, guys. If they haven't done it by now, they may not do it. I'm gotta, I've gotta be the one that helps. Maybe, maybe they did one section. No, that's, that's the one I did. I'm pretty sure. Let's look what this map has a bit more detail, so I can kind of zoom in. This, this orange line right here is the highway. This is, that's my truck there. That's the, um, that's the good one, right? That's the good truck. Yeah, because this is the road that I tried to j make the jump, <laughs> and it didn't work. Okay, let's do this. I want to do Italic side quest mission to build the highway at least up to the distribution center south of Lake Knot City, and I've got an idea on how to do this pretty well. We're gonna- remember how I was like, yeah, we've got all these resources in a bunch of different terminals, and there's not really anything that demands most of these resources. Well, turns out the highway is that thing. So what I can do is... Claim materials from each of the past facilities, like not this one, because it's only got 500 metals and 400 ceramics. But if we go backwards, down the highway, then, uh, and, and pick up materials from the capital, and then drive them down the highway, then we can just deliver them via the truck. And I think that plan is not very far-fetched. So, on the way... Yeah, and the highways are better so the leggy boys can deliver better. That's right. And if there's any other missions that go back to the engineer and stuff, I can, like, take those now. Because that's just really close. 80 kilogram mission, deliver metals. Hey, I need those metals. Can I just have them? I was gonna try fast traveling to the capital, but my truck, I would, I have to take the truck. I did say I wanted to try fast traveling, but I don't think I can, I don't have the, uh, company truck yet. So, we do have a good truck, though, right there. It's not that far away. Okay, um, and we have highway straight shot all the way there. So it should be easy to just boost over. Okay, put this onto bike. And then the rest I will carry. Good to go. Ready to move out. Actually, that's not true. Hold on. We can test and see if there's any lost cargo here that wants to go that Order way, too. Assigned. Help some other players. Whew. Uh, that's a lot. I wish you could sort by destination. But I don't think you can. This game is oddly relaxing. It is. I think it's a perfect balance between relaxing and exciting. I I've, I've seen some mixed reactions on the BT and the Mule segments, but so far I've had nothing but positive experiences from both of those. Maybe that's just me. So forget about the Elder. I want to go to Lake Knot City. And I want to go to um the Engineer. This is for the weather station, the elder, weather station, and there it is, engineer. 
engineer. I'll take as many of these as I can. There might be too many. And Lake Knot. I'm gonna hook you guys up. Also, I saw some metals in special cargo, but we'll we'll leave that in there for now. I don't want to be the one that claims that if I don't really need it yet. I am here. You can start now. Oh, perfect timing, Wax the Seal, because we just started. We saw uh, Daddy Mads drink some uh, delicious year of wine. And now we're going to rebuild the highways. Uh-oh. I ain't doing that again. <laughs> Not so fast. Hey, whose bike is this? I'm seeing more bikes just left here. Well, I got one. This is my bridge. Or ladder. May as well make another one. Road? Oh, that's why I couldn't do it. Road construction area. Alright. Keep your secrets, thin game. Keep your secrets. Probably dead batteries? Well, it's... The facility's right there. Connected America. Hey, no, Curry. Welcome back. We're about to swap vehicles here in a moment. Look how rusty all my ladders are. How am I going to make this turn? <laughs> I got one idea, but it's a bad one. Ooh, that almost worked. I just can't seem to spin. <laughs> I can't. Hang on. Hang on. I can do this. Uh-oh. Woo! Slow! We don't want an accident this early in the broadcast, please. Beautiful. Okay, he's done. Now. I'm looking for my vehicle. Hmm. Take me... Up here. Okay. Well, I'll go around, I guess. <laughs> oh no. It's just a little bump. <laughs> Got stuck on a rock. Oh man, how many bodies of water are there? This is why trikes are only as good as the terrain allows. You can't just take, you can take them all over the place, but sometimes it's faster to just walk. These are a lot easier to balance than uh, the trucks, though, on the sideways terrain, I'll tell you that. Oof. It's because they have those dual wheels in the front, so it can try and, like, stay upright. Not sure why dual wheels on the front instead of the back, but I guess they want it to be uh, front-wheel drive and put two of them there for a little bit more grip. <laughs> This is, oh no, it's getting worse. <sighs> I need to, that's right there. I just need to be right there. Okay. I see, we're gonna have to get creative. I'll find the spot. My real question is, 
Yo, how do these not just slide out? I'm surprised there's not a, uh, a ladder feature where it just digs into the ground. I'm just gonna pretend that it does dig into the ground. Yeah, that's that's fine. We gotta get out of here because I heard the thunder. But would you get the same satisfaction from walking? Uh, no, you're right. Sometimes, though, maybe. Keep those wheels aligned. <laughs> Easy. This is why ladders are awesome. Uh-oh, yeah, okay, that's a road construction area. Understandable. <laughs> this is so much fun. I could not, I'm so happy to be playing this again. All right. And there's gonna be even more chaos today, I'm sure, because even though we're doing some, some building, we're also gonna be doing uh, a lot of main mission stuff. Believe it or not. Just jump it. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. To be fair, we did do a decent chunk of main we did main mission stuff for about half the stream yesterday. It just so happens the main mission Wow, I came in hot. The main mission stuff just happened to be uh, the farm, the weather station, like, not very cutscene heavy, which can be good, because it keeps you just invested in progressing further and further. 20,000 likes on this bridge. Woo! Imagine. There she is. There she is. Welcome back. I only have 18 likes on that uh, charger right there. Maybe I should have built the charger on this side. Is that the issue? Is it on the wrong side? Well, it seems like an okay side, because if you're driving down the highway, the highway doesn't auto-recharge your vehicle, it just keeps it from expending charge, so you could, like, pull over right here and get the benefit of the charge and then keep going. Oh well. Can't win them all. The reason we are here is to get this truck. Uh, I stole this from a mule camp yesterday, and yeah, we're going to be using this again but for a much more important cause. Take all this, load that on, and also um, my vehicle. I think, I, I don't think that, that I brought the uh, trike close enough. There you go. So this thing should be able to hold a decent chunk of change. Uh, what I have the PCC level two, I'll just keep that one. Okay. Confirm that up. And it's in top form as well. This truck is, should be at like 100% durability right now. I don't think it's even been rained on. No time fall has touched it. It is pristine. Also, you know what? Is this a good place for a safe house? Or a watchtower, maybe both. Oh, there's a watchtower just over there. Um, if I was gonna build a safe house foundation. I don't want to build it on the path. Which, by the way, I'm pretty sure these dark soil, like brown soil paths, um, 
are from players. I think these are the paths that people make by walking them. So I don't want to stick it literally in the middle of the road. But I don't want to stick it too far from the road either. So how do we feel about like right there? That looks pretty sweet, right? Right on the right on the path. Apparently there's a lot of people walking by here, huh? Hey dad, my how's it going? Let's get this done. <laughs> a little motel. Okay, it might have been a little uh, sideways, but eh. It's the best I can do without being able to zoom out. Hmm. So yeah, if you look at these, the the blue is that like the thicker the blue line, the more traveled it is, and I leave my own little blue lines. So if we go back to Lake Knot City, look at those. Super blue, and then it just kind of spirals off. I think I did this. So I'm helping make some different paths as well. It's a good highway. You made this. No, you did, chat. What is that thing? It is a safe house. We recently learned how to make safe houses uh, with PCC level 2s. We're not going to have the resources to actually finish this. But even so, we could request resources. That would be a good use of our uh, un currently unused feature. It needs 300 chiral and 24 hundo special alloys. And that's the difficult part. Also, we don't really have much chiral. But I'll be happy to volunteer all of mine since it was my idea. We just need to grab more. So we need to we need to make a special effort to get more chiral crystals. Alright, I should be able to make a request um, to get help on this thing. We haven't done that before, so we're actually doing new gameplay right now. Supply requests from other porters. Make a new request. Nope, that's, um... Not quite. Is there... How do I do this? There's a way to make your structures... I guess it's, yeah, sign is one way, but I don't know if they'll see, um... Yeah, maybe the sign is the way, but I could have sworn there was some way to tag your building. Maybe not. Alright, well, I'm gonna make a sign. Necrosis plus chiral equals nuke. Dead person plus catcher who eats person. Okay, it's like... I think it's like a circle. Uh, dead person needs to... Turns into a... Uh, hang on, I, I'm confusing myself. Start over. Okay, burning a dead person equals chiral energy equals uh, BTs. BTs eat a live human equals void out, which nuclear explosions uh but if dead person doesn't get burned then they join um uh, they necrotize and become like a uh a bt there so so i i think i don't i'm not really super clear on what happens to a person that necrotizes because we haven't seen it yet but the live human gets eaten that's why that one dude in the intro, like at the beginning of the game, was trying to kill himself so fast. That was a crazy cutscene. Uh, request. I need a request for special alloys, please. I like that the, the please sign is two hands together, like praying for resources. Like, please, please help me. Burning makes them not turn into BTs. That's right, but it does still create chiral energy release, which attracts BTs slash timefall. All right, I guess that's fine. I put a request down. I don't know if anybody will actually be able to see it. 
And there's some special alloys right there. I'm just going to borrow. I didn't check that lost cargo, though. Where is this going? This is going to the engineer. Hey, that's exactly where I'm going. I'll help you out. I always forget it's not square to interact with these. Alright, 120 out of 2400 ain't much, but you gotta start somewhere. Maybe there's a way to make a request here? Is there? I'll take a look. I can customize the structure, but that's about it. <laughs> I'm not going to change that person's Don't hologram. We you are well. Keep. There's a song. There it is. <laughs> There's our song. That's the one we pick for everything. All right, you ready? I'm gonna leave this uh, over here. Next to the garage. If it disappears and somebody wants to borrow it, then more power to you. Hey, Naruziko, who says hi, what's up? Thank you for your 11 months and welcome back. Heading out on the road trip now. Musically says, I want to stay. It's too bad, Musically. They've all been claimed. They have seemingly all been claimed. Speed up. All right, this is the Craftsman. I don't have any deliveries for the Craftsman. I could go off and see if he has anything for me to deliver Kojima! to other people, though. I love the gravelly tire sound. Man, I'm seeing a lot of these, huh? People's bikes are popping up everywhere. I think more people are just getting to that phase. There's another one! <laughs> There's so many! I just liked that person's yeah. bike. This one's for you. This one's for you, Thanks NPC for Porter. Huh. I'm just gonna. You only Easy had ten likes. Let me change that. For you. Two seventy nine now. For these guys. Do you get to share? You Thanks. share those? Uh, that's okay. You can keep that. <laughs> I can make level. Two. I can. I don't know if I can make level twos, but I, you know, I got plenty of those. Actually, on second thought, I'll take it. I can give it to somebody else. Keep on keeping on. Wait. Oh, there's. Oh, I was an auto paper. Hey, mine's oh, out here. <laughs> Flexing on. Oh my God. A climbing anchor, level one. Wow. Thank you. That's so nice, Porter. Stupid. I can make level twos. Go pick it up. For the BTs taken.
going to Lake Knot. We're going to the Engineer. Don't know if we can carry all this. Because one of them is 72. But I don't trust the robot right now. <laughs> Even though he should be able to handle it. Give it all here. That's my new favorite thing, by the way. I figured out how to throw stuff. That's just my new favorite. Because the physics is so good. Because I think it's the way you do it. You don't press throw button. You actually press the swing button, like you're gonna punch somebody with it, and then you let go of the hold button. So it feels more kinetic. I'ma head out. Oh, you're being mean. <laughs> It does really make you feel like you're yeeting packages. It does. That's true. Alright. This is why we're bringing the big truck. For this exact purpose, as it happens. It's just so efficient. Gary Jazz, at it again. Alex, how'd you get the idea to make psycho and coxed emotes? Syntax Squid made a psycho emote, and coxed was a screen grab from a stream where I had a glass and I put the glass against my face and it stretched out my face and someone took a screenshot of it and I thought that's what it looks like when the stream dies. You can thank Syntax Squid for the Psycho emote. Taking a screenshot of my face and then stretching it out. Something so simple, but something so effective. Here's our beautiful highway! We're gonna extend this bad boy. And I know exactly how to do it. Delivered materials to a generator? Is there a generator that needs materials delivered to it? This is still so much fun to just drive on. I think it's because you don't drive on the highway for long stretches very often that it's a unique feeling to just be on a straightaway for once, and then you get to go back to bouncing around on, uh, you know, the rocky terrain. Man, they're really, uh, they're developing this area, huh? The, like, pit stop on the side of the road idea seems to be a common one. liked this bridge. Why is it letting me like it again? Maybe you can just keep liking the same thing if you keep using it over different days? Yeah, the lights are just on a cooldown. I hope the truck is close enough. That would be nice. Make my job a lot easier. Um, not found. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. I can make it work. Don't I have some broken stuff to recycle? Just this? Do I have another container spray? On my tool rack, but it's damaged and almost gone. I'm 
actually really impressed with that park job. <laughs> hey, thanks. It felt oddly satisfying. Delivering cargo. Thank you for your continued support. You're welcome. All right, now here, notice how we have like 3K metal right there. We're about to take a, a giant helping Thank portion you your of these supplies. That's kind of why we're here. But also we're here. Not you. To deliver people's lost cargo as well as some standard deliveries. All right, now I gotta read Lake Knot, Engineer, yes. Engineer, Engineer. Bingo. Am I gonna be able to hold all this? Just offload it, honestly. <laughs> we can make a couple trips. I could have just carried them in my hands, but oh well. Too late now. Uh, okay, so this one is not done. Make partial. This one is done. And this one is done. I want to make sure I do this right. And this is also here. We're, we're confirmed. Confirm delivery summary. Hang on. You're freaking me out here. Just let me... Am I doing this right? Because that's supposed to be partial. Materials, metals, 200. I have two out of four. It should let me complete this. User interface! Chat, you're only at 219 likes. You can do better. This one's for you, chat. Hey, Sam. How's it going? No, it's all there. Well, the cargo's in great condition. well it's not all there. There's more. <laughs> I have more. Thank you for the likes. I appreciate that. We almost got this to five stars. <gasps> wow, that was a big push for just one order. We're definitely hitting five stars here. Which means we get free stuff. Another one. He's done it. Some of this facility's bandwidth has been shared. More structures cannot be built in the network. You now have the owner's permission to rest. Oh, <laughs> we're friends. <laughs> he invited me inside. Hey, thanks for bringing me all these packages. You've really done a great job over the last couple months. You want to you come in? Have a drink? Uh, you you want to meet the family? Kojima! <laughs> That's great. So you can use these as little uh, resting outposts after you five-star them. That's awesome. And look at these buffs. Hold up to 3,000 uh, ceramics, 5,000 metals. That's, that's big storage. Here's some lost cargo. One or more bots have completed the deliveries and are now available. What? 69%? I don't think those are mine, though. Oh, that's the bot! The bot did this. And did it terribly. 76% damage, bot. Well, that's okay. You you tried. You gave it your best. Uh, this scrolls way down. Look at those twenty four hundred likes from other people, chat. That's why Bridge Link is shooting up. Man, twenty eight and a half gameplay hours. What? Pumped Porter. Delivered 3,000 kilograms of cargo. I am now the top 8.4% of gamers of Death Stranding in the world. You're watching an 8.4% gamer right now. Here, I've been meaning. Oops, I didn't mean to skip, but 
He's given us some. A nice gift. Top tier. Hey, Floppy Panda. What is it? Star acquired? Did I get a badge? Well, be safe out there. Did he give me like a suit badge? Good work. He gave me stars. Where did they go? Access delivery terminal for further information. Is it that one star that's right there under bridge? It's little. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> All right, I guess the idea is if you do all these places up to five stars, you'll have a ton of them. And there's probably other decals you can get as well. All right, we're not even done delivering stuff here. Kojima! <laughs> What did he do this time? Sarcasm. But thank you, Fluffy Panda, for your 25 months. Who says, woo, keep it up. 25 months. Thanks a ton, Fluffy Panda. Glad you're having fun. And thank oh, you for hey. subscribing again. Good to see you. Damn. You carried all this by yourself? He's like, well, didn't I just, weren't you just here? It's like, yeah, I had to go back out to the truck. There was more. Ooh, that's a big metal deposit. We're going to be using some of that. All right, auto skip. Because we kind of already saw all this. Level 158 now. You are now an expert transporter. Let nothing stand between you and your cargo's safe arrival. You've achieved delivery volume grade 30 and can now carry more cargo. Ooh, chef's kiss. Mwah! Well, be safe out there. That's what, five more kilograms just on the house? Good work. New order available. Please access. Should we try? We should try a bot order. Let's try a bot order. I'm going to send uh bot from engineer to craftsman. There's a highway between them. There is literally no reason why this should not work. Go, bot. Be free. Deploying autonomous delivery bot. <laughs> They're not going to use these for long if they keep coming out 70% damaged cargo every single time. <laughs> Whoever invented those is really trying to shoehorn them into service. Not as good as a human touch. I buff for real, though. We're going to go skip the elder. Um, we're doing lake, not city. For sure. All right, give me all your stuff. Uh, but before you do, what did I just recycle? I think I recycled the mist container repair spray. There you go. Now let's get out of here. Um, I was going to get a bunch of metal from here, but I think what I'm going to do is go, since we're going back to the capital anyways, Order let's take the resources from the capital first, and then see if that's enough. Can I just get in with this backpack? Nice Amazingly, I can. I am shocked. Rip those destroyed ceramics. I love seeing those bags on the passenger side. I know. <laughs> it's a nice touch. By the way, sarcasm OD as well. <laughs> it's an interesting uh, Kojima themed radio song. For these mules that were flying over. Sarcasm says, I like these packages and just going along for the ride. Appreciate you, Sarcasm. Thank you for the seven months. 
said in the back, we got six seats back there for chat. Shaston as well, back for the 14th month. Hello, Shaston. Appreciate the support, everybody. Thanks for the subs. And Metalbeak says hi for a 16th month in a row. Welcome back, Metalbeak. You're here for a good one. I have a good feeling about today's stream. But I have a good feeling about any time I stream that's stranded. Ooh, why would... Hold on. We almost had a work-related accident because some dingus just left their bike here. How do I delete this? Did I get that likes just by sitting on it or did somebody else give that likes? Like I don't want your dumb bike. Put that in the garage. No, it's not my garage. How do I put that in the online garage? <sighs> Whatever, just get out of the way. That's fine. Storing vehicle. All right, are these close enough? <laughs> what was the question? Did players make this entire road, or is it already in the game? Well, it is already in the game, in that it has a designated uh, path that it takes, but it has to be built by players. And I helped, I completed three segments of it myself. And we're, we're actually working right now to make more, because uh, the road has not caught up to where we are in the game. So, I don't know if, when I build it, how many other people's games it's going to appear in. But, you know. I have way more than this. I have way more than two orders. They don't like my mule vehicle, understandably, but they're gonna have to just put up with it until I leave. I have way more than... I thought I had way more than this. I'm just gonna skip for now so that we can actually get through. Okay, well, there's four. That's more than we had a second ago. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Maybe we only had two lost cargoes, but we had a bunch of this. Because that's a pretty thick stack. Four standard orders at the same time at the same place. Pretty solid. Hey, man. How's it going? <laughs> wow. This is way more than we expected. Thank you, Sam. Splints from self-defense? Yeah, we were talking about that a little bit ago, actually. Looking at one such path. This is, I only have three and a half stars at the capital. This is the capital. And boy, they are pretty picky when it comes to leveling up, because that was four standard orders. I didn't even get a fourth star. Until the next delivery, then. Stay safe. Good work. New. All right, the reason that we're really here, we were just taking stuff on the way. The reason we're really here is, well, I checked the orders, because we're going to be heading back that way. Okay, no, 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 no. The reason why we're here, we can do that whenever. Don't get distracted. I'm gonna take, um... I'd like to leave... How many medals should I leave? I'm gonna take a thousand. And I'm gonna take... So that leaves 900 medals. And then I'm gonna take, uh... 640, uh, it's here to be used, right? That's, it's here to be used. I'll take 
eight hundo ceramics. And then I'll take... Half of the chiral. Because we need that too. We're building bridges, or we're building, uh, well, we are building bridges, but we're also specifically building roads right now. These are road building materials. We got metals, ceramics in the truck bed. Perfect. All right, so I can't really afford to use up cargo space for other gear at the moment. This is the more important thing. What's in my private locker here? Well, there's a hundred metals. So I'll just take that. A lot of grenades. <laughs> a lot of grenades. Um, how about we put away EX number zero? I've already got an EX number one plus. Two PCCs. Good boots. Full blood bags. My exoskeleton's getting a little damaged, but it's fine for now. I don't expect to be going through uh, rough territory with BTs for a little while. But I got one grenade set in case I do. A road shared to other players, yes. Uh, but not all of them. So it kind of has like a segmented server. Where when you play, you're kind of just seamlessly put onto other people's... I don't know how they do it, but it's genius. And uh, regardless of what you think... I'm gonna, I think I'm going to tweet this later because it's true. That regardless of what you think of Death Stranding... It is a monumental success in terms of using online as one of its core gameplay functionalities. And not having any server problems at all, as far as I can tell. This this whole game has to be interconnected online. And launch had zero hiccups, no day one patches, uh, no disconnected from servers. So regardless of if you think it's fun or boring, the launch was a huge success. Yeah, the durability seems pretty, uh, generous across the board, Techno. Which I'm pretty happy about. It's generous, but it's, it's enough where you actually need to consider replacing stuff. Because it's time fall. I like that the durability is controllable. It doesn't lose durability by using it, necessarily, as much as... Or if it does, it does it much more slowly than if you get into time fall. So it's like you always know when the durability is ticking down because you're in the time fall range. If you start a new game, will the roads be there already? Well, the way I think it works is, since it uses a segmented server, you're basically never revealed to the whole world of online at once. So, like, things will exist in places that don't appear until you've gotten to a certain point in the story. Right, like, I just saw a couple pieces of, of highway and was like, what is that? And then I found the highway builder. But I could have ignored the highway builder the whole game if I want and just keep going. Or, I can start developing it and it'll appear in some other people's games, but not everyone else's games. It tries to match you with other people who are similarly progressed. Yes, that's how I would describe it, Squished. It's not going to put you in the same world as somebody who's already beaten the game and have their world finished and, like, fully upgraded appear in your newbie game. Sometimes you'll see stuff you don't have access to yet, but only a, I've only seen that happen a couple times. All right, they have seven. I think I need these special alloys if I want to help my own... Um, Shelter. But I have to take kind of all of them from the engineer. I guess I will. 
Um, how many ceramics do you have? 13 hundo? I'll take those. You have a ton of metals. That's where this guy really shines. These weigh 100 kilograms each. I don't know how many I'm actually going to be able to do. Why don't we just start with 2k? And just go from there because I don't know if I'll, I don't know if the truck can handle this. <laughs> it's kind of a lot. I can carry like two of these. Then we'll have to offload this one and this one. <laughs> All of them. We'll do what we can. But yes, you don't see anybody's stuff until you get that area hooked up to the chiral network. So you always have to do the area initially uh, with no help from the outside. But then you do hook it up pretty fast, at least at this stage in the game. Okay, hold on. Let's just go a little at a time. A little at a time. I don't- I still don't know how to tell how much the truck can hold. I just kind of put stuff in until it says, don't do that anymore. It's so much fun being able to just click the triggers to pick stuff up. Can you put stuff in the bed? Yeah, you have to go to the back. You can just drop stuff in the bed. Without opening the menu. I think it's full, unfortunately. What if I take the two small ceramics? Then put the big ceramic, or the special alloys, in there. Okay, yep, that's full. This is the max. So we're not really going to be able to build as much as I want, but I still... This is good. This is good. This is fine. We can make this work. See, I cannot use the vehicle because I've got too much on my back. Um, how about this? How about now? I bet there will be people who finish the game that keep playing with each other and building. Oh, definitely. Um, people will definitely just beat the game and then come back and just do standard stuff and interact with signs and deliver cargo. I mean, there are people in, like, Elite Dangerous and stuff who just exist exclusively to try to rescue stranded ships. They're like, they don't even do anything else. They just wait until somebody's like, I'm stuck, help me, and then they respond. For fun. Because people want other people to enjoy the thing that they're enjoying, right? So, there are definitely going to be people who just look for requests and bring stuff to those requests to try to help out others. Well, that's kind of what we were just, uh... Look at that hologram, Horizon Zero Dawn. That's that's gonna be everybody's favorite one. <laughs> Everyone, that's gonna be everywhere. But yeah, I think uh, Syntax kind of explained what I was gonna say to Avarax. 
Like when if you if you play this game in a month, you're not just gonna get to this stage and have the highway that I'm building be already built for you. That's not how the game is designed. It's designed so that you should experience the game the same way I'm experiencing it because it is filtering in and out new players and players who are ad further advanced than you at a level that should be consistent with my own experience with the game. Okay. So in theory, you should be helping out other players who are also playing for the first time like you are. While also having a few people who are further ahead than you kind of drip free feeding breadcrumbs. I couldn't say that sentence. Drip feeding breadcrumbs. I don't know why that's hard to say. That are always just out of reach. Look at that! My thing's got 346. I wish there was a leaderboard with my highest liked thing. When am I gonna get one that's over a thousand? What do we got? Uh, Draco going to the Elder. People are sharing some 400 medals. That's a pretty generous share, to be honest. I don't think I can carry that, unfortunately, because I'm too heavy inside the truck. But that is a, that's pretty generous. I wouldn't want to take it anyways, because I'd leave it for somebody else. People are using my locker. This is a pretty good place for a locker. It's got a path. Somebody built a bridge there, if they can see that in their game. It just said somebody used my generator, which is neat. It's right here on the side of the road. I want to know how many, how much PC players can mod this game. Uh, I'm, that's, <laughs> I made a slightly aggressive tweet about that uh, the other day. Okay. <laughs> about how, like, Oh man, sucks that PC gamers have to wait until summer 2020 to like enjoy Death Stranding, but also on the plus side, game's not gonna get hacked or spoofed until summer 2020. Hmm. Uh, where can I? What can I afford to part with? Maybe I could just build a PCC. Because, like, my concern would be... I hope that they are making the PC online component good enough. And stout enough. So that somebody can't just load in new game. Hack in all equipment. And then start somehow spamming it in other players' games because the games think that they're both new players, but one player hacked theirs, so they get, like, in-game builds and stuff, and somehow it phases into new player games. Hopefully that doesn't happen. It's pretty unfounded of me to even suggest that it could happen, but... I already built a post box. Well, I built a post box over there, though. This could be a new post box. Is this a good place for a watchtower? I don't see it. There's a watchtower down there. Maybe a generator? I mean, does it, it does time fall over here, right? It's, 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 it does. It rains near the craftsman. Maybe put like a little, there's a path here so people walk this a lot. Maybe put a little time fall shelter off to the side like this. We haven't built a time fall shelter yet. <laughs> or shared post boxes with just tons of materials. Yeah, it's probably gonna be pretty harsh as far as uh, keeping the player experience consistent across the board, I would hope. Construction. There you go. Uh, and then I'll mark it as shelter, right? Shelter. 
Shelter from Timefall. There you go. So what this thing does, this is the first time I built this. Um, A, it protects you from the Timefall rain. B, it automatically disperses um, container heal spray. So it will fix any containers that can be fixed automatically. Which actually is pretty handy. It's almost more handy for the container spray than it is for the time fall. I still can't get in my vehicle. I was trying to defatify, but I can't. Uh, one PCC was not good enough. Because I picked up somebody's dumb blood bag. Uh, okay. What if I put ladder on me? That's still too heavy, probably, but, like, it's just a weight thing. Time fault doesn't seem to be much of a bother. It is. It is. Because it puts a time limit. It basically just puts a time limit on you. And, uh, if you run into time fall with a quest or story material that you're carrying that's when you kind of have to panic because time fall plus bts equals you're slowing down and you have to like keep your cargo in tip-top form through this annoying like i think it's fun i think it's a fun mechanic more than it is annoying How is there another structure nearby? This is like so far away. May as well just use these. I don't see another box. And the reason why I'm kind of violating my own... I'm, I'm doing a little hypocrisy here. Because I say, why even use these? if they're so close to these other buildings. But this is near the road. It's easier to go to a box that's next to the road, fill up your truck, and then take some lost cargo, in my opinion. Whatever. Anyway, I should be able to go now. Still no? <laughs> All right, the blood bag cannot be that heavy. I just got rid of two PCCs. Fine. I wanted to help you, I did. But now, I fear that I cannot. Goodbye, climbing anchor. I'm so sorry I could not save you. Put it in the storage box you just built! <laughs> Yeah. No, yeah, that's a logical conclusion to come to. Uh, I was a little distracted. I was just thinking about other things. I got a lot going on. Where's the other one? Yo, where's the other one? Drop it? Stop, no, pick it up. Hang on, just put it on your back. Oh, just share it. It has to be shared. What, uh, what did I, whatever, it's fine. What was the first thing I put in there? Like, I don't even remember now. Spray your containers, you animal. First of all, these can't be repaired because they don't fix cargo, they fix the van. That's the new Rimworld heaters, aren't they? Right on. No! The <sighs> no! 
I, I drive two feet. You guys just pick up after yourselves? I feel like I just adopted a highway. Out here on Saturday morning at 8 a.m. With a garbage grabber. And an orange vest. Here, you know what? Take that's thirty-seven percent damage. Should be fine. Did I just give them a blood bag? Whatever. I don't know. Take it. Enjoy. Now can I go? Oh uh, yeah, I'm trying to clean up my server. That's exactly what's going on. <laughs> Thanks for the blood, don't worry, it matches their blood. It's magical. Our blood is the same. Identical blood. Delivery bot is done. Also, let's see if this has made any progress. Um, I don't think so, but whoops, hold on. My sign, yeah, my sign's still there. All right, so this is only special alloys. And then the metals and ceramics will go to the actual highway. This is for the safe house. Uh, still not even close. But, to be honest, special alloys are kind of hard to find. This is a pretty chunky construction, but at least I'm putting some work into it. Your Oblivion theory was solid. <laughs> yeah, it's probably going to turn out to be something like that. I would not be surprised. Alright, now with the rest. Wish I could put that on the radio. Dude. Can I do the GTA thing where I get on this guy's bike, drive it off a cliff, but jump off at the last second so it just goes careening off the cliff and explodes? Okay. All right, we need to be here. With stuff. <laughs> I liked it better when I couldn't see anybody else's bikes. Just push it with the truck. Well, I will after this is done. Free to use. Okay, first of all... How am I going to get across this? Oh, I'm in a cool truck, that's how. I am in a cool truck. That can sense water. However, there is still big rock in the way. And this truck can jump, which I haven't seen a use for yet, but it's there, just in case. Uh, this seems like a poorly placed generator, but what do I know? Maybe it'll just be right next to the road. All 
All right, now for the big, the big, big. Hmm. How much does this need? Uh, clear this. It needs 700 ceramics and 900 metals. And a ton of chiral crystals. How'd I get this truck? I stole it from some mules. Some unsuspecting mules that I Sam Fisher splinter cell. Look at this stretch. Too bad I have to get rid of all these crystals. I'm always the guy that puts down like hundreds of Cairo crystals and I'm gonna run out. But you know what? It's for a good cause. Jumps off the edge of that road to my untimely demise. Road has been rebuilt. That goes all the way to the distribution center. So, mission accomplished. There's another one here that needs 600 medals. They're getting more expensive, the totals. 262 chiral crystals. And 800 ceramics. I've got, I've got everything there. It's just I have to go to zero on Cairo. Which is why I'm now thinking the PCC with the watchtower to identify all Cairo locations would be pretty sweet. What is this sign for? What, like, good view? Is this supposed to be the good view marker? What a, what about it is a particularly good view? <laughs> I feel evil when I dismantle someone's sign, but also, sometimes it has to be done. Nice. Yeah, this is not a very uh, chiral rich area because it doesn't rain. So you kind of uh, lured into the BT zones to get those. Stuff for the Elder, Resins, Weather Station. A little too far out of my reach. It's a beautiful mountain! How dare you! By the way, uh, that dude's generator just got destroyed as soon as this road got paved in my game. So, uh, I guess he built it a little too close. Lost cargo under there? What? Under the bridge? What? You can't push stuff? me this is not it's a bike the kickstand's not even down it's like it knows where the edge of the road is stretch my legs I, to, 
Too bad there's no negative reactions. Whatever. You know, actually, you know what? It's not whatever. You don't even deserve four likes for me picking that up. Too bad I don't have grenade launcher. Or something like that. Because I would use it. Ah, I do need both ceramics and special alloys as it happens. Okay. Okay. So. I have to do this because my OCD compels me and also it actually just doesn't take that long. <laughs> He's doing like basketball exercises. He's doing down and backs. That like slide, stop, pick it up, put it on your back. That was so efficient. Who's taken my crystals? Not me. Thank you guys for using Ask a Question as it was intended originally. Um, much appreciated. Uh, I'll just knock the both of those out now so I don't have to worry about it later. I'm taking the crystals. Let's just, uh... Take care of that. Why are you a bad person, Italians? I don't know. That's a nature versus nurture argument. Was I made this way, or, or was I always going to be me? Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Weapons restrictions lifted. But also, it's fun, so... But there's actually no gear in here. That's because this is just not a good location. It's literally right there. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. <laughs> Where are all these questions coming from? Why would I ask you a question when I can just ask Jeeves? We don't know the answer to that. I missed the last stream. What happened? Etal griefing other characters? We have a truck, we have a hat. Hold on, you don't know about the hat? You truly have missed a lot then, huh? Also, Great Triscuit, the best way to know what happened on a stream you missed is to watch that stream because... I don't even know how to summarize. Basically, we're just making progress. Right now, what we're, I can tell you what we're doing right now. Uh, we just went all the way back to the capital, the tutorial starting area, to gather a whole bunch of supplies from there that I'll never use. And, uh, so I went to the furthest possible place to get the resources, so I can assist in building highways for myself and other players' convenience. So, we gathered ceramics and metals. People have already been putting in the heavy lifting. Now, here's what I'm curious about. Is it a coincidence that I'm the one completing these? Is nobody else completing them? Or, rather, is everyone completing them in their own game? Like, am I putting in materials to help people get to the three-quarters mark, and then they finish the rest? Because it'd be weird if I could build a whole highway, somebody logs on, and the whole highway's done. But also kind of cool if it does it for people that have ignored it up to a certain point. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody's already two chapters beyond this, and they just never did this, I could be building it for them, because they already had an opportunity to build it. You could have strand contracts, which you could borrow highways from. I have, like, six or seven strand contracts so far with people that have, like, s three times more likes than I do. So, I assume those people already did it, to the best of their ability. 
But I guess the question, you can answer that question if, at the beginning when you discover the highway, there are two or three chunks already completed. If those same two or three chunks are completed for every person's game, then you would know for sure. But I also saw a meme on the uh, Death Stranding subreddit that was like, me when I log in and use somebody else's entire full highway build. So I know that it's definitely possible. Um, that there's a lot of people that didn't build any highways and just use them. Now I kind of have to find it because I don't remember. It wasn't that funny. It was just like, oh, okay, I guess people are doing it. Two for the price of one. This is efficiency right here. Look at this. Oh, we're crossing the rocky terrain. We have earned this, you know? Like, we crossed this the hard way a few times already. Alright, what? Hang on, let me scroll up. Question, question, question. Uh, what was this question? If Sam Bridges pees on a mushroom, does it taste... Like fungi. What? Alright, which one of you put two trucks in the middle of my game's highway? I know it's one of you here. <laughs> Stop spamming trucks on the highway, chat. I can't afford a question. I'm sorry, Dom Cheadle. Nice highlights, though. Is this thing on? It is. All thumbs. Can you give Dom Cheadle more stream points? He spent them all on these questions. Thanks. You're good at spamming, chat. You're good at spamming. Too good, some might say. Um, also, I'm trying to look for this stupid picture. Well, here's one. This is not the one that I was looking at, but it said, uh, it has a lot- it has 2,800 upvotes. I don't think it's that funny, but maybe you will. When you drive past mules on your brand new highway. Okay. Let's just sit here for a second. Um, what is this? Uh, oh, here it is. When you ride a highway you didn't contribute anything to. 2,300. It just It's just a picture of a lady that says, I am so proud of this community. It's not even... It's not even funny. I think it just has upvotes because people were laughing at the notion of not literally spending a single resource on the highways and having them be built. People just laughing at people like me who are going through the efforts of building these highways so someone else can use them. What is the optimal soup? Um, probably a... For me, personally, I like a lot of different soups, but I like potato soup, and I like tortilla soup. Ethal judges Reddit best segment of this podcast. I could become a just chatting streamer and probably have fun. Probably enjoy myself. We could just look at the Death Stranding subreddit every day. Uh, this one is like a you're on your own. <laughs> zero, zero, zero. Cross the board. Good luck. Literally nothing. This one actually does have some chunks. I think I could help finish this, maybe? Begin the scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. What do we have left in here? A thousand medals. And didn't we already take a bunch of resources from this facility? Okay, you can see how many resources you have in each facility without actually going there. Which... It's pretty fantastic. Including the alloys that I need to finish that safe house that I started. Are here. 
Only 121 chiral. Not very much. What I might do is pop out... Let's just... Let's just, um... Let's finish what we started. Let's finish what we began. Baby, BB is very happy about this, and we'll, well, by finish, what I mean is, uh, if we have special alloys, I don't want to leave that burden too much on other people. Let's grab twelve hundo. It was it was twenty four hundred to complete it, right? How much did I have in it? I think I put like 720. I think another 480 will be enough. Or will it? <laughs> I don't know, but I want to leave some here just in case I need it for a rainy day. Um. So loud in real life, I can't understand Etal at all. Well, then Molotov bartender won't know that I said something mean and funny. <laughs> Imagine watching this stream on mute. Have a pleasant journey. Quest for medals? There's nothing even there. See, that's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid somebody tried to build something, and the sign came through, but not the thing they were trying to build. I have no idea. But let's enjoy our new double stretch of highway. I like the whoosh as you go by each pole. The caution poles are making whoosh noises. <laughs> Well, I see that the auto papers are receiving resources from other people. Alright, I started this. I aim to finish it. I'm not going to make somebody else finish it. Is the highway deteriorated by time far? In my game, no. But... Probably, if uh, you wanted to write it into the lore, why people keep having to rebuild it in their game. It's a lore reason for people to keep having to build it over and over again. Am I in chapter 4 yet? Not yet. We're, we're about to be, though. I just wanted to build some stuff. I like the building. Plus, the highways are always going to be super useful. And I uh, wanted to make my first non-tutorial safe house. Yeah, we're in Chapter 3 right now. You can really just spend as much time as you want meandering about Chapter 2 and 3. The further you go, the easier the game gets to do basic stuff, but it's kind of fun no matter how you want to play it. You can rush through to get more stuffs, or you can just take your time and enjoy the sights. Now, if I took one of these people... Let's take my bike. So I don't just leave it here like one of these other douches. Can I share this in my online garage? For other people. Wait, how come this already has an online garage? Where does this tap into? 
Yeah, it just goes into my garage. Uh, I don't know if that is also someone else's garage. Maybe they can borrow my trike? I have no idea. You tell are you planning on being this thorough in all future chapters? Because that would be amazing but time consuming. I'm kind of just playing. Because uh, I don't see the re any reason to rush through what may become my favorite game of the year. It's still honeymoon phase, so I don't want to. I don't want to prematurely give it a uh, more credit than it's due. But the honeymoon is uh, very passionate right now. Me and Death Stranding are making very passionate love uh, every day until we decide that we're tired of each other's presence. We need we, until we need some space. Making BBs. That's right. Just making BBs day and night. Right, BB? <laughs> Just go to sleep, BB. You jumped through the screen earlier and tried to kill me in my dream, but I wanted to make sure that you know that I wasn't actually scared of you. I, I was, but I'm not anymore. You're the only streamer I follow that likes this game. Well, okay. That might be a bit misleading. Do you follow streamers who played this and actively dislike it? Because I feel like... There are people who don't play it, and then people who do play it. I have I don't follow any streamers that have played this and said they didn't like it. But that's just anecdotal. Okay, um... Do I need to do anything else with that safe house, or is it good? I think it's good. I was surprised by the number of people I follow who do like this. For example... Uh... Well, I don't want... It's okay. It's not that I would expect them to not like this game, but I'm just surprised they were playing it and said good things about it. Like, very... The, the super popular streamers, you know? Like, XQC finished the game and was like, wow, it was really good. Had a lot of fun. Lyrics still playing it. I expected, like, Co Carnage to enjoy it. He's having a great time, apparently. It's a fun stream game. It's fun because you can do stuff and, like, hang out and talk to chat kind of at the same time. But also, there are moments where it's just, you know, drums up the intensity. And it's got a good sense of progression day to day where you might see the first stream and then see the third stream and the fourth. And, like, each time we've got, like, people coming in like, he's got a truck now? Hold on. He's got a, he's got a hoverboard now? There's always, like, a new thing. Welcome. Sam Porter Bridges. Okay. So, um, new plan. We did about as much highway as I can do right now. Unless I want to go to... Uh, one of these. These are really close together. One of them is probably an exit. Uh, it's a, it's a chiral crystal sink. So why don't we just do this? Why don't we do, like, main, main story? Because I'm pretty happy with our, uh, highway. I want to kind of keep the highway caught up with where we are in the story. Because I think it's just so convenient. Deliver scrap metal from vehicles to where? Oh, that was an auto delivery. Okay. Well, then let's do the main, main. Bring South Knot City onto the Chiral. Uh, take on the mission from L Distribution Center South, which is exactly where we are. We probably won't bring the truck, though. Probably bring a trike. So why don't we just park this just outside? Stretch my legs.
I want to see fast travel. Well, I did say we were going to fast travel, but... I just haven't had a reason to. Alright. Time to get real. We built some highways successfully. Uh, redistributed our resources from the capital to here. And this place is broke, so I can't really take anything else from them. Uh, so we're gonna do... Big main order, and I guess check how bad this bot did. Sit. Okay, there's a highway. Is this the joke? Is this the Kojima joke that the robots always suck, even if you build a highway between them? It's ruining my <laughs> reputation as a porter. Like, no, I, that one, there were, those were connected spots. That was, uh, the engineer to the crafter, and there's a high, I built the highway between them. This one's way, no, 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 no. Ne let's just do neither of these. Okay, so both of these kind of go to the same area. This one's a 45 minute time limit. And I honestly don't know if it would be better to drive or walk. Because I'm looking at this terrain here. I think walk. Because look at those pretty big ravines. Huge ravines. Especially right right there in the middle. Alright, so we're going to do both of these. But we're going to do the 45 minute one first. And then go to the film director. These are both main quests. Heads up, Sam. This junk deal is probably going to give you a hard time. He's got a rep for demanding the impossible and lodging complaints when folks don't come through. As usual, he wants a bunch of scrap, and he wants it ASAP, for whatever reason. According to Fragile's records, he's nothing but trouble. Doubt he'll treat you any better than he treated her. But I want you to do your best for him, regardless. If you're going to meet his deadline, you'll have to move fast. But don't take unnecessary risks and endanger yourself or your cargo. Oh, and if you're wondering why we don't just tell this guy to go to hell, <laughs> we can't. Fact is, we need his shelter if we're going to push ahead with expanding the network. So, we've got to get on his good side. Junk dealer. Easier said than done, considering how little interest he's shown in joining the UCA. But be nice, and if nothing else, try to get him to contract with us. Uh, hopefully Cyberpunk 2077 is a wide open enough RPG that there's enough ways to play differently that multiple playthroughs and uh, multiple streams or streamers or playthroughs of your own are varied enough to be each unique in their own way. When you like someone else's things, does it deduct from your point count? Nope. Points and likes are generated from thin air, just like in real life. So they are not a currency, they are... A way to positively influence other people. That's why there's no dislike. I'm all for disliking stuff on YouTube and, you know, whatever, but not in this game. There's no reason to... that defeats the point of the game. But it's also funny because too much of the positivity, too much of the oxytocin created the mules who become terrorists, so it's like a double-edged sword. How does it regulate how many you can give at once? You just kind of have a timer so you start off with four second window you can you can literally smash that like button uh in this game i've got mine upgraded to 10 seconds <laughs> so it really just doesn't matter which is kind of the point it's it's like a examination of why we think that receiving likes is a good thing in the first place it's kind of like how, yeah, when you guys plus two, minus two, you don't actually have to give points from yourself or deduct points for yourself. You just do it however you want. So if you get too many plus twos, you become evil. Exactly. But it's just, it's like an interesting experiment. All right, then we got the film director. He's close by. Fragile cargo. Uh, mountainous. There are mules and there are cliffs.
This guy is less important than the other guy. This is the 45 minute one though. How do I do a premium delivery? Where I can set the timer. You know how it's like, if you think you can do it faster, then you can uh, make it a premium delivery. How do you do that? You can like, uh, bet on yourself. Does anybody know? I don't see any buttons. Maybe you can only do it on standard orders? Okay. That's fine. Maybe it's just standard orders. Let's do a little, um, configuration, because if we're gonna be going over ravines and stuff, I want- I want ladder man, uh, to work as intent- I think three ladders is enough. One climbing anchor should be fine. I don't think we can use PCCs because I don't think this area is on the grid, so just forget about those. We have one container repair spray. Don't know if there's BT zones, so two is better safe than sorry. Uh, we know for a fact that there are going to be B or not BTs, but mules. So let's get the Vogue decoy cargo. We got two pairs of boots. My power skeleton should still be fine. Got a bola gun tier two, and uh, I got—I should have some trikes in storage, so should be all we need. Just ladders. <laughs> Just only bring ladders. Uh, by the way, Minato, thank you for the 17 months, and Death Snake Prime also out there for a year. Happy year, Death Snake. Welcome back. Am I just going to take Gary Jazz's reverse trike? Sure. Instead of make my own. We may as well actually use the online garage. By the way, chat, keep our eyes peeled for people to add to our, uh, our list. You know? Wait, no, we're not taking I just said we're not taking a trike. I just said that. Okay. Anyway, I gotta carry all this on my back. Uh, ladders will go on... What are these two crusty things on my arms? <laughs> we got, uh, some real crusty boxes. We gotta freshen up our ladder armor. Getting a little tall up there. Well, the custom hematic grenades are about to just implode. The climbing anchor could use some refreshing. Oh, and this is destroyed. Rip EX grenade number zero. I think I picked that up off the ground. All right, we need to do a little cleanup then. Let's do a little recycling because we're, we're feeling a little crusty. Order assigned. So I want to recycle all the stuff that's about to crust over. That's a, I don't know. One good rain and this bola gun's gone. Rip custom hematic. We got more. Rip EX grenade number one plus. Okay, so maybe we don't have BT good coverage. And this ladder is 28% is fine though. You picked up someone else's shower water. Well, it's, uh, the, the bottles were damaged. The bottles were damaged. I wonder if Gary Jazz knows how helpful he's been. He's got 50,000 likes. How many do I have now? Thank you for your continued support. I want to get 50k. Oh, that was some nice recycling. I didn't know we got, like, 600 metals and 500 ceramics. That's pretty generous just for recycling. I like that you recycle your old stuff to turn into resources because I was so worried when we started building the bridges. I was like, man, I'm running out of metals and ceramics and chiral fast. Am I going to have to go on like a grinding run to go find more in boxes? You can still do that, but um, just recycling your old gear or stuff you pick up on the road seems like it's pretty substantial. 
That being said, we're about to spend more to fabricate. Uh, so give me one of these. Give me... What else did we throw away? Bola? We don't have any anti-BT stuff at all. Um, Bola is probably good enough to handle... Well, there's a bunch of mules, so why don't we... Let's, let's try the smoke grenade level 2 again. We'll try that out. I think they refill over time as well. Yeah, they do, a little bit, because, um, you share... When people do lost cargo and stuff, I think you get some benefits of that. Alright, stack these on... This one goes on tool rack, because it looks cool. And then we'll auto-arrange. Nice and efficient. Looks good. That's a clean stack. Uh, and then... I think we're done. The only thing that I want is... Grenades. Like, just one. Just in case. I don't expect to run into any BTs, but... Is there any in the shared locker that might be better, though? Oof. <laughs> That's a lot of people's stuff. Oh, my God. Uh, the answer, though, is no. They don't have anything better. All right. Well, I'll just take the number one. Thematic would be nicer, though. Maybe I should just make some. I have all these blood bags. But these are already here. I don't expect to run into any BTs. So this should be fun. Let's go! Thank you for your contribution. We got a new mission. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. To an uncharted area. 45 minutes on the clock. Sam, it's fragile. By the way, 433 Don't likes from five your players. Now. Your client used to work in comms as a repairman. Hold on. Pause. I am on the clock. We gotta go this way. To, uh, film director... F second? Who's on the... Who's the timed mission? 45 minutes for junk dealer. Okay, so we gotta go to junk dealer first. I see that we got a path here. I also see that I'm on the wrong side. Why don't we just follow this path down, if this is the way people are going. This is where we don't have anybody else's path left. Um, okay, well instead of that, we got an online ladder request. <laughs> Do you know how long it would take to get a, like, requesting a ladder seems, I don't know. Like, it would take too long. You know what I mean? Okay, that's just not a good place for a watchtower, is it? So let's go to this dumb ladder request. We'll cross over there. Then, good luck, I guess. Just find another crossing forehead. And, uh, there's not really much I can do as far as plotting the route. But it looks as though, if you get to this, there is a path. Or something. That we may be able to just follow. Then we got another big ravine. This is my favorite part of the game, by the way. Is just trying to plot a course. And hope that your best laid plans stack up in the end. Fix anything from simple wireless terminals to integral parts of the civic network. He was a good man. A pleasure to deal with. But after the attack near South Knot City, he changed. Not that I blame him. We gave him plenty of reason to distrust us. So, Fragile from yesterday, if you didn't see yesterday's stream, she's the lady with the umbrella. By the way, uh, sick bridge here, bro. I would stop to like more, but I'm on a timer. 
Anyway, uh, it was revealed yesterday that uh, she joined forces with Higgs, the guy with the golden mask, a long time ago, to uh, become a new delivery company to start, you know, making big profits. And unbeknownst to her, he had her smuggle in a nuke to one of the central cities, and she unknowingly delivered a nuke that detonated the entire city. And now they are mortal enemies. That's why she's helping us. I don't really need those, but you never know, I guess. Alright, here's that ladder request. Mad Hatters. Hat. This is where you want it. This is where you got it. Oh, that's cool. I, I fulfilled it. And it automatically deleted the request. So I hope it puts it in their game. Don't look down, chat. <laughs> We're through. Okay, now problem is this is mule territory. So we're going to have our work cut out for us here. He ruined her reputation and her business. That's true. Nobody would do business with her again after that. Okay, remember we do have the ability to counter scans. I don't know how easy or difficult that's going to be, but first things first. I want uh, my decoy. to be carried in my hand. So that I can toss it. So we're gonna practice our, uh, our parry ability. As long as I don't cross over here, I need to know where I wanna cross, for sure, for sure. Because they're gonna keep scanning. My line takes me that way. Here we go, practice. Getting ready. I don't think I made it. <laughs> yeah, it was really delayed. Okay, uh... It's, uh, you push the button, and it takes a little second to warm up. Uh-oh. Here they come. They're honking at me again. They got trucks. As an Olympic throw. Oh my god. They knocked me down. I tried to throw the decoy and it was too late. Avoid passing out. <laughs> breathe, Norman. You gotta breathe. They'll never expect the smoke screens. <laughs> That's a big jump. Nice path, by the way. So far, my plotted route is saving us.
Materials ruined, Vogue emitting decoy cargo, so they got the decoy. That distracted at least a couple people. Rip a thousand metals. I don't even... Oh, that was in my truck. What? Did I get scanned? No, I don't think I did. <laughs> Take a moment and breathe. Well, someone's gonna find a thousand medals out there. Do what you gotta do. Well, that was pretty exciting. Question, though. My fragile cargo. How, uh... Damaged is it? 8%? 5%? Not bad. 12%? Considering the circumstances, that's very doable. Well, that was fun. Um... I got, a, I got a little too close for comfort there, because I kind of ran headlong into danger, but... The smoke grenades are pretty effective. The reason I kind of prefer them to the bolas for those kind of encounters is because one smoke grenade can... can really, um, hit like three people at once. So when you're surrounded, it, uh... seems a little bit more efficient. Also, look at this terrain change. We're on Mars now, it feels like. But also, this is not just your average smoke. These are, um... Where are the smokes? Improved version of the smoke grenade releases a large, or larger than level one, cloud of smoke when thrown, and it uses, uh... the sleeping gas, does it not? No, it's not sleeping gas, but it uses some kind of... tear gas or something, because it... you can... if you stay in it for too long, you lose consciousness. Ladder received four likes. Baby's baby's clapping. Having such a good time. Look at this junkyard area. Oh, this is the junk dealer. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I understand. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Corallium contaminated cargo. Chiral waste. This is cargo that has been contaminated with Corallium marked for disposal. The bottom of a crater lake is the ideal disposal location. Pick the cargo up and take it to the nearest lake. Well, that's new. How fast did we make it? Yeah, now we are Red Faction Gorilla. Delivering cargo. Um This is weird. Jobs. It was a video. That was the and film that we delivered to him. Fucking express. Not to mention the bridges assholes who had to go and kick the hornet's nest. <sighs> Whatever. Let's see the goods. You make good time. Like you're supposed to. That's your job, isn't it? <laughs> I'm right. I'm here, aren't I? Wait, no. We're delivering the film to the other guy. But it was a recording. Five percent damage, seven minutes when I had forty-five. I think that's pretty good. MLC Stealth has got us in F rank. Man, MLC Stealth would love this game. I need to see if he's playing it or not. I haven't talked to him in a while. He would love this game. Big other people likes are rolling in. It's like five hundo every time I look. 
far as I'm concerned, all you porters are no better than terrorists. Well, this and here terror has just brought you some wise. good junk parts. So take your cupid and fuck off. How's it feel to be a hypocrite? You're on the terrorist side now. Well, okay then. Something tells me that if we want to win him over, we need to figure out what really happened to that woman in the hologram. Uh, he seems to think she died in the attack. But we checked South Knot City's records, and there's no death certificate for a woman matching her description. Which is why I asked Fragile to look into it. Hey, Sam. I was looking through my old client database on the off chance I might find our mystery woman. And wouldn't you know it, a pretty close match popped up. Facial and voice. She's still alive. Our Die hard. Is grieving for nothing. <laughs> it's a great name. I doubt he'll take our word for it, though. I love Kojima's Hang name on. style. He just posted another order. Probably just trying to push our buttons. May as well check the delivery the first guy is called Dead Man. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Guillermo del Toro plays Dead Man. I can't believe those terrorists at Amazon delivered my package late. <laughs> So what, he wants old components. Um, isn't... Where's the movie guy? Isn't he up here? There's movie guy. So it's in the opposite direction. Uh, how about we do movie guy first, then come back and get this, yeah? Well, there's our course. I like that it keeps a very detailed record of where we went. Maybe that'll help somebody else. However, we did go directly through BT territory, <laughs> which probably isn't going to help anybody else. But, nonetheless, we're going to go down the mountain. Maybe like over this, if possible. And this just looks like bumpy terrain. So it might be okay to do a straight shot. I don't know. Go fast, man. <laughs> That's what they're gonna call me on the time missions. Weapons restrictions lifted. <laughs> Mail received from the junk dealer. I I guess that's probably gonna be hostile. What would make me think that? Sam Bridges, I have a job for you. You should be in should you be interested. A pile of junk has accumulated near my shelter. It needs to be disposed of. What am I? Sam trash man now. There is a problem, however. Some of the aforementioned waste may be contained by Corallium, which means the only safe place to dispose of them is in Crater Lake to the south. Should be easy enough for Bridges Man, such as yourself, but it's up to you whether you should take the job or not. It would certainly help me view you and your kind more favorably if you were agreed to help me, however. Why are you holding that uh, carrot over my head? Like, I might hate you less if you dispose of my garbage. I'll think about it. Trash Ladder Man is my favorite protagonist of any game, as it should be. I like this new terrain area, though. Also, I'm happy to kind of—I'm kind of happy to be back on foot a little bit. It's fun to drive and it's fun to use the trike, but it's also nice to kind of, you know, do it the old-fashioned way. Sometimes it's just easier. Ooh, give me some. I should be scanning for this. Nice. Anything that way besides the trash? Ton of trash. Stuff that goes to the film director. How close is this? 150. That's where I'm. I'm going to that guy right now. Fifty is not really that far. There we go. <laughs> Easy, Sam. Yeah, it's very dusty, flaky, and gravelly out here, isn't it? I like how it's still fun to look at, though. They keep coming up with uh, different terrain types. 
for you to traverse. Like, we're in the super ravine area now. The pulse goes really far. Gives you a good lay of the land. <laughs> RTX PS4 edition is on. I can't wait to see what they do with the next-gen consoles. Because is PC gaming always going to be, you know, have the edge with graphical fidelity? Yes. But there's also there's something impressive about working inside of, a, of limitations and maximizing the potential of the canvas that you have to work with. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like too often in PC gaming now, it's like, I use Unreal Engine and I turn graphics to Ultra. I like sometimes playing games like this because if it's unfamiliar in terms of how it controls and how it looks. Sometimes a lot of the newest high fidelity, super maxed PC games kind of fall into the same trappings of this is definitely an Unreal Engine game. It looks good, yeah, but it also looks like all the other Unreal Engine games. Sometimes. But sometimes developers within that, you know, can kind of push that to the max. Or use it in a different way. How you doing, Sam? How you how you doing, Sam? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Can you just ask how you doing, Sam, to himself? <laughs> Nintendo Switch is a potato, but Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild look great. Luigi's Mansion look great. I'm Sam! I'm Sam. I'm Sam. Hot Springs, baby! <laughs> what is this piss hot stream thing made out of? I ain't gonna stand in that. The Crater Digestive Bath. What am I supposed to do with that? Digestive Bath sounds scary. Um, excuse me. Oh, that's the stuff. Uh, the elevated chloride content of this spring is speculated to be the result of its close proximity to salt water, as well as the tar of the nearby crater lake. Though its waters are cloudy, one thing is clear, its singular capacity to facilitate bowel movements. <laughs> 12.1% hidden trophy. Take your first hot spring bath. Okay, hang on. Chloride levels... Close to prox salt. <laughs> Hang on. What? Some can somebody uh, summarize that for me? Give me the. Give me the meme. Use talk button. Ba -ban, ba -ban, ba -ban. Ba -ban, ba -ban, ba -ban. It's poo water. The lake makes you crap. But it's. It's clean? Is it is the crap instantly clean? I mean I'm washing my face with it. It's instant chlorine purification. I don't think you poop in the water. It just facilitates bowel movements. Ba -ban, ba -ban, ba -ban. Look at that face. Ba -ban, ba -ban, ba -ban. <laughs> He's like shifty eyes while he does it. <laughs> ba -ban, ba -ban, ba -ban. Ba -ban, ba -ban, ba -ban. There's BB. I love the, like, 
camera's ability to zoom in on different things. Ban, 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 ban. I thought he would sing the full song. I don't think he does. Nice. Is BB cooking? Just boiling a baby? Nothing to see here. I don't. I don't think he's boiling the baby. Um, okay, so walking through that is, it's very viscous, apparently. <laughs> that was nice. Yes, that was nice. Now, where am I going? There's a lot of them here. Like a ton. Careful. There we go. Gotta get these chiral crystals. I'm running low. That was only five. <laughs> it can vary wildly. It's a big fog terrain, huh? There we go. I think my scanner didn't pick up one to the right that I can, like, see. Yeah, there it is. You have to be pretty close. That's why watchtowers can be really useful. Because the scanner scans for cargo really far. This isn't cargo, though. It sounded like Norman was just singing God Bless America with the whistle. That's what it sounded like. If I get in this, is it gonna hurt me? I'm scared to get in this steam cloud. wanted to see if there was anything uh, you could interact with. I don't know. This is all new area to me. Oof. Look at these. Good luck with your footing on this. Um, luckily, the stack that I'm wearing right now is pretty manageable because there's some twisted ankles in your future right down there. This place is crazy. How does somebody build back here? Well, if we walk this path enough with everybody else, maybe the rocks will eventually start fading away. Beginning scan. Scan the bridge's ID. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. The film director lives here, I've been told. Why is a film director here? Because, uh, there need to be somebody here, and there might be an actual film director here. Like, an IRL. Let's see. This is where they faked the Mars land. That voice is very recognizable. I, this is a real person. Who is this? This is in great shape. Excellent work. He's not an HD yet. Wait, was that 12% damage? I don't... Oh, pro probably from just getting zapped by mules. 
I like that the S rank isn't unnecessarily difficult to get. Like, you don't have to get 100%. Oh, that's the Kong Skull Island director. I knew it was going to be a real dude. All right, we're almost uh, we're, we're approaching 200. The higher level we get, the harder it is to rank up, understandably. We're getting there. Ah, the infamous chiral network. I'll agree to a trial run, but just of the network. UCA is a whole other matter. This guy's nicer so than the, you uh, can connect me? Yes. <laughs> the junk guy. Well, okay, go ahead then. The other guy won't connect just to the chiral network. We're gonna go to you. strand established. Yeah, we're missing a few chunks in the south and the north up here. It's a sweet beard, though. I wish I could grow a beard like that. Would I actually do it? I don't know. Probably, if I could. Nice. I like that we've, we are representing the middle of the United States. We have started to designate these boundaries with just squares. Uh, there weren't any other landmarks to create cool squiggles and easily recognizable shapes, so we are currently in the square portion of the United States. That's how you can tell. Hmm. Interesting. I'll think about joining the UCA at a later day. I have something for you. A token of my appreciation. Take it. I insist. Oh! Custom shades! The JF Ray Sam sunglasses. So long, Sam Bridges. Thank you. New no cosmetics! Give me more! I feed on cosmetics. Please access delivery. Path you laid down? What does that mean? A path I laid down was used by somebody else. What is laying down a path? So he wants to go to the Craftsman and to Lake Knot. This is 522 kilograms. Almost 800 and, this is 831 projected likes to go all the way to the capital with this. That is a journey. Just a place where you walk. I guess I started a path. That's cool. I wish it would tell you where, though. I want to know where I made a path. Because honestly, I'm walking around so many different places, I might go to the same place twice. You know how, like, when you have, there's a family pet, cargo. but you go to school for, like, a year, or you go, you live in a different state, and you go see the family for Christmas or Thanksgiving, and the pet gained, like, 15 pounds? You're like, wow. Uh, Squirto is really growing out, and they're like, what are you talking about? You're like, well... Squirtle gained, like, 15 pounds, getting round. You're like, what are you, no way. He's the same as he's always been. He's always looked like this. You're like, no, I think he's, uh, I think he's packing him on a little bit. That's like, I'm the family, because I can't tell that the roads are getting laid down because they're happening gradually for me. I, I need somebody else to tell me that there wasn't a path there before for me to know. Since I'm the one walking, it happens so gradually that when I follow my own path, I don't remember what it looked like before. <laughs> Squirto. <laughs> Squirto, the dog. <laughs> I, I would, I would call a dog Squirto. 
It's a good name. Strong name. Alright, there's only one uh, smoke grenade left in this. So I'm just gonna ditch it. These boots are pretty bad. A <laughs> very round name. <laughs> Delivering Naming my next video game dog Squirt Up. Thank you for your continued support. Oof, that's a lot. It's a generous portion of metals for recycling those. I can't fabricate equipment here, so I didn't really think this all the way through. Um, we do need to go back to the junk man. So if there's any junk man material here. Uh, there is not. Okay. Well. You guys just keep all that for now. Thank you for your contribution. Does he have a right? He has orders, right? I already looked at them, but that's the one with the 800, no, 522, yeah. Well, maybe if you make friends with the film director by doing the 800 kilogram cargo load. I can only carry 300, so you would have to have a vehicle or make multiple trips. Oh yeah, we're connected. So people's signs are coming through. Now we get to see how other people have been tackling some of these same, uh... Oh, I have feet! Feet! <laughs> I have bare feet! <laughs> I kind of want to see what happens if you don't, but... I'm also scared to see what happens if you don't. That's why I couldn't run. He was just walking. I was like, wow, nice RP walk, nerd. The desperate ladder. Very desperate. Online bridges have been built. Use freely something. Timefall warning. Speaking of timefall warning. Oof, there it is. There's our timefall uh, current weather forecast. And we got 30 minutes from now. This is 30 minutes from now. So this ain't going anywhere. We happen to just go right down the middle of the time fall, actually. What else? This is pretty packed. Oh, it's where the hot springs are. <laughs> it's like, th I put a sign there, too. <laughs> Everybody did. Uh, so tired. P-ban. P-ban. Happy. Likers get liked, baby. All right, so now uh, we need to return to the junk dealer. We can see my path versus how other people traversed. We need to go back to there. There's also the crater. It, which crater is it that he wants me to dump the stuff? There's a, so many ladders down there. Let's do both. Let's do both of those. Weapons restrictions lifted. Today's a good day. Nice, uh, the office username for your entire PlayStation 4 uh, activity. Keep on keeping up. Keep on keeping up. Wow. Big bridge. Thanks for the help. Not sure if necessary, because you why did I like this? You could just walk to the left. Whatever. If it makes you feel special, I guess you could drive. I need to turn left. Speaking of turning left. We need as many chiral crystals as we can get our hands on. 
Bola gun, 100 medals. What is this? Timefall farm? We'll just take it somewhere else. Nice. I'm gonna help out things I come across. Are those bikes parked near the hot springs? Man, this place, this place used to be so nice before they started building it up. Now they got strip malls out here. There's dollar stores cropping up. Walmart's coming into town. This place used to be so peaceful before everybody discovered that it existed. I miss when this was a nice rural area. You know, you could go out on your front porch, your patio, now people drag racing down the streets, dirty rumors. Parking their bikes by the hot springs I used to go take my children down to every day. Peeing in the pool. Uh oh, hold on. Gotta be careful here. I love how I never need to use these for some reason. How many do I even have? 27 out of 999. Okay, well, I see that I have room to improve. <laughs> Just 999. No problem. Big, big uh, upper ceiling there. This one's for you. Thanks for the help. Thank you. This, this one's for you, neighborhood. This one's for you. I'm gonna go pick up these planting kits for you. Ugh, I gotta get it. It's the wrong way, but I gotta. I'm creating paths. I'm still doing productive stuff. Also, I can use my sick sprint, my battery assisted sprint. Exoskeleton Soup Boy. It's just so addicting. I saw some people comparing this game to No Man's Sky, and I think I understand the comparisons, but having literally a month ago or so, or maybe a little more than that, just got done with a huge No Man's Sky marathon, I don't think that they scratch the same itch. I understand the need to try to compare this game to all the other games, but... I just played that, and I disagree that it it doesn't feel the same. Okay, I gotta leave that stuff, because I don't feel like getting chased. Right? Special alloys are special alloys, though. Because I think playing No Man's Sky, the difference is... Kind of hard to explain. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Talk about that in a second. I gotta... Is that in the ravine? Okay, I changed my mind. That's down there. People are losing all their stuff in the ravine. Hold on, hold on. Um... Let's auto-arrange. How do I counter-pulse? I don't know, but I haven't passed the point of no return yet. The lack of trees kind of bugs me. I believe there's a lore reason for there being no trees. Um, but it's also a location thing. Yeah, there are trees at the beginning of the game, you're right. Because they have time-fall resistant wood. So I think it depends on where there is and isn't time-fall. And yeah, there is, there is a forest up here by the wind generator. Those are specifically time-fall resistant trees. Um, on this path. No, not the weather station, this one. Where where even is the Where am I where is the uh weather station? Not the weather station. Is it the weather station? No, it's the wind farm. Where am I? 
Oh, you have to go across- you have to go back to the tutorial area. Yeah, I'm just at Lake Knot City. I'd have to fast travel back there in the last chapter. You're right, you're right. Okay, question. Do you think it's possible to save these alloys? I'm going in! comes the pulse. Oh! How do you counter that? It's so fast! It's so fast. I, I have to practice. Hold on. Quickly. Oh! <laughs> Yo! From off screen! Quickly, you got this. They won't get you. You can do it safely, Sam. Climbing under stress. You've trained for this. Not the best placement. can see his shadow. That was like a movie. Now where's the dang special alloy? Wasn't it right down here? Where did it go? figured out how to get down here. Well, I guess we just leave that rope. They've got special alloys on their back. Did they pick it up? Hold on! They're coming! Not so fast! One at a time I can take you! Footprints, man. Will his greed backfire? Not yet. Look at that sailing over. Music is insane for these chases, too. I love this track. He's a little tired. He's a little tired, but we got past the the bulk of their forces. <sighs> Does the amount of weight you carry change your jump? Um, probably, but I'm not even at capacity with level three exoskeleton legs. It certainly affects how you maintain your balance after landing. 
Well, that was a fun encounter. Got it done, baby. Got it done. There we go. Luckily, I don't really have any important cargo right now. Welcome back, Winterin. What's up? I like how this game goes from happy delivery time to Mad Max. Yeah, like, the pacing is good because it just happens naturally. I saw some people yesterday saying that they hated the BT and the mule areas because they were just annoying mosquitoes. But, um, I haven't had the same experience. So, I'm not saying that they're wrong, but I don't share that opinion. Mad Max was a delivery movie. You're right. You are right. Like, I, I saw some people saying that the BTs... Maybe they're just further than me? They were saying the BTs were absolutely trivial and easily disposed of with grenades, but I feel like I had the grenades and still was really struggling in that mall segment. Uh, the stream before last. So maybe they're just further than me? But I haven't found them, like, easily swattable. They haven't exactly been flies. Maybe they're playing on an easier difficulty? I don't even know what the difficulty does. But it feels good. Like, card mode is the definitive way to play as far as I'm concerned. Uh-oh. Hold on. I just realized that this guy doesn't like us. So I forgot that I'm carrying stuff that I can't do anything with. Hmm. Glad cuz bad. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You may have a point. Glad cuz bad. Um, anyway, Gamer Deathbot is here. Hold on. We, not yet, Gamer Deathbot. I feel like every time I get away from the BTs, unless you literally drive through. So far, dr or not BTs, excuse me. Driving through the mules makes the mules trivial. But also, um, you can't really just drive through forehead until you've got everything connected up to the grid. So, like, running through there a couple times... I was, you know, I, I, I'm i back against the wall a couple times, especially on the smoke grenades. They're there to catch you unawares, but they're also easily avoidable if you plan your route. So, you either plan your route well, or just come prepared. But anyway, I've got a bunch of crap that I kind of don't need, and I don't know what to do with it, because I guess I'm just going to keep it for now. What's up, Invertigo? How's it going? Can't believe I missed this important gameplay. Yeah, you missed the hot spring. Normally, I don't like stealth segments with invisible enemies, but I find the BTs fun because I like scanning for them, seeing that they're there, and also simultaneously you have the little shoulder friend that points in the direction and pulsates faster the closer you get. So, it doesn't feel... I feel like the t I have the tools necessary to try to avoid them. Plus, you've got the hold your breath and the grenades. I don't know. It just doesn't. It doesn't feel as tacked on as everybody made them seem. Speaking of, time to put your money where your mouth is, because there's BTs uh, in this zone. So, uh, I gotta do something with all this crap. Where's Where's um? Hang on. Okay. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. Yo, I need to just... I need to get rid of a bunch of this stuff real quick. This this is the online sector. So what if I just... Walk from here... To there. Hmm. 
Well, I don't have a, a PCC, so I can't make a parcel container or uh, whatever. And I can't carry all this crap into BT territory. Hold on. Weapons restrictions lifted. There's gotta be like a somebody's gotta have one. Literally over the hill. But yeah, FBYD, that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try and just give offload these to something else, somebody else. I just gotta get to the online area. Where we're connected to the chiral network. There's the hot spring. <laughs> I've already done this though. Uh, my boy is a bit tired right now. No P zone. Why have so many P? Look how big this mushroom patch is right here. Why are they peeing in the hot spring? Well, at least I'm getting my steps in. <laughs> Look at this bike. Somebody's got like a color scheme. I can't even change the color of mine. They already took my color scheme. Oh, this is nice. How come none of y'all have any boxes here? The one time that I need one. They have a request for a post box here. Literally zero post. Whatever, just take me away. Just take me away. You know what? Time for rain already? Well, there's a little delivery box in a terrible spot. Okay, so remember how before this place was connected to the grid, there were tons of rocks that I had to jump over here? And when I connected it to the chiral network, it, it logged? Um... Okay. This is a path now, so we finally have a definitive vision of how the paths are made. I just remembered that there were tons of rocks right there that we had to climb over. So why are we here? Well, number one, we're going to recycle... A number of things that we cannot use at this moment. Do I need four ladders? I maybe. Okay, that's going to pretty much sh shrink our uh, backpack, and then I've got a huge box to turn in. Level of terrain deformation, yeah. I do wish it was a little bit more gradual after you connect to the network, but that's fine. At least I get to see it. It's technically possible you'll never come back here, so it's probably better that you see the effects now than rather than later, where you may not ever come back. Okay, get rid of all this. Wait. Yeah, no, get rid of all this. Entrust it to other players, good luck. Delivering cargo. Well, that's a pretty big update. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I can't fabricate anything here. So I think we're ready to actually take on the BT mission. The problem is I only have one EX grenade number one. I did not really come prepared. Wait, is that spoilers? No, you're like the sixth person to ask. At this point, I should have... Apparently, it's, you know those people that go to Disney World and they have a list of all the people in costume they want to get autographs from? Apparently, I should just have that list for the cameos in Death Stranding where we just have a checklist of all the cameos. That way, everybody... Because there's been like two or three questions today so far about different people in the game. Maybe it would be easier if I just had a full list of everyone who's already in here, so that way... Um, I know ahead of time. I want it to be a surprise. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. It can't be a surprise, because everybody keeps asking about the funny surprises. So they're not... They can't be surprises. Nothing in Private Locker. What about, um... Help from my friends. No, they have a container repair spray and a climbing anchor. <laughs> Nobody has any grenades. Uh, but the double repair spray is solid. Am I going to be able to make it through a BT zone with just one set of P grenades? That's kind of what the question we have to ask ourselves right now. I guess we're going to go. Keep on, keep, 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 keep on. <laughs> keep, keep on. Like a, at your university. In my university, there were always like pretty good concrete paths, but there's always that one line in the grass. From everyone that takes a shortcut diagonally across the two connecting sidewalks. That's what I'm making. I'm not taking your path. I'm doing the diagonal one that's just slightly faster. How do I get up there, though? Don't walk on the grass. Look at all these cars. There we go. You know what? Forget your stupid trike. I don't need it anymore. Eventually, I'll be able to customize my own trike, and I'll be the cool one. Those little trikes are like in San Diego. They've got little scooters, little electric scooters everywhere. Um, these green scooters, I think they are. And you just pay money, I guess, with your card, and then you drive it, and it charges you based on how far you go. And when you're done, you just leave it on the sidewalk. And then somebody else uses it. So I just moved it. Maybe somebody else will pick it up. Should I just dispose of this first? Where does this want to go? Crater Lake. The bottom of a crater lake. Like here, right? What do you guys want to do first? Crater Lake or the BT? Because we're going to do both. Thanks for ruining our campus. BT. Does that mean you get to throw them in? Yeah. I assume so. She's the worst. Thank you for the 500 bits earlier. It says this is for Squirto. Well, Squirtle doesn't exist, so I will take them on the theoretical Squirtle's behalf. Uh, thank you very much. Our favorite junk dealer is at it again. He wants us to scavenge scrap and other materials from ruins outside South Knot City. The order calls for no less than 60 kilos. Not the more the better, he says. The ruins are part of an old section of South Knot that was destroyed in a terrorist attack. 
Okay. BT activity is still regularly confirmed. Sure. In short, he's asking you to risk your neck for a back-breaking heap of junk. Asshole. <laughs> make sure you're well prepared. Uh-oh. I gotta make sure you're well prepared. Sometimes with these kind of orders, they do give you some grenades. So I guess we'll snope. <laughs> Just go. Uh, I got. I did bring one. I got four ex grenade number ones, and a dream. Uh, well, in theory, you could go back, ah, uh, we're just so close, like I'm right there, you know, I say we just go for it, I'm just, I'm, I'm pretty light, so I have that going for me, this is an old, what is this, an airport, it's a huge road. South Knot City Ruins. Um, Order 32, it's just in there somewhere, so we're gonna s clear all markers. Looks like we got a pretty big mountainy area that we need to cross. That's where the ladders are gonna come in. So we're gonna go from here this way. Maybe get a rope on the other side, just as a nice shortcut. Okay, looks pretty clean. Somewhere in there, I guess. Best I got. Let's go. Uh, how's my stamina? Mm, I got 556. We got blood bags equipped, literally Mad Max. <laughs> That's pretty funny, it is Mad Max. Uh-oh, well, stamina's at three bars. Let's not abuse that too much. Please be careful, I'll do my best. All those custom hematics you have, they're in the wrong base. They are in the wrong base. So we got a little adventure challenge in front of us. There we go. See, some of them have two, some of them have 57. I guess it just varies based on how long they've been sitting there growing. Did we finally make it to Vegas? Not yet. Not yet. But we are going to a pretty ruinous area. We're finally gonna have that BT action that chat so desperately craves. There we go. We made a couple stretches of highway, and now we've been exploring new sectors, doing story quests. Ooh, look at that. There we go. Very rocky. I just have to keep scanning because I'm looking for chiral crystals. Um, special alloys would be nice to take out of here, maybe. Let's, let's check our map, too. How's, I'm sure this place is going to be Rainfall, Timefall Central. Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All over. Speak of the devil. Hoodie is up. Those are the old components that we need. How many does he want? Uh, 60 kilograms or more. Well, you know what that means. We're going or more. <laughs> Hmm. 
We haven't done any more stealthy camp infiltration. We did some camp shenanigans, though, on accident. We're gonna try and do a BT stealth. It's turning sour real quick, though. All right, I guess we're gonna prioritize the junk. How do I get in this building? Ultra Deck Online. Yeah, I feel you. They're here. Well, this is not a building you really get inside, is it? 157, 88. Meanwhile, my gear is... I didn't bring extra boots, but I do have some sandals. <laughs> I brought some sandals. I love how I walked around all the collectibles. Yeah, these are... These are just metals and special alloys. We need to get inside. If possible. Yeah, you can't squeeze in there. You're a little too thick, Sam. There we go. Finally. Maybe a little rain shelter as well. <sighs> I'd love to get 480 cargo. Uh, special, but I can't. I just have... We have so many of these. Alright, it seems like it's all concentrated in that area. We got the one on the fringe. Uh, this is about, what, 70 meters away? Let's go for that one next. Right toward the BT, though. <laughs> I'm a little stressed. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's, I haven't even started. And I'm already feeling greedy. I don't know. Are they inside the building? How am I going to get across this? Carefully, I guess. Hold on. I'm right here. Gib collectible. All right. Shh, shh. Where is he? I don't see him. Fuck this. <laughs> Is this going to be another mall crater situation? <laughs> I don't know. Stay tuned, I guess. Let's do this. Stack that and then get a little bit of organization to get our center of gravity down. We're going to get stacked here pretty soon, I think. Oh, boy. He right there, huh? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? That's weather station stuff. Forget that. We got some junk dealer cargo just up ahead on the left. We're doing pretty good. Time fall is an issue, of course. Let's check on the cargo for just a sec, because I want to just make sure the components are fine. 
14 and 1% damage. Okay, that's fine. Everything else is going to be deteriorating, but it seems like... Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Is that the only time when it rains when BTs are about? Uh, well, the time fall is like Corallium powered, right? It's because of the Corallium in the air or something. Like, I could be messing that up. I'm not actually RP walking. This is just how fast we're going. It's safe to walk normally, unless it starts clapping fast. And then I'm just gonna err on the side of caution there. Okay, and now we can decide if we want to stay. Oops, there's more. How did I miss this? How did I miss these? The RP walk is good, though. This is a nice looking area. I won't lie. Alright, we got at least two more junks, and if I feel greedy, I'm gonna go for that special alloy. Yo, I hear this guy, but I don't see him. Ooh! Oh my. One sec. Take a little sippy. All right, ready? Three, two, one. You can make it! Hold your breath! Everybody together! Does he know? Oh, he knows! Oh my god! No, all the stuff! He pulled me in! <laughs> he got me! <laughs> Rushing through! <gasps> Oh my god. I only can think of one thing to do here, chat. I've been repatriated for the first time in the entire game. You may encounter souls of other players in the scene. Touching them strengthens your connection, enabling you to share more items, facilities, etc. Be sure to connect as many as you can. But like this? down here. Look at all these people. Oh no. How can I save them? Make sure to connect to as many as you can. This is the first time I've been consumed in the entire game. These poor peepos. Oh, that's mine. I only got two people.
Whoa. Hi. This is their stuff. Um, so, uh, what happened over- What? Did I do that? <laughs> I did this? Oh my god. Nobody was over there though, right? We have well, we haven't even been over there. We got uh we we got consumed, I guess, somewhere in here and dragged over here before the guy ate us. Through the stream. I guess okay, don't you can't go in there. Or at least not yet. Wow! This game is crazy. Chad, I hope you got what you were looking for. You wanted some action. You got a baby's first death. BB's first repatriation, I guess. I think you'll forgive me if I really don't want to go back in there to get the old components, given my current state, but uh, I think I have no choice but to go. Oh, they let me keep the old components. They're just severely damaged. Well, that's really going to please the guy that hates our guts, isn't it? Yeah, that dude hates us. So what did I leave in the middle out there? More junk? I guess, how damaged is my, um... Exosuit. 49. Boots are 30. Still <laughs> better than the robot couriers. <laughs> Just went through a small nuke. You're gonna get a one-star review. <laughs> Can you get hard-locked if you destroy some bases? Yeah, I think the dragging mechanic uh, prevents you from hard-locking yourself. You get taken to the current. So we got some uh, Edge of Tomorrow shenanigans in there, huh? That big four-legged creature I had not seen before now. Uh, that looked like, uh, the creatures from Edge of Tomorrow, which, by the way, highly recommend watching that movie. Fantastic. Alright, well, we can't fix our cargo. Because I don't have any spray. But also, it wouldn't fix it anyways, it would only fix the containers. Manga is better. Weebs out. This isn't Ghost in the Shell movie, okay? This is a good, competent, standalone movie. When someone says, I like Edge of Tomorrow, and you go, the manga is better, this is why no one wants to make your other favorite manga into movies. Which... Probably most of you would be okay with keeping the uh, the niche. There we go. 
<laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Which would you rather have? The Attack on Titan live action movies or Edge of Tomorrow live action movies? It's not, it's not even close. I did the fast forward watch of the Attack on Titan live action movies. Woo! I did the like skip 10 minutes every 60 seconds. It was not a good, pleasant experience. By the way, interesting how getting caught here seems to have removed the time fall. And also the BT presence, at least temporarily. Yes, the live action ones are Japanese, but they're still movies. They are live action movies. The explosion blew the rain away. <laughs> Time fall was kicked out because you sacrificed yourself. Need to drink something. You need to drink something? I mean, you got some monster, but I don't know if it's going to help you that much. It's better than nothing. <laughs> Delete timefall. <laughs> uh oh. Maybe I lied. Okay, uh, what do we. No! We need to go! There's one more! Oh god, okay, time out. We gotta at least patch up the containers. Even if we can't fix the damages, we can fix the containers. Now, I want to have what little uh, defense that I've got on hand. Uh-oh. Just stay to the left. It's going to be fine. <coughs> This is fine. We're gonna go now. I think I've got all of them. But anyways. Watch out your tomorrow chat if you haven't already. Because, here's the thing, anybody who says manga is better, it's, it's a catch-22 already, because if you're the kind of person who would think the manga is better, you've already probably read it and watched it. So my recommendation to watch it literally doesn't even apply to anybody who would think the manga is better. Because if you've not read the source material and you watch the movie, then you don't even know the difference. You can just enjoy the movie without trying to hold it up to the expectations of what is it's not even a manga, it's like a it's like a short novel. It's not even a series, it's like it's like a short story. So saying the manga is better actually doesn't hurt anybody, it just it's just saying something to say it. What's it about? If I told you, it would ruin the movie. You just have to watch it. I can't tell you what it's about. You have to just just watch it.
It's one of those twist stories. It's got a twist. Mm. I can't ruin the twist. That's good. Hmm. It's about Tom Cruise dealing with everyday life. That's true. Tom Cruise dealing with everyday life in a world in which um, a seemingly alien superpower has taken a foothold and eradicated most of the uh, known civilization. Uh, where are we? Kojima! Uh, we're taking these back to the junk dealer? No, oh, Kojima didn't make that one. <laughs> but anyways... They're supposed to be making a second one. Uh, but they have to wait until after Tom Cruise's schedule for the Mission Impossible series clears up, and then they're gonna make another one. I think there's gonna be one every like couple years of those. I still need to see Fallout. But Rogue Nation was awesome. He just makes good movies. That did not improve my stamina literally. Did I did I drew I'm about to run completely out of stamina, which, honestly, given what Sam has been through a second ago, I do not blame him. Um, I, <laughs> I can't control my weight. There we go. <sighs> nice out of context clip, Techno. Nice. I'm gonna trip and fall any second now. The end is in sight. There we go. Somehow, even though I'm running out of stamina, I can still sprint. Approaching destination. Go a little further. Zero monster. Take a dip in the hot springs. Daily Bomber used your time fall shelter. Hey, my shelter. Okay, I know this is the hard part. You see the finish line. No stamina, just the final push. ID He's on uh, that yellow flash, I think, was pass out. <sighs> Whew! I think I did it! Uh, it won't be a good grade, but I think I did it. Fallout was the best one yet, in my opinion. Quite good. Mission Impossible just seems to keep getting better. I know, I like how there's always one set piece of a really stupid live action stunt. And, uh, I just enjoy that. I enjoy sitting back and letting it just take me to another weird place. I have not seen Hobbs and Shaw. No. Was it good? Sixty kilograms of old components. I did go above and beyond sixty, so maybe I won't get punished too severely. Let's see. Well, she really likes that hourglass. This dude just sits in here, 
going crazy watching old home movies of his deceased daughter and fuming every single day. And he shows them to me. He's project like he he's got a uh, projector and the screen is in front of his giant porch window and I can like see the movie he's watching from my window in the house over the fence and I watch the movie he's watching every day to spy on him and see what he's doing. And when he's not watching the movie, that's when I get to watch him like cook dinner and stuff and I get to see what he's eating. You actually managed to get the goods out of there? That takes balls. Well now, it's more than I asked for. Not bad. All right. There was 110. 7% damage, 0%. This is like when you go through a semester of school and you know as long as you get at least a B on the test, you're gonna pass the semester. 32% average cargo delivery damage. So my, uh, my A's balanced out my F's. I passed the test, but I failed all the pop quizzes. take it. I'll take it. Considering my failure, it would have been really weird to get an S rank for this. But we went above and beyond for quantity over quality here. <laughs> Didn't he hear the explosion? There's probably a lot of explosions. Etel tried to get some junk from the ruin. The BTs got him. The big BT mauled him after he tried pissing on him. There was a void out, a massive explosion, and a section of the ruins is gone. <laughs> That's all true. You know, those ruins you went to wouldn't be ruins if Fragile hadn't fucked us over. Um, mm. Bridges, too. Speaking of ruins. All that talk of rebuilding the country. It's just stirring folks up. My girl would still be alive if it wasn't for you people. She was there. When the terrorists tried to take out South Knot, she was already dead. Because of you. <clears throat> this is a very serious conversation I'm having now, Colonel. Is this important? He's wrong. She's in a shelter southeast of the ruins. Mind if I take over? If he's not coming outside, then it doesn't matter who he yells at over the wire. And I'm guessing he'll feel better taking it out on me. Hey, Bridges. Fragile says my girl's alive. And I'm just... Supposed to believe her? After what she did? Hell no. You're gonna need to prove it. And there's only one way out. I'll give you something to take to this woman you found. She says it's hers. You bring her back here to me. Take this with you, too. It's a skeleton I made that improves stability and mobility. What? Threw together some of the parts I've got lying around. Just so we're clear. I'm only giving it to you because I want to make absolutely fucking sure you complete this delivery. If my girl's still alive, then when she sees what you're carrying, she'll want you to bring her here. You do right by me. I'll do right by you. High mobility exosuit. Sam, the order's been posted. <laughs> my dude Sam needs to take a break, man. <laughs> He's doing that thing where he sticks his entire head. Uh, into the del the console. Now well, I need to find a place to nap. We're gonna have to go to the uh, the um, hot springs and see if that does anything for us. So let's not take this delivery yet, because um, where do I need to? Oh my. Okay, I managed to interrupt before we could. Okay, so we just picked up ceramics and resins from my friends. Can I recycle those here and use these facilities yet? No, I still can't! Okay, well then, let's go. I need to just get somewhere that I can chill. I'm 
I'm still on the fence as to whether sprinting uses more or less power while wearing an exosuit, because you would think the battery would offset it. I haven't really noticed the difference in stamina depletion. I don't get the exosuit until I take the mission. So I'm just going to the springs right now, because there ain't no way I can complete this mission in my current sorry state of affairs. That was a crazy uh, mission, though. The BT. Oh, I'm going to pass out. There's another bridge that wasn't there before. <gasps> a private room! That was not there a second ago. Somebody built this oasis in the desert. But before I go in there, I want to see how much the, uh... Excuse me, what is that? Does that say 98,000 likes? Wow. 98, huh? I do have to tell you, though. This is a pretty terrible spot for a safe house. I'm gonna like it because, uh, it's here. Not because I think it's well positioned. Hot springs, huh? A terrible spot that saved you. Listen, even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. Yeah. Soak it in. Alright, this is at least gonna refill uh, our Gatorade. Ooh, it's refilling Max, too. And, chat, this is why it is a uh, not good spot for a safe house. I guess the only upside is I can fabricate stuff, but I could do that just over the hill anyway. <laughs> it's singular capacity to facilitate bowel movements. Um, I guess also you could get extra max stamina in the safe house. Listen, I'm just jealous he's got 98,000 likes, that's all. Oh, I forgot to do the song. I didn't do the song. I didn't do the Babu song. Don't praise the sun and flex on me. All right, here you go. Due diligence. Today's a good day. I'll push you up over Thanks 98 250 cuz I'm using your services. Put hot spring in your safe house. Ammo supplies have been replenished. BB has been pacified. Taking a little nap. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your How do I keep my toys with me everywhere I go, though? They just 3D print my toys everywhere. No more monster chat. Monster is gone! Now beer is my best friend. <laughs> I miss the monster. I do too. I, I, I think the monster advertising is the number one complained about thing in this game. 
And for some reason, that makes me happy. Why would you complain about it? It's just funny. It's, it's not funny. It ruins my immersion. When I'm playing this game, and I go into my room, I want to be immersed. I don't need fourth wall breaks. Alright, actually, before we do that. But anyways, I think there's more important things to complain about than on, like, a dumb joke. Like, if there was any, uh, you know, season passes. $50 DLC season passes, or, you know, microtransactions. Oh! Fragile jump! Yeah, her umbrella is in the safe house, so you can, like, jump from or to the safe house. That's cool. I didn't think about that. Wait, did I just pee? Or take a shower? I think he's still a little oily. <laughs> from getting void outed. He winked at me! He winked at me! <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I was reading last night on this one of the conversation. Um. Basically, people just talking about their thoughts on the game. And there were some funny comments. How do I search my own... Here we go. And this was one that was pretty highly rated. If you already read it on the Discord, I'm sorry. I'm going to read it again. This is somebody else's opinion that got like... Kojima! <laughs> that was pretty highly ranked in the thread. It apparently is a popular opinion shared by many people. Because I'm surprised more people aren't pissed at the immersion-breaking product placement. Specifically, the monster energy thing is just insulting and bizarre as far as I'm concerned. You pay 60 bucks for a game and have this unhealthy garbage that totally doesn't fit in the world at all shoved in your face. Thematically, it makes no sense at all for it to exist in the world of Death Stranding. It's the post-apocalypse, and there's no sign of any kind of corporate capitalist structure or even currency of any kind that really exists anymore. Yet you have branded monster cans still being produced. On top of that, it's built into the stamina system, so you're essentially required to use it in order to be efficient. People just roll over and accept it because it's Kojima. But if it was EA doing it, people would lose their fucking minds. There's no way I will ever play this game unless the product placement is removed. Couldn't handle having my immersion constantly broken like that. But anyway, I just think it's funny that there's this entire opinion. Everyone upvotes it, and then second paragraph, there's no way I will ever play this game. Okay, so you're angry at something that you're not playing or experiencing. Can't you just not do it instead of trying to rile up? Like, literally riling up, right? Like, trying to stir up a storm. I can't believe more people aren't up in arms about this. I can't believe more people aren't pissed about this. That, that's the quote. Why can't you just not do it? 
and not worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it, bo if it really does bother you that much, just ignore it and don't play it? Because you already said you're not gonna? I feel like someone who's that angry about the monster drinks would not like this game if the monster drinks were not in it. I think the monster energy is like a really accidental genius 200 IQ play to like, if this pisses you off about the game, you probably won't like the rest of the game. So it, it, it really saved you like 60 bucks by having those in there. Because that, that's like the first filter. To like filter people who probably wouldn't like it anyways. But yes, that was that was pretty much the other responses, Cormac, which is all the Metal Gear Solid games have like shameless product placement. Metal Gear Solid 4 has got an iPod as one of like the main features. You have the calorie mate in the earlier ones. I did it like probably two dozen times drinking Monster and for some reason it was funny to me uh, each time. Because of how lame it was. Uh, well, that's what this game kind of reminds me of. Death Stranding reminds me of... Uh, I feel like this is Kojima channeling his like college days. Him and all his buddies, they got like a camera, they're gonna make like a, a cool video that they, they want to make. Hey, we're doing this for us guys, and we hope other people like it too, but we're just having a good time, we're just having fun. It just feels like a bunch of people goofing off making a thing. And hoping that other people also like it, and they're just having a good time. Like, there, at one point, there was a discussion had at a table, like, would it be, wouldn't it be funny if we, like, got a monster sponsorship and just had, like, this really blatantly obvious, like, monster table where there's, like, six of them? And you just drain them? And, like, the other three people at the table just started laughing. They're like, yeah, let's do it. Death Stranding seems like a, yeah, let's do it. No idea is a bad idea. Boom. A little flip. You okay? If you keep tapping, does something happen? I don't know. We've never tapped that many times. I think he just goes back to boo. Or just silent tapping. Leave BB alone. He's trying to sleep. <laughs> if you tap a hundred times, you get a secret Easter egg. The solution of abstaining from things you dislike has logical fallacies in the modern era. Not when it's entertainment. Not when it is pure entertainment. Uh, your counter arguments include computers, which are not optional in this day and age. Places you can't afford to live. You have to have a roof over your head, food, you gotta eat. Uh, apples to oranges. Uh, that's, that's an argument that people who pirate games use. Like, I have a, I have a right to entertainment, so if I can't afford it, then I get to pirate it because I deserve this, uh, entertainment. And it's, it, that's the logical fallacy. But you have to have a uh, a PlayStation 4 to play this game. Right in the face.
Guys, I never see. Oh, we saw that one last night. I think people do deserve entertainment. I agree, Edson. But I don't think people deserve all entertainment. There's a difference in being entertained and having access to all entertainment. I don't think we deserve access to all entertainment. There's plenty and plenty and plenty of free entertainment. That's why uh, you have to pick and choose what games you do or don't buy. And if they have things that you don't like in those games, then you can just not buy them. If they are something that would keep you from wanting to buy it. Which was the original discussion. Because there's many, 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 many other options under the sun. All right, so we're going to, um, I guess, do either the crater dump for the junk dealer. The other thing they want us to do is take the super exosuit. And go to an unknown location. Uh, I, you guys want to do the, the crater dump? Alex, we know you're just a monster shill. That's true. <laughs> Let us see your monster energy fridge. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have one. I would probably use one, though. If it wasn't so loud. Portable, like, small fridges are so loud. But anyways, chat, speaking of free entertainment, uh, I hope you enjoy this ad-supported stream where I would turn off advertisements and make it totally free for you, uh, if I could. Unfortunately, I am not allowed to turn off ads. But thank you for enjoying my free broadcast. Uh, as long as you have any kind of screen-based device, be it computer, television, and an internet connection, or a, a phone line, you can enjoy any stream at any time. As long as I am live, or even when I'm not, for 60 days watching VODs. I am one of the many options on Twitch. You can watch any of them at your own leisure. It's great. There's so many things you can do to entertain yourself, right? So many cool avenues of entertainment out there. Even if you don't want to buy... And that's, that's a lot of people here, chat, that don't have a PlayStation or don't want to buy this game for some reason. Do you know how many people... Uh, what was the game we played? Was it Satisfactory? More people rage watch Satisfactory than any other thing. I refuse to buy and support Epic Game Store for this exclusive... How dare you practice these anti-consumer practices... But I'm gonna watch- I love watching this Satisfactory stream, and I'm- I'm not supporting your, uh, your use of the Epic Game Store for Metro Exodus. I won't give them money, but I'll watch you and pay you to play it. It's the same thing. Now he's talking about Epic. This is a controversial stream. Sort by controversial. <laughs> anyway. Um, we need to go back up to the junk boy. This cargo is rough. Hang on, before we go to junk boy, can I fabricate here? Probably. Nice jump, nerd. He 
said Epic Store and Kojima and pirating in the same stream. Well, how about Celsius and Fahrenheit? Math? You guys like math? Lump those in there, too. Stop! Going too far. Delivering cargo. <laughs> You're not allowed to talk about these hot button issues. But no, it does. Um, rem it reminds me of. Okay, first of all, it goes back a long ways to the our video games art argument. I think they are. Um, as a whole. Without delving into that. I would say it reminds me of how many tweets I see of various artists that I follow. I follow a lot of pixel artists and uh, people that compose songs such as the person I have an agreement with to do my stream music and how many DMs or emails they get about like let it, making me something for exposure. Not me, but, you know, making them making something for someone else for exposure. It reminds me of that. The I Deserve X game reminds me of I Deserve Your Art because you should just be happy that I'm playing it in the first place. Thank you for making it. And I don't agree with that. I think that the artist should get to dictate the terms that their art is consumed. Because they didn't have to make it. And that's where I will end uh, my point. Now, if you wanted to have government-subsidized art or entertainment, that's a different topic altogether. PBFs. Back in the old days, supported by viewers like you. I don't know if it was ever government subsidized, but, you know, basic cable is what I'm trying to say. Is like a, a communal source. Where people do have certain entitlements to it. So we're going to fabricate... No, you can't fabricate anything, you nerd. But we did at least get rid of some of the lost cargo. Um, what's in the share locker? Maybe there's something cool in here? That I can use. Maybe I can use some hematic grenades. Thank you. Strange love, 1979. I appreciate you. I will take those. PBS. Uh, oh, I thought you were saying that PBS was government propaganda, Molotov. I was like, Lamb Chop Sing Along was government propaganda? They're really getting creative. When apparently propaganda was super entertaining when I was a kid. <laughs> Mr. Rogers, man. He was a spy. That's why they just made a movie about him. That's why Tom Hanks was wanting to play them. He did the other spy movie. Cut Mr. Rogers' mic. Yeah, isn't isn't everything propaganda? Also, this, I see that you place this specifically on the line. Chat, we're being brainwashed by all media. I'm brainwashing you right now. To try to get you to believe what I believe. This stream is propaganda so that you uh, think the things I think the way I think them. The only difference is I'm not being funded to do it. Um, by an entity, corporation, or otherwise. Except Monster, which I pay my, for myself. Oh, my dude is strong right now when he's not carrying anything. <laughs> I 
you're good at it because I didn't even notice. Um, okay. Take on... No, we don't need to take on an order for this. We just need to do it. It's not an order, per se. It's just a request. Put it at the bottom of the nearest crater lake. Uh-oh. Hmm. How... Am I gonna do this? <sighs> do I have anything, um... There's no way I can do this all at the same time. Does my crater count for that? No, because there's no lake at the bottom of it, I don't think. <laughs> he thinks that we think that he thinks what- what? Jukebox, you just juked me out of my shoes. <laughs> um Anyway, I'm trying to dis decide if I just just take what I can take or if there's anything I can do to take more. Not unless I get a vehicle, which I clearly do not have, unless I want it. Well, This is not a good idea. It's not a good idea, but it is doable. I assume this is the crater lake. Like, that's a crater, clearly. But does it mean this? It might just mean this. Like, throw it in the water. Because that is both a crater and a lake. This is just a crater. Maybe it has water, but maybe not. Where this, this is clearly water. And it did say to the south, I'm pretty certain. Weapons restrictions lifted. <laughs> Going full Jenga. Uh oh. There might be a better way to do this. In order to balance. Because is that, uh, that's extra large. But then again, that makes it easier to carry. What if I did this? What if I took both of these off? Then put big boy and small boy on. Then organized. Then just carry these two separately. Hold on, hold on! Hold on. No, I don't, hang on, do I? Don't I? Do I? Don't I? Oh no, I don't have any float boys. If I had a, if I had one float boy, I could do this. No float boys. All right, we'll do this the hard way then. Yeah, should always have at least one float hoverboard. But anyways, going back to the conversation that no one wants to talk about, but I do, since we're on uh, a little trip, a little hike anyways. One could argue. One could argue. And I'm steering this ship. One could argue that the monster energy drinks, I think very easily could argue this, are a joke in the game. Now, whether or not you think that the joke is funny... 
do you get to decide that the joke doesn't deserve to be made because it, quote unquote, conflicts with your immersion? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, is the joke part of the greater picture that is the game? Like it or not. Especially given that there is a track record with blatant product placement in all Kojima games up until now. But how do we know that there, the original plan wasn't to just put some big energy drink there? And why not make it a... It could have been an easily sponsorship with Red Bull. Who knows? But is the game better if it's an unbranded energy drink? Porter beer. Does that necessarily make the game better? Don't people laugh at Rockstar jokes because they're so similar to the real thing, but they're just off enough? You know, you know when Rockstar is spoofing McDonald's, but is the game worse if Rockstar stops making a McDonald's look-alike and just makes it McDonald's, but also makes it intentionally, like, shitty? Is that better? Because doesn't that break your immersion either way somehow, because they're just telling a joke? Like, if it was Monstar, with two R's, and it was green and black can, is that better or worse, or the same, as just having monster energy? You know what I mean? Oh! Slippery rocks. He almost took a tumble, and we're walking at a pretty casual speed. This is... Are you serious right now? Okay, we're fine. I thought that there were gonna be BTs between me and this small body of water. Nobody out here. Let us stand. I think the argument was that there would be no monster in this universe. But would there be any energy drinks in this universe? There's, I feel like there's a lot of things that there wouldn't be. Is that what I'm supposed to do? How about we just do that once and see if it disappears? Uh. Hang on, I just got an achievement. Oh, how do I see my achievements easily? Whatever. The issue with product placement is that it usually means you can't be negative about the product. In this game, they obviously are negative about it in a good way. Uh, that, there's a point there. There's a point that they intentionally put Norman Reedus' uh, Ride with Norman AMC show that only shows up when he's taking a shit on the toilet through the flushing noise. That can't be anything other than intentional. I think we just drop all this. Offload. And then <laughs> luggage cannon ready to fire.
Oh, the heavy one doesn't go as far. It's weight-based throwing physics. This is still so much fun to throw stuff. It's probably the best, like, two-button throwing mechanic. The junk dealer gave you two likes. Chiral contamination removed. Let's double check before we leave. Zero trash on my body, right? Apparently that show reviews well, really. I mean, I might watch it. But I wouldn't watch it just because of the advertisement. I'd watch it because Norman Reedus is in the game. Kojima! Norman Reedus is an advertisement at this point. He's the face of The Walking Dead right now. He's got his own AMC show. Actually, I don't know if he's still alive in The Walking Dead, but he's, he was or is the face of The Walking Dead. Isn't that trash on your arms? Uh, those are ladders that are going to become trash, but they're not Corallium infected, so to speak. I think I'm going back the right way. Hopefully. Man, I'm gonna have some bad memories of this place. The game actually got me. And I'm not really sure which ghost I pissed off to even get discovered in the first place, but I must have been being too noisy or not holding my breath or something. Well, I'm going the right way. But yeah, somebody else made the comment, uh, would it have come to PC if not for a monster sponsorship? Okay, so if... Obviously, I know most of you guys' opinions, because most of the people I've pissed off just aren't here anymore. Uh, but... If... Red Dead Redemption 2... Said, hey guys, uh, really sorry about this, but unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to put this game on PC ever, but... Listen, this is a, this is a huge but. Uh, I know it doesn't really fit inside the universe, but <sighs> Burger King really, really wants to be in Red Dead Redemption 2. We were just trying to think of a way to put it into the game. Uh, so one of the cosmetics that every player was going to get on PC is the King's Crown. It's going to be a cardboard cutout like the kind you can wear and get from each established Burger King. And when your character uh, camps, you're going to have a little Burger King DK bag. Welcome with a big kid's meal in inside the camp. Now, if you all agree to this, then we can have a PC port of Red Dead Redemption 2. Would you would you still do it, or would you be like, no, I, I'm sorry, I wouldn't do that. I'm not saying that was a scenario here, but what if it was? It could have been. Literally improved. <laughs> All right. Um, Valve is like, listen, we've heard you. Finally, we're going to make Half-Life 3. But the thing is, believe it or not, we didn't have enough money to do this before. And I know, you're thinking Steam makes billions of dollars. How do you not have enough money? Well, the thing is, we've been trying to collect every single amiibo. And there's just too many. So we spent all of our money on Amiibos, and the only way that you're going to get Half-Life 3... We got this sick Razor sponsorship. So all the gear in the game, the keyboards, all the mice, it's going to be Razor sponsored green and black. And you're going to wear a Razor t-shirt as Gordon Freeman. Or uh, Alex Vance, as the case may be. Jungler told me a little bit more about the order, and I figured you would want to hear it. After you complete the delivery, he wants you to bring his girl back to his shelter. People call her the Chiral Artist. She likes to use chiral matter in her work. 
makes all kinds of things with it. Sculptures, paintings, clothing, jewelry. You'll be delivering one of her pieces, in fact. A Carol Hourglass. To say it's fragile would be an understatement. But yeah, it's really freaking fragile. Treat it like a child. Be gentle. Got it? Deliver the hourglass. Carry it by hand and move slowly. To the other side of Definitely the lake. No falling. Dude, I have... Oh, and the dealer enclosed the message with the parcel. I need some supplies. Make sure it gets to the girl. We need, I need some supplies. There's nowhere to go here that I can fabricate equipment. Take the hourglass from the junk dealer in the shelter to the artist studio in the next shelter, asking them to join the network. The hourglass is extremely fragile. Be sure to carry it in your hands at all times. If you deliver it in one piece, the artist studio is sure to sign up. And I get a speed skeleton level one. Oh, baby. Why don't the person who can teleport just transport it? Because uh, you can only move through your own beach which is a nebulous topic at this point. So their points of travel are restricted in some w it's it basically is your video Kojima! It's a video game. Basically Kojima. True. According to the junk dealer, the Cairo hourglass is extremely fragile. And that kind of cargo is best carried by hand. <laughs> okay, well, I have no I have no choice then. That's a little something from the junk dealer. Sam, that active skeleton is built for speed. It's designed to augment muscle movement, enabling you to travel faster. There's even a boost function if you really need to hustle, but it'll eat up battery about as fast as you eat up the ground. To think he made a thing like that out of junk. Talent like his shouldn't go to waste. Um, an active skeleton boosting mobility, increasing your speed, allowing you to jump further while sprinting. Boosting will drain accelerated levels of battery. Well, we don't have to carry much for this particular quest. Yeah, your carry capacity is very limited by these to what you can carry almost normally. These are lean, light, sprinting machines. Uh, these ladders are about to just die? I don't- I just don't want them. I can't do anything with them, though. Unless I want to put them in my private locker, because I can't recycle here. And the other skeleton just goes on my back, I guess, in the meantime. Oh, you can wear stuff on your hips with the speed skeleton. Ooh. Interesting. So it changes the stack again to keep your center of gravity down, potentially. That's cool. Well, let's see if we feel quick. Take a look at our new level ones. They, uh, they're a little bit more form-fitting. Much smaller. I'm not super confident in, uh... my lack of equipment right now, but at the same time, do I really have a choice in the matter? Let's go this way. Stay off the beach because, or the, yeah, the sandy lakefront kind of seems a little bit more. This is going to be a huge slope. Less rainy this way. Wow, you're way out there. Path 
path you laid down was used by someone else. <laughs> it's so good. Dude, where's my pizza? I'm holding your pizza. Restrictions lifted. All right, do I want to see how bad the uh, battery drain is going to be on Sprint? Whoa! Oh, the battery drain is pretty fast. That's some speed right there. Well, maybe we need some speed because uh, we are in timefall right now. Oh no. That's not good. Oh, it is time fall city. Maybe it is better to change my route to try to get to the shore as soon as possible. All right, we are going to do a uh, an altered path. Going this way. Follow the shore. What happens when it's slow-mo like that? Uh, it does a couple phases. When the Odra deck little arm clapper pops out, that means that there's BTs nearby. So the faster it claps, the closer they are. So I'm gonna run away from their potential position. And also maybe sprint through some of this rain so that my package doesn't get too damaged. And we'll see stealth. Whoop. Slow down. see that one but apparently it's over there somewhere <laughs> I did nearly eat dirt uh, you're right oh they're ahead of me too cargo container ruined but I can't resins whatever don't even matter all right time out for one sec Can I not do this because I'm holding this package? That's a Monster Energy sponsored timeout. Hey, thanks everybody. Brought to you by. I guess I don't care much about product placement because I grew up playing Crazy Taxi. <laughs> I just think it depends on the context. I don't... I don't... I think it depends on the context, the argument, and where it is located. Like... An advertisement, uh... In the new... I don't know. Like, let's say the Game of Thrones Starbucks cup was intentional. As an example. NBA 2K? Yeah, the NBA 2K forces you to sit through literal, like, ads that you watch. That's a big one. Before you can play the rest of the game. Like commercials. And I don't think that's comparable to the kind of product placement here. There we go. 
But also, uh, there is a potential way to write monster energy into the game and have it be hilarious. But I can't... I can't ask because I don't want people to spoil the story, obviously. I could write monster energy into this game right now and have it make total lore sense. <laughs> Emote only then. All right, I'll I'll tell you. I've already I've already said it basically. I just haven't said it with this addendum. Um All right, I don't want to know if I'm right or wrong. I'm just giving some speculative theory on the game. I don't have any... I'm not privy to any knowledge or information that you are uh, also not privy to. But it would basically make sense if, in this game's lore, humanity was mostly wiped out by all the void outs and the BTs. All the people that we're serving now are some kind of uh, artificial intelligence. AI has been mentioned by the game. And the AI has records of old world humans liking monster energy, so that's why they furnish Sam Bridges a human with monster energy in each one of his rooms, because the dumb AI thinks that's what humans love. There. Bam. Wrote it into the game. Makes total sense. And also somehow synthesized it because they're genius robots to actually be, like, health and stamina juice. I just figured it was because he needs inhuman amounts of energy to make these deliveries. <laughs> Why does your canteen synthesize monster? Because there's no clean sources of water to drink left on Earth. I'm not expecting a package. Oh, it's nothing dangerous, is it? Oh my lord. I never thought I'd see this again. Let me have a closer look. Oh, incredible. Not so much as a single scratch. I can't thank you enough. She didn't even know what it was. She didn't even recognize it. She was like, hey, uh, nobody's ever brought me a gift in a long time. It's her husband, not her dad. Okay, well, I thought he was looking at videos of his daughter, but apparently he was looking at videos of his wife from when she was younger, because that's all that they had was home movies? I don't know. We'll find out. All that matters right now is that they're happy. So, I'm on the one and only Chiral Network now. That's wonderful. I'm happy to be a part of the UCA. Uh-oh, chat. I think I might be onto something here. I think I might be onto something. I don't want to ruin the plot, but I I can't help if I'm starting to pick up breadcrumbs. Not not like I could predict a Kojima plot anyways. Um, but maybe I could predict a small piece of it. My prediction is my current theory is that based on the other things I just said that uh, the Chiral Network is actually um, 
the reason everyone was off the grid is they specifically segregated themselves in order to stop the neural networks and AIs from, like, being linked up. And the more you link up, the more powerful it gets. So we're actually relinking them at the behest of the source of the AI to bring the UCA back onto the grid in order to bring Rise back to the powerful artificial intelligences. That's my current working theory. Skynet. Bridges HQ has provided design data for the following anti-BT handgun. But that sounds like it goes against the themes of the game it's been pushing. Well, I think the themes of the game are that, uh, I think one of the hidden themes is everything in moderation. Just shoot the BTs. But even if I'm right, that won't affect my enjoyment of the game. I'll still enjoy it even if it happens verbatim. Um, the way that I said, I'll still have fun. But yeah, like, you're handcuffed to your communications device that keeps you in contact with everyone else. And the connections that it provides are good, but you have to be careful not to let it literally handcuff you to prevent you from, like, interacting and connecting. So it's a good thing that has bad extremes, much like the mules are people who got a high from carrying packages, but they got addicted to the high and became the insane mules. The area is now connected to the chiral network, enabling you to see and access other player structures, etc. You'll drop by again, won't you? Whoa! Take me with you. It's... it was her mom. Please. I have to see him again. I made this for him, you know. When the terrorists attacked, my mother and I barely escaped with our lives. I tried to find him afterwards. I did. I just didn't know where to look. But that's not why I stopped. My mother never liked him. She made that pretty clear. But I didn't think she'd go as far as to lie. <laughs> Sam looks like a linebacker. So when she said he died, In I believed background. her. And you heard that message. It's him. It's really him. I should never have given up. Deep down, I knew he was out there somewhere. But I couldn't leave my mother all alone. So I tried to make my peace with it. <sighs> Only I couldn't. Not even if I do wanted to. I was stuck in the past. Unable to move on. Take me to him. I'm begging you. I'm ready to go. Right now, if we want. Just say you'll take me. 
<laughs> is an absolute unit with the golden glasses and bridge hat. He looks like such a douche in this cutscene. Hey, at long last! Holy crap. Why did it take so long to ha get a 3D printer? Do they have enough supplies? I think they do. I kind of just want to start fresh with all, all, all this stuff that's under like 25% damaged. Ooh! Power Skeleton, you've seen better days, my friend. Ladder, gone. Resin, gone. Ladder, gone. EX grenade number one, gone. Speed skeletons, good. Boots, gone. Mega recycle. Okay. Why does she have that accent? I don't know. You gotta probably because her voice actress did, but also you gotta just we gotta even done the mission yet. Who knows? It might be answered. Um Well, we're gonna get that anti BT handgun. Did I already get it or did I get a uh I don't think I got it yet. Fires transfusion rounds loaded with Sam's blood. This is specifically anti-BT and will have no significant effect on human targets. Uh, the length of time you hold R2 will dictate it is a non-lethal anti-BT weapon. So you can shoot this without... I was That's what I was curious about. I was wondering if it was going to be a lethal versus non-lethal, like good end versus bad end for killing BTs. But it says, it says non-lethal. Why even call it a gun? Same reason you could have a beanbag gun. The gun dictates the mechanisms, not the lethality. Or an airsoft gun. You still call it a gun, but it doesn't shoot lethal bullets. Or a glue gun. Yes, or a glue gun. That is true. It's not often that we're asked to transport people. Oh boy. But with the world being the way it is, it might well be the safest way to travel. How is this going to anyway, work? Sam. The Cairo artist wants you to take her to the junk dealer. To do so, your only option is to carry her in a body bag. <laughs> it might seem strange, but it'll keep her safe from time fall and chiral contamination, while allowing her to breathe. <laughs> okay then, well... Transporting live humans is unusual, but if you succeed, the junk dealer is sure to agree to join the chiral network. Handle with care. Impacts and collisions can <laughs> cause injury. She created the chiral hourglass. She's protected from time fall in the body bag. Let's go! It does indeed seem strange, yes. That there's a handgun that configured there. to fire hermetic rounds. Bullets loaded with your own blood. Should do some damage Ew, to any blood. BTs you come across. The gun draws blood from your body or any bags on hand to fill its cartridges when in use. Length of the trigger pull determines the amount loaded into the next round. Longer pulls mean more blood and more potential damage to the BT on the receiving end. Just don't drain yourself dry by accident, okay? 
<laughs> Bloodborne. We're going <laughs> blood rounds. All right, give me one of those. Uh, two ladders should be fine. I don't need PCCs right here where I'm going. I can make them there. How do I even carry all this stuff plus a human? I do need container spray. I got four blood bags. I need boots. I've got a speed skeleton. We'll stick with that. Could make some hematic grenades. But I've got the gun. So why don't we just do that first because it's so expensive. It's a hundred metals. And I don't think I need a floating carrier. Okay, uh, well there she is, I guess. I feel like I'm transporting an insane asylum patient who, like, could bite me if I'm not careful. We're taking her to the, uh, the Walden facility. I feel like she could just walk. Well, she can't sense BTs. She doesn't have any dooms. So, we have to make sure she stays away from the BTs. Also, I'm pretty sure zipping it up, um, because you have to hold your breath, right? When you're near them. So I can't trust her to not make a sound. So we zip up that front jacket. She can breathe, but it probably muffles her sound effects. Her, like, noises. Ooh, look at that shiny gun. As you know, you'll be transporting a living human being for a change. It goes without saying that any falls or heavy impacts sustained may result in injury to your client. So proceed with caution, now more than ever. Well, how's she gonna even fit? Okay, we got a yeah, we got a little issue here. I am gonna have to use a floaty. Um, did it keep this? Uh, where's the floaty? Okay, a little heavier on the metals and resins. Floating carrier just offload that, I guess? Okay, now we're talking. What happens if I put this all on my back? Can I put her on the floaty? <laughs> it might be more comfortable. She cannot be loaded onto the carrier, unfortunately. But, all my other stuff can. So, we got that going for us. Uh, boots need to go on feet. BT handgun needs to go on tool rack. That should be good, I think. I think we got it, chat. This is going to be a really interesting mission. Put her on one of the delivery bots. One of the leggy boys can get her there with at least 82% damage. For sure. I'll hold the hourglass. I don't want it to break. So it's just like a sleeping bag. Pretend like we're in the Arctic. You gotta cover your whole body in order to not get frostbite. Except in this case, it's not frostbite, it's a void out that would kill everyone around. Thank you for your contribution. They don't, they don't zip up her face? Well, I guess that's it. When they said it allows breathing, I kind of had a different idea. But there she is! <laughs> this is great. Okay! Let's check how much chiral energy we've got. Where am I? Re Do I have resources somewhere that just lists how many like chiral 
things I've got. Um, isn't it in my car? It is in my cargo. Isn't it? Bottom right, 866. Oh, okay, that's what that number is. 866. Let's see how much I have when I get there, because um, this little floaty guy runs on chiral energy, because chiral makes stuff float, like the rocks. Well, here we go! This is an iconic-looking mission already. Oh yeah, and I forgot that we we're hooked up to the network. And she's waving by! Here. Well, what's over there? I'm not- I can't go over there right now. I can't take a trike either. Here. Alright, if there's nothing there, I'm deleting this sign. Here. There's nothing here. What? Oh, I just tried to take a video. <laughs> wrong. Wrong. I just recorded like the last five minutes. On accident. Well, here we go! I should probably plot my course. Uh, we could just follow back the same way. Looks like the... oof. Oh boy, it rainy. We gotta go back to the junk dealer. I think just following the same route we took is best case scenario. They've got some ropes and whatnot already here. That you could use, but that's super BT infested. Whereas if I follow the beach right now, based on the weather patterns, we have the smallest conditions to succeed. I missed the entire first stream and most of this one, so I'm just going to accept all the weird stuff. That's the way to do it. Have I experienced any funny glitches? I actually have not. Uh, I've had some funny, dumb here. crashes on the Same. trike. Look for the tar. Wait, bubbles up in the spread. But I haven't had any physics bugs. Control. What'd she say? Swallow you up. We are ready. It's bottomless. Or so, claim the folks who use these places to dispose of terrarium contaminated waste. And bodies too. If you don't have time to burn them, there's always the tar. What'd she say? Throw bodies into the tar? Like, if there's not time to burn the bodies, throw them into the water? Like, the, the crater lake? But what what prompted that conversation? Huh? Look, I'm paying attention the best that I can. If you haven't seen another human in ages, you might be a little weird. <laughs> yeah. It sounded like someone who was just thinking. Someone who was just thinking about what they wanted to say. Hey, Cammy, what's up? What do you got here? She has a boyfriend. Are you spoiling something, or are you uh, insinuating that uh, Sam is a new person of interest in her life? But if you grow up with just your mom, uh, you're gonna be weird. You met the guy? I thought that was her dad.
I'm super confused by this whole relationship. Why don't we just let the quest play out? There we go. All right. So our little tray got a bit lighter. My impression was that the guy uh, thought his daughter had died. So he has videos of her playing with this little uh, hourglass. And then he sends us over to mom, who has been apparently... Uh, Keeping her safe all this time. And he thought that she was dead. She's not. So we'll we'll just see how it plays out. Because I don't know the full relationship here. I love this mission. I just like having my little live cargo. I'm gonna have to safely take through BT territory, and I finally have a use for floaty hoverboard boy. Also, uh, she ain't she heavy. This is thumbstick forward, no sprinting, max speed without sprinting. I'm wearing my speed boots instead of my uh, power lifters. But also I'm dragging this cart around, so that adds to it. I guess it's time. I had never even heard of Low Roar until this game, and I love them now. <laughs> Understandable. I'm definitely going to add to my playlist. Here we go. Time to turn it up a notch. By the way. 40 minutes ago. Needs Vaseline, thank you for the six months with the tomato emotes. HB Hero for 32! That's a long time. Thanks to both of you. Hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Forbidden Monday. Death Stranding stream. Is he above me? Can't, I don't know where this dude is to my left, clearly, but there's a decent sized obstacle to my right that may force us. I'm 
holding my breath. I hope she is too. Holding breath. All right. I think we're good. Thumbs up. Why did I get a thumbs up on my stamina? <laughs> BB, hold breath. Rage face. All right. Honestly, crouch walking with this current load is not much different from just going. We could try sprint running. Almost ruined reverse strike. Where is that even happening? A lot of crap down there. I want to say the worst of it is probably behind us. She did not like that very much. Understandably, it was probably a lot bouncier. Hey, nice job. That was the worst of it. Because I took a good path, unlike all these other dummies online. I am going to pick up a little bit more of this greedily, though. Well, I guess the, whether they're dummies or not online depends on if, um, how their weather pattern is. Because if you look the way I went, right? This way. The way everyone else apparently went. Look at all this! They're like, okay, I get mission, I go this way. Ladder, rope, rope, ladder. Cliff, deep river, more ladders, more anchors. But if you look at the, where they're going, it like it initially it's good, at least for our weather, and then they go through the biggest patch of rain or time fall ever. Whereas my genius 400 IQ path took us through just this much, and then we found uh, the dead zone that we're currently in now, in between two storms, wiggling our way up through the thick of it. The only reason it's still drizzling right now is because I wanted to get a couple more of these Corallium deposits. Claiming victory without finishing the path. We're good. I'm back on the path. We're certainly out of BT territory for now. Yeah, sure, the rain patterns could be different for them. Um, we just left the online zone, so that's why nothing is being built here, because we don't have this hooked up yet. Either way, this just seems like a dumb way to go, because of how steep it is. This is the... I'm taking... even without rain, this is the walking path of least resistance to get to our objective. Would you... do you want to carry this lady and the hover car up those mountains? The fact they had to build it all, I didn't have to build anything. That's also true. How far away are those? Pretty far. <laughs> That's what happens when you make gamers try and simulate walking. Yeah, I don't have any idea. I'm just gamifying it. But it's fun, that's a rewarding part of the game, is like plotting your route, and everyone can take a different route, everyone can have different time fall, different factors, different positioning of the BTs that make uh, the same map different for different people. And different uh, online helpers appearing in different locations too.
But we got a good song. Too bad the time fall ruined it, but we got to hear most of it. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile express ID verified. Weapons detected. I love this little hoverbot. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter. Nice to actually have a good use for it. Alright, now we get to see how this story actually goes without uh, being misled. Here you go. Actually, before we do this, let's get rid of the lost cargo. Oh, you can't, because he doesn't like us yet. I forgot. He's real! Chad, it's been five hours and I haven't taken a gamer death break. I got sucked in. All right, so he's younger than I thought he was, based on the video. Thanks, Bridges. I can't believe you're alive. That's my line, silly. I thought you were dead. My mom told me you were. Yeah, she's holding an hourglass because we took it Always. to her. But after the attack, it stopped working. I thought about fixing it, getting the sand flowing again. But it felt too much like moving on. Like forgetting you. Well, now we can both move on. Together, you and me. If you're ready. Of course. <laughs> the man I knew. They took other junk. He fixed the things, made them like new again. Picking up the pieces and making the most of them. That's what I do best too. But this is one piece. We don't need. <laughs> no! The only time that matters is the time I spend with you. Oh. Aww. Aww. So let's count the moments ourselves together. I'm asking you to marry me, dummy. <laughs> I will. I do. Yes. What? <laughs> One Definitely not that. I knew that. He's too what? young. Don't hate mom. Please. <laughs> Tell her this is what we want. Help her to understand and accept. It's his mom! That was his because mom! She needs us and I need her. Alright. I'm pretty good at patching things up. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, not at her on the screen. <laughs> like the older lady at the other facility. I don't know. <laughs> he sees the mom. And listen, I don't know how anybody here is related. All I know is these two happy kids are getting married in the apocalypse, okay? Because yeah, there's no time like the present. You ain't got time to court somebody for three years to figure out if they're worth it to you, okay? Time is short, as she said. She threw that glass right down there, and that's exactly what she meant. I'm the dad. No, that, that's not true. She's not a nine-month sub. So I will not take responsibility. I got an S rank, that's all I care about. And also, I got a new song. This better be huge connection level. What's she worth to you? 
Not even three stars? I just saved your lover. Not even a three star love. <laughs> the way she got bound up in that body bag, I think she may be a sub. Listen, I took her to the promised land, okay? And delivered her to her husband-to-be. The real dad was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Changed my life forever and gave me hope. Sorry. Three out I of five. Such an asshole. I treated you and Fragile like shit. Actual movie reviews. I'm gonna try and make a fresh start with my girl. Or game reviews. And though I can't do half of what you people do out there every day, I'm ready to pull my weight. If you need anything fixed, I'm your man. The UCA can count on me. It'll take some getting used to, but it's past time. What if he kissed Norman right now? What, and asked him to marry him? Too? We will join the UCA's network. I'd say no, because this let's, look how this I guy lives. I let you down. I swear. Do you see all this junk around here? I'm not going to be the one that cleans up after him. This junk outside never is indicative you. of how he's going to act in the home. Thank you. <gasps> what? <laughs> She's got a, a like heart Whoa. built into her thumbs. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kojima! That's up. We're on the grid. Carrot Toby, how many uh, clips do you think that are also called now? That was a good one, though. Do you have more or less or fewer A's? <laughs> it's like having sex in the other room while the cable guy's fixing your cable. <laughs> Not the cable. I, you know, I guess I am the cable guy. And at least we can make our own speed skeletons now. <gasps> yes, my pre-order! I can do the gold one! Is it bad that after playing this I wish I had gotten the stupid $20 extra digital deluxe edition so I could have more gold cosmetics? I hate that I think that, but I'm glad that I didn't do it. I'm glad that I was smart. I spent the $60 necessary to play this fun game. But there was a small part of me that's like, mm, Man, I wish. I should've. Wow, that's a pretty big zone, actually, that he was harboring there. Sam, that whole region is connected to the Cairo network now. Head for the next area. To connect South Knot City, you'll need to make a delivery from Lake Knot City. Huh? Not sure I follow. What? Huh? Excuse what? Why not just get them on the network? Let them print what they need. Because you can't print everything. You do know that, right? Food, medicine, organic compounds, that blood of yours that's proven so effective against BTs. None of that can be sent by the network, only the old-fashioned way. The people of South Knot have been struggling ever since the last attack. We're going south, fine. Now, if they're to survive, they'll need all the supplies Lake Knot can spare. Head back there and pick up the order. We've been up here in the, by the way, middle of the country. Sometimes you might find yourself traveling home empty-handed, right? Wasted trip, I say. What? Make the most out of it by making sure you've always got an order. Yo, on I've your been back. doing that everywhere, dude. For instance, one just came in from the junk dealer. A joint request from him and the Cairo artist, looks like. I think it'd be in everyone's best interest if you took it on. Why are you trying to push this so Check hard? Check the terminal for details. Heads up, Sam. I'm detecting abnormal Cairo levels to the north of South Knot City. The numbers indicate heavy timefall in the area. Heavy timefall. It appears to be some kind of storm, but 
nothing like anything I've ever seen before. Uh oh. Though, truth be told, I can't actually see it either. The storm should be right outside my lab, but with the baby, I'm in no position to investigate. Doesn't seem to have done any real damage yet, but would you mind looking into it for me? Just be sure to keep your distance, all right? Okay. A storm unlike anything we've ever seen. So I was curious and I looked up. I got some good likes. How do I get likes from Sam? Daily Bomber, use your time, Paul Shelter. Did I make friends with Daily Bomber? Because I've seen Daily Bomber twice. Nope. It's no time like the presence. He's only given me 16 likes. How do you use someone's shelter with only 16 likes? That's, uh, that's a 50 liker, at least. He's no Gary Jazz, that's true. Zero likes from Claude. Zero from Matthew Yogurt. Zero from the Colonel. 131. I haven't given you any yet, Odd Father, so I, I'm keeping my eyes peeled. 200 from Big Orion. Okay, hell, hold on. Show me, is anybody got more than like 200 likes? We're gonna do the bidding. Come on, load these in. I'm looking at likes received from this player, and I want to see more than 35. We're bidding for contracts here. Four? Was that on, like, a sign? 61. 108. Okay, We're at, that's uh, it's okay. 108's pretty good. One. <laughs> like you did that on accident? Hey, 190! That's an automatic contract. Castorius. Level 219. It's pretty high. That's up there. Alright, anyone higher? <gasps> Is there somebody in chat? No way I got five hundo likes from one person unless that... Is that Is someone in chat right now? Is it you, chat? 508? That's the most yet? Level 222, that's a nice level. This person's got 91k. <laughs> Everyone tagging. I love that you can see this information, too. 3. 1. Feels bad, man. Oh, well, I got a 5 hundo now. That means I'm getting popular. 40? 81? Okay, that's not bad. How high is this list? Are we almost at the top? Yeah, we're at the top now. Alright, how many contracts? I got 10. That's not bad. <laughs> Where are they at? By the way, I looked up uh, the collector's edition. We were talking joking about the digital deluxe. Uh, this is the collector's... Wow, nice PNG. No background. I didn't know that, but... Um, honestly, if I knew I was going to like the game this much, I would have at least been tempted. Would I have done it? No. But I would have been at least tempted. This is $200 for this collector's edition with the, the suitcase, BB, the art book, the miniature of, for the Kojima thing. Kojima! $200, Kojima. Well, good timing there. Um, again, as always, I don't know how it's always perfectly timed. Yeah, the PS4 looks sweet. I'll give you that. The PS4 edition does look sweet. Mostly because I think this controller, if I ever used a piss yellow controller, then I certainly would for the Death Stranding special PlayStation 4 edition. Also, love the, uh, the Uh-Oh Oreo design. That, uh, transparent yellow controller, I actually dig quite a bit. I'd be down. I love me some transparent plastic, yes. You can thank the N Nintendo 64 for that. That uh, see-through purple. What was it? What's the name of that purple? Look at that memory chip. It's literally right there. 
How are you not gonna collect this? Also, thank you for finally putting me on the grid. I can make equipment here and trust cargo for delivery. Um, including these tar samples. Good luck. All right, I don't need the I for just one thing. All right, gamer death bot. I've almost gone two gamer death bots. I'm gonna. This is a gamer death risk. I'm at a gamer death health hazard right now. I wish there was a button for just carry. You hold down triangle. Look at that power lifter. Hold down triangle. He just goes. Okay then. Look, there they are. <laughs> the updated hologram now. Hey, BB. This game makes me very happy and feel... So I didn't realize the talk button while resting does whistle to BB. It's the song that Daddy Mads uh, also plays, in case you were curious. That he also whistles. Alright, it's gamer death time, chat. It's been five and a half hours without standing up. I don't want to actually die gamer death. I love how he just chills. What happens if you press this while asleep? Nothing. Okay, I didn't think it would. It would be weird if he, like, talked in his sleep. <laughs> I don't know. Time flies. It does. We've been doing a lot of story quests, too. We're gonna keep going down that route. Keep that story moving. So, I'll be back in, like, six, seven minutes. I'm gonna take Midas out, uh, give him a snack, get myself a drink, get a snack, come back, and, uh... Go to the storm area, I guess. So I'll see you in a sec. By the way, Scripps, thank you for seven months. Jex, double O, thank you for the 12 months happy anniversary. He says you have to take responsibility for me. What, am I going to put you on my back? <laughs> I already made the joke about carrying chat on my back. But thanks, Jex. Have a good night, and thanks, Scripps, for your seven months. I'll see you guys in just a couple minutes. Thanks for waiting. Back as soon as I can.
We back. <laughs> Norman Reedus is 50? The power of monster, I guess. Gamer death has been avoided. I did some lunges. 10 lunges, 10 squats. Hopefully that is enough to keep the gamer death at bay. How do you spell out the sound of a can being open? It's a classic sound though. T S H H K. Yeah. I can't even make a noise. How's BB? Looking good? Um, can't help but notice Norman's got a little, uh, Corallium. Why, why is he, um, exhibiting that little bit of float? You guys see? Is that coming from BB or from him? Seems like it's coming from him. I wonder if it's a, um, the more you die mechanic. I don't know. Or if I just never noticed it before. Maybe it's because I'm not showering. I will say that I think it's cool how the, like, dirt, oil, and whatnot accumulates. Because it's, like, all up on the boots and the, the shins and the knees. All right, almost done. Taking a little snack break. You guys got a double feature. We're about to see a second game of death bot with only one break. That's like a unicorn. Who said, oh no, no one's home? Has that been happening while I was gone? He sleep talks and then BB wakes up. Okay then. Yeah, nobody mentioned that. <laughs> you guys like my new and improved uh, cosmetic sunglasses given to us by the film director? <laughs> Baby just comes out sometimes. to see what's going on. And he's like, ah, it's kind of boring out here. I'm just going back to sleep. All gold everything. Isn't that a song? No, oh, that's all black everything. <laughs> see, the strain is coming out of his, like, right elbow. Hello, my new friends. Thanks for being patient, chat. Appreciate you. 
now we have a prototype delivery primary mission to go to the distribution center through double mule territory again I'm, I'm up for the challenge 45 kilograms what's my ultimate goal though hmm Bring South Knot City onto the Chiral Network. Take a new order for Sam at Lake Knot... Lake Knot City. Oh! Like up there. Okay. Well, in that case... We got a ways to travel. But I think it's going to be a beneficial travel for us because... I'm going to take some resources for a little bit of... Uh, highway building and construction. Golden Hat looks like 80s pop star. It just looks good. I don't know. It does just look good. Alright, we gotta go to the distro center first anyways. For this run, you'll be carrying two prototypes. A vehicle motor and Ooh. a backpack pouch. Ooh. All the way to Lake Knot City's southern distro center. Okay, now They're you have the my attention. They're the works of a certain junk dealer and his artist lady friend. Since these are both prototypes, they're not cleared for chiral printing. Not until Bridges has evaluated their potential. Can't help but appreciate the desire to help out. Who knows? Maybe you'll end up using their gear in the field. So the junk... The junk man and the artist are combining their efforts to give us some prototypes to take back to uh, field test. And one of them is a motor, which can only mean good things for us. Uh, we gotta go through mountains, cliffs, and mules. Can do. I think, uh, power skeleton is... Wait, I can't make... Yeah, I can. Oh, there's speed skeleton gold. <laughs> you have to make it separately. <laughs> That's funny. Um. Unfortunately, speed skeleton isn't the best depending on how much we want to carry. I guess you could make Speed Skeleton and drag a floating carrier behind you. In theory, it wouldn't slow you down that much. But, I need a new Bola gun. Uh, smoke grenades did really well for us last time. I'll put an extra boot. We don't want to get stuck without a boot. Uh, I guess I'll make the speed skelly gold. Rip resins and uh, ceramics and metals, but that's okay. We got one container repair spray. I don't know if it's full or not. And there's really only so much I can do with PCCs right now. However, a... Um safe house near the junk dealer would probably do people a lot of good. There's really not one. I don't have enough special alloys to make it, and that's probably why there's not one. Uh, and then I'm gonna take a Vogue emitting decoy. And I'm gonna try and use it get good this time. Alright, is that all? <laughs> Hang on, I can do stun bombs now? You can use those little darlings to stun your enemies and give yourself some breathing room. Just equip and toss. They'll trigger on contact. They deliver a shock that should incapacitate every living thing within the blast radius. What? Living only, though. They won't do you any good against VTs. Will be effective over a wider area if discharged near water. Can temporarily disable vehicles, stun, and sometimes knock out humans. How expensive are these? 140 metals? Oh. How many do you get to throw? Well, I'll do that instead of the smoke bombs, for now. Smoke bombs are way cheaper! 140 metal versus 15 metal. Do the math. These these are like bargain bin. And they're not bad. But you gotta play with your new toy. Otherwise, why are you making- why are you getting access to these new toys if you're not even gonna try them? 
Okay, so. Prototype motor. We're going to carry those ourselves. Boots. Um, go on boot clip. Skeleton is going to be equipped. Look at this guy. Ooh, that's shiny. Now I am all gold, ladies and gentlemen. Bola guns can't go on the tool rack if the other thing's there. Stun bomb. I can attach to suit. And then on the other side, I can attach the anti-BT handgun. And it, well, I kind of need to auto-arrange. It's going to mess up what I just did, but... I guess it's fine. What did I put on my right shoulder? Ceramics? Why do I even have those? <laughs> Uh, well, I don't need them. I guess I'll put him in private locker for just a sec. I could use my floaty. Did I already pack up the floaty? Because I'm, I got 89.9 over 155. All right, well, we're going to do a little bit more organization, but this is fine for now. I think the speed skeleton's gonna be good for short journeys where you can afford to burn the battery. Order assigned. It's also, I'm certain, I bet you would kill to have a speed skeleton when you're caught by BTs. Outrunning that, uh, the oil patches probably makes a big difference. And also, you can have your hip spots back, which can lower your center of gravity even if you can't carry as much. Speed skeleton just makes you be more efficient and less greedy. But Power Skeleton definitely is super useful, like, all the time. Um... Take these back. And then maybe Share slash Recycle. I'll just... Well, yeah, it'd be easier to recycle them. I'm just kind of... Nobody wants 40 ceramics. That would just be taking up space in somebody's... box. Also, what's this crusty stuff? It's actually not that crusty. Never mind. Alright, we're ready to go. Everything is turning to gold, and Italix's dog is called Midas. Coincidence? You got me, actually. You got me there. True. Okay, I can take, uh, what, old media? I don't really have room for the other stuff. Because we need to make a direct trip, so this is fine. Kill two birds with one stone. Carry all in back until I can deploy the carrier. Woo! Yeah, we're gonna need that. <laughs> Where's my little carrier? One thing I like about this game is how it makes little day-to-day -day things seem super cool. Like, since it came out, I felt so much more appreciative of dumb stuff. Like, carrying things and seeing rain. I can see that. I think because it focuses on the little details so much, and that could annoy some people, but I personally find it, um... I, I think the, the best thing that Death Stranding has done, and I think there's going to be debates over how unprecedented it is, uh, or not. Personally, I don't think I've played a game that scratched the same itch that this is scratching, but... I think objectively we can all agree that they took fetch quests, which are arguably the most hated quest type besides escort quests in all of gaming, and turned a, into a fun game. Well, you may not think it's fun, but they they extrapolated on fetch quests to the point where they made it a, a legitimate gameplay mechanic instead of something that you groan at because you got to do it. 
Where's my floaty kit? It's at the top. It's at the top. All right, so give me all this stacked old media. Put this on carrier. Now we should be pretty quick. I So what I'm saying is I wish somebody would take other games and turn them into the fun version of some other thing that we either take for granted or don't like very much. I love how you have to carry your stuff. You can't just put 14 weapons in your jacket like GTA. Yeah, and games have done that. You can only carry two weapons. But focusing on the logistics, there's not a lot of games that focus on logistics. And I think that's what's striking a chord with me and, and others. Weapons restrictions lifted. Thanks for the help. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Weapons restrictions lifted. Well, this is going to be an interesting journey. Uh, because... We are going directly into BT land. Or not BT, excuse me, mules. And I can choose to go around, but that's a huge... Like, it's w way easier to just go through. So, the question is, would I rather follow these lines? These lines? Or make my own path? Let's start going here. Go down, hang a left. Uh, there's one camp here. We might be able to steal some stuff from the post box if we're feeling extra greedy. Then, I think, we gotta cross the ravine somehow, and that's where things are gonna get sticky. Once we've crossed the ravine, there's a few more that need to be crossed as well. Some with ladders, some without. Some that can be jumped. We jumped one here. Let's reuse these paths. And then I think we just go. Yeah, this is still chapter three. I'm taking my dear sweet time and I'm having a blast. Last of Us was an escort game, kind of, but they removed the escort. I, I take your meaning, but also they, uh, you don't, there's no negative. You can't fail. This is like the way to go. The Last of Us is really a stealth game with shooter mechanics. Really, really good ones. That was my game of the year 2013. How's it been six years already? I read an interview where the logic of the game was modern sandbox games involve going somewhere, then a thing happens, and going somewhere else and a thing happens, and he thought that was the wrong way around because stuff should be about the journey. It's a it's an interesting perspective. And honestly, that's why I lost interest in Red Dead. I would say that of all the games that I've played recently, to me, this is the closest to Red Dead Redemption 2. Obviously with huge differences, but the, like huge distances between quests. Um, the multitude of, like, things you can stop and smell the roses for, be it picking flowers or hunting animals. In this case, it's hunting cargo or uh, leaving notes for people. Uh, but Red Dead was more about listening to interesting stories and dialogue on the journey, whereas this is not about dialogue as much as it is about the actual detailed grit of making that journey. And obviously this isn't a shooter, and I don't think Red Dead is expressly a shooter, but it certainly has a huge emphasis on shooting. There we go. So they're not even close to the same, but there are elements the big open, the big seemingly open world, I think, is what I feel the most when I make that comparison.
Now, as you said, Dread, Dread, Dead Rim. I was hoping this game's release would bring back creativity into gaming. Um, I'm gonna take that to mean like. I hope a lot of the management aspects get employed by other games. However, I thought the exact same thing when uh, the Lord of the Rings Shadow of Mordor came out. And uh, guess who, guess how that uh, nemesis system never got adapted by a single other game. I had that exact thought, I was like, wow. Playing Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War, I've never played anything like this before. And I, I hope that this changes gaming forever. And then it didn't. Okay, we're right on the border. This is uh, the edge of mule territory. We got a camp to the right, car to the left. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw a decoy. Like this. Into their territory. They're gonna pulse. I have no idea when to scan. Enemy scanner ping negated. I did it. When are they gonna do it again? Uh oh, this dude. He knows. How are we gonna get across this? There's not really a way. Um, I need to keep going the same direction that I'm going at this exact moment, though. He's confused because he sees me, but I don't have any... I don't have any, like, cargo pings. So we just need to chill for a sec. Oh wow, look, there's like a way to get down here if I want. Do I want? It might be easier to stay incognito down here. <laughs> Careful there. Somebody got a peek. Somebody got a peek and I gotta go. This looks awesome, by the way. Oh yeah, did I pass special alloys? I was so focused on leaving. It's only 60. We can do better. Hey, Gamer Deathbot. Uh, you were a little late on that one, but... Thanks for trying. It's my fault, really. It's not yours. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, it did. Wow. These things are... awesome. By the way, we never looked to see how much Corallium it was taking, so let's look now. I have a uh, thousand twenty-eight. I wish there was a way to see how much it drains. Well, this is an, a unique path that I would not have expected to take. Did somebody put a rope here or, oh, it's just a way to go up. I'll give that some thumbs up. That's just a good climb. This is a nice sign. That's a 40-like sign right there. <sighs> we are not really heading in the right direction, but there will be a right that we can take up ahead. Still, it's a nice, uh, scenery change. 
and it seems fairly secure so far. I wanted to go to their um, stupid thing. Ah, it's greedy to do it. It is greedy to do it. Also, you have to figure out how to get out of here. Maybe we'll get a little greedy. <laughs> you coming? Come on up. It's like it has to physically climb too. Uh-oh. Oh! Careful. Uh-oh. I don't think I can get that dude. He can see- he's gonna see me before I can do anything about it. And that truck is, like, basically just camping this spawn. Basically there. Focus. Thomas Sutherland, fresh water. Uh, you got some metals in there. I don't know how much of this I can take. Somebody's power skelly level three. Look at all these special alloys, dude. How am I gonna carry all these? No way. What? Dude, carriers are amazing. Well, it can it can hold some. What's on the ground? Oh, the like quest items, but they're super light. Uh, are they light enough to do this? Yeah, but they're tall. They are tall. I'm only carrying 99 kilograms out of my total max of 155. Now the question is, does the carrier get harder to pull the heavier it gets? They actually do react, yeah, if you're, they've seen the top of my, uh, my hull before, and when you go into tall grass with a taller hull, it doesn't give you the, the, um, what do you call it when the camera lens closes down? Around the edges. I've been enjoying watching this game when AAA games usually bore me. Oh, you're responding to Wild Omelette. Is it weird that this is one of the only AAA games released this gen to pique my interest? Not from the hype, but watching from this intense <laughs> mailman gameplay. It's, it's just addicting to make deliveries. They focused on one aspect and then added story and Kojima cutscenes and weirdness. And an aperture. No, but there's like a- yeah, vignette. Vignette. Alright. We got a problem. Take that! Uh-oh, I missed! Stand right there! Woo! <laughs> I stunned myself! Nobody would ever expect me to stun myself! <laughs> oh, now I've done it. Now I've done it, chat. Straight. 
What is a sniper? Did he just yoink some gear? Oh my god! What did he do? What'd they get? What do they got? That's gear. Are we out of stuns? I know I should have used smoke bombs. I knew I should have used smoke bombs. <laughs> I'm gonna get run over. Oh my god. <laughs> beep, beep. That's what I thought. You better get out of here. Battery depleted. Truck man. PCC ladder resin. We kind of need to leave. They're breaking free. stuff and go. I don't have time to kick people. Not today. Power skeleton. I also have a uh, I also have this speed skelly. I have an extra one. So we'll equip that. Auto arrange cargo. What can you put stuff on can auto arrange put stuff on that? I think it can. Oh, it's taking damage. Bastards. How, how have you done this? Hold on! You're not gonna take me down that easily. I see the sniper. And I'm not gonna litter either. We have to do this <laughs> really fast, all right? Three, two, one. Where's the yoink boy? There's yoink boy. This is what it takes. Then this is what it takes. Not so fast. 
I'm not done yet. I will use this entire gun. I knocked that dude out cold. Gotta go. Time to leave. shots well, that is some distance right there he's waking other people up this truck is beat up do they end up shocking their own truck I think it's done we got a problem Truck is gone. Battery is drained. Old media is not being carried. It's not even that heavy, to be perfectly honest with you. Now it's time. So fast! <laughs> That's right! I use Nerf guns and drink monster energy juice and wear a reflective golden hats, kick ass and eat bubble gum, whatever. Don't. Watermelon seeds, there's a watermelon growing in me. I'm taking it all! That miss broke my heart. Did you see me try and chuck my used sun bombs and not even get it? Wasn't that zero milliliter canteen? Can you believe that? Wow, that was uh, that was certainly something. That was certainly something. At what cost, though? Because here's the thing. Did I ultimately succeed? Yes. Did basically everything get damaged in the process to some extent? Yeah. Did I have to use up all my stunts, all my bolas? For what? And for what? Now the question is, will this thing follow me across the ladder? Oh, you put it in front of you and push it. That makes a lot of sense. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought that was a guy. I thought that was a guy up ahead. But yes, my battery is drained no matter what suit I throw on. However, when not in use, your battery does replenish in the, well, as long as it's cloudy or sunny out. 
So I do have some battery left. Which means let's burn it. Let's burn it and get where we're going. <laughs> the sheer greed. I need a drink. Yeah, no. I know you do. Guess what? I got some great news. If you just make it to this outpost up ahead, you can have as much beer as you want. I hear it. Rip battery. Ooh, it's gone. It's flashing red. My exosuit is flashing at me. Too close. Barely had enough juice. It's, it's like when you're, uh, you're lying in bed. You got 6% battery left on your phone. That's enough. You know, I, I, I only needed to look at a few more things. Scroll through my Twitter feed just a couple more times before I uh, put it in the charger and get rid of that. Oh, no, it's at 5%. Okay, that's fine. I still have, like, 45 seconds. Wait a second. How's it already at 4%? No, wait, now it's at 3%. Why is it draining so fast all of a sudden right here at the very end? You're not giving me a consistent amount of time between percentage marks. Mm, it shuts off. Before you can plug it in. Now your phone isn't even on. Your alarm's not going to go off. So you have to sit there for another two minutes while it recharges to the minimum necessary for it to turn on 5%. Staring at a blank screen and a little circular percentage bar. Plus two percent. Lactose free, please. Lactose free, please. You're almost there! Beginning scan. Scanning bridges, ID. <laughs> one time I last 1% lasted an hour and a half. Weapons well, you must detected. not have been using it at all. all will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. That is definitely a path. People have been taking uh, the most direct route possible. <laughs> Well, we made it. At what cost? It was a wild ride. We haven't been back to this part of civilization in a while since we uh, carried that live specimen and went through the BTs with our little friendly neighborhood hoverboard and the, the artiste reuniting her with her boyfriend. And may they live happily ever after in marriage. Or, you know, whatever you want to call it. They're not, they're not exactly going to have a ceremony. Nobody's going to come, you know? They're just like, you want to get married? Yeah. Okay, we're married now. That's it. Not like they can go to court. We did some main story lore. Oh, yeah. You didn't... That was, uh... That was a fun quest. I enjoyed that one. We solved the crisis of the... Um... What do you call that? The hourglass. That entire thing was a journey. Yeah, it was. And we went to the, uh, Yeet Festival, where we threw all the chiral-infused junk into the ocean. Alright, let's see how good or bad we did. I did what I could. This is the important part. Hope your cargo held up as well as you. This is also main story. Looking good. Looking good. Guess you were the right man for the job. Sixteen percent? Could have been worse, given what we went through. Fifty percent's pretty generous. They don't really hold you to a super high standard. It just like, you know, if the box is beat up, it got left out in the rain been opened and resealed, jostled around, 
in transition, it's, eh, it's fine. Mmm, that's rank. Backpack customization has been unlocked. Thomas Sutherland has provided the following vehicle color data. I can customize my vehicles. Wow, look at all these resources. We went from 600 to 2,000 metal. We got some big buffs. Old media? This was a standard, I think? <laughs> we got assaulted. Big S. Big S. Yes! Whoa. Complete 36 standard orders. 6.6%! We have moved from 8.9% gamer to the 6.6% gamer. In the world. My, uh, my star is finally looking like a star. I'm not really sure how the layers of this star work, but... Even so. Please to prepper two hundo. Bridge link level's getting harder and harder to go. Here's stuff you wrong. Motor and a pouch. They're not like our usual supplies. New designs, like you heard. Alright, this is the big stuff. I think a joke dealer made this. This is the big stuff. I heard he was a pro, but even so, it's impressive work. I'll notify HQ and try to expedite evaluations. Don't mean to backseat, but I'm gonna backseat the feature you haven't even seen yet. Hey, just got the evaluation results from the people at the distro center for those prototypes you dropped off? Looks like both caught their eye. The motor, for one, was impressive. They really couldn't believe it was made from scrap. You guys are getting faster and it faster. They can be fitted to a modified truck and be ready to go in no time. They contracted the junk dealer straight away and got it added to the list of supplies that can That's be That's minority fast. report speed. They had good things to say Tom about Cruise. the pouch, too. Contract has already been made, and you'll find the pouch in your private room. If you want to customize your backpack, you'll need to drop by one anyway. Anyway... I hope you appreciate what those two did for you, and give this new gear a try. Good work. <laughs> I thought that all that gear was like... Stacked floor to... Okay, yeah, you're tired, I know, he's tired. Oh, come on! I haven't even had an opportunity to move yet. Uh, oopsie! <laughs> Whoopsie! Okay, and then... We need to recycle uh, this. Gold, keep that. Toss this. And this is pretty much empty. Damage is not too great. Uh, and also, I'm just going to recycle default speed skeleton. Carrier's got a whole bunch. There we go. This is this is a pretty big recycle mission. Or not mission, but deposit. Big stack. Oblivion Edge of Tomorrow, now Minority Report. Well, Tom Cruise is just <laughs> in everything. Thank you for your continued support. There are a lot of references to him, though. You got me there. He is in everything. 
Well, that's enough metals and ceramics to do some more highway pretty easily. Um, before we do that, let's rest, obviously. It's been a long day, Sam. A long day. Dalex is a gamer and he has two licenses. I have a license for Demon Souls, a license for Dark Souls, a license for Dark Souls 2, and a license for Bloodborne, but that one's um, out of date. So the reason that he's always handcuffed? Sam, don't know if you're aware, but you can customize your pack in your private room. Why not give it a try? So the reason that he's handcuffed every time we come down here is because, uh, remember when BB burst through the glass and scared everybody? Uh, much like that, he just keeps waking up from the same dream. And every time he wakes up, this is he's actually just in a moving pod. Uh, he got locked in back here. It's the basis of a movie. Uh, he got locked in this moving pod when he was a little kid in New York City when his whole family was going to move, and they forgot about him. So they left him in the moving pod. So every day that he wakes up, uh, he wakes up with the handcuff that gets taken off because it's the same day over and over again inside the pod, and everything he does outside is just his imaginations as he tries to free himself from this eternal prison that he has found himself lost in. Look at this. Fabricate attachments. Extra battery, please. Increase the amount of battery available for active skeletons and other equipment. Multiples can be equipped at once. This is cool. Oh, look at that. Uh, this one's pretty specific, though. You can pretty much just go on the bottom left. Or bottom right, and that's it. Or it can go like this, which is probably the, for the best. There you go, battery pack. This is the part where I just play the game and don't recheck, because undoubtedly someone. Uh-oh, there's an inventory management portion. Somebody can't wait. Who is it? Uh, I could do two of these. Go faster. <laughs> So extra batteries are pretty pricey. I can squeeze two extra batteries on instead of um, making any grenade pouches. But grenade pouches are nice. I th I'm going to go with a, with a nice, healthy balance. Uh, we can also do a windmill, a little windmill. BBs are particularly fond of this. It seems to improve their mood and prevent them from becoming stressed. <laughs> It's a windmill for BB. That's very cute. Alright, I want these to be actually the up way they're supposed to. Well, what you could do is uh, these ones can be up. Alright, this is a lot of grenades. It says a pouch for carrying grenades. Equipping it will free up space on your back, allowing you to carry more cargo. Protects its contents from time, fall, and impact. Multiple grenade pouches can be equipped at once. Be aware if a pouch is removed, its contents will be transferred to a private locker. 
How many nades you plan on carrying? Oh, you don't even know. You don't even know. That many. That many. And if there's another spot on here, I don't see it. <laughs> We're your grenade man now. Uh. And color scheme. Ooh, look at this. Customization. Not that I don't like Bridges' default color scheme. But I think I gotta go back to the way that it used to be. Big purple. That's right. Big purple. 210 medals. 260 uh, ceramics and 64 specials. You got it. Red to run faster. How will Sam even reach these? Uh, through the power of imagination. But we're gonna have his backpack match. We're going purple and gold, chat. We're going back to the way things used to be. Purple and gold. Get, get those Twitch colors, but add in some gold. I'm not actually doing it because it's Twitch colors. I just like it. We have some more stuff in here. Nice. Hello, BB. Can we play with the uh, the pinwheel? As long as it's flashy and ugly, I'll accept it. Duly noted. Oh. <laughs> I'm like scared to do this now. There's gonna be another secret. Hey, BB. He's doing more finger movements, BB is. Or maybe I just didn't notice before. He's gonna, he's gonna remember that I poked him this many times, and he's gonna get me back eventually. But I think he's poking back now, and he didn't poke back before, I think. Man, I miss Monster. I'll be honest with you, chat. I like the beer jokes. And it does make more sense how he can drain them this fast. Because they're smaller cans. But I just don't feel as tacky with my purple and gold with my green and black monsters. It's not monster anymore because we did a mission quest chain yesterday where we went and uh, gave... Is this new? I don't remember the zoom in previously. Uh, anyway, we did a quest chain for some farmers who wanted time. We made time fall resistant wheat, and we had to take the time fall resistant wheat or like uh, genetically modified seeds up to their farm, and the farm also happens to make time fall porter. So crafted with the finest, fastest growing barley under the time fall. So they hyper accelerate wheat growths by using timefall rains to sustain their crops and harvest things three times faster and something else. So they sent us a box of beer. Like a case. Oh, got him, Chad! He got him again! He got him again! Oh, now I gotta take a shower. Gotta clean off all that beer. What was this with the four? Is this four for four ad? Nice, wild well number. Sure. 
drink them all. I think we... You can't drink them all. We already did all of them. He just does the spray... Spray the camera thing after the second beer. Or the third, fourth, and fifth beer. EX grenade number zero. Is it weird how if you just see one man's digitally imprinted ass enough times, you just get used to it? Nice wink. You just get used to it and it ceases to be, like, surprising or shocking after a while. You're just like, yeah, he's naked, so what? We live here. We're roommates. Okay, it's not weird. Me and Norman. Alright, it is weird, Norman. If you could just, like, I don't know. All, all, I'm, all I'm saying, Norman, is when you get in the shower and you take the camera with you, you could just leave the camera up. You know, instead of pushing it down on purpose to look at your ass, you could do that if you wanted. I know you're pushing it down. Why do I like watching these animations over again? I don't know. There's something about it. I think it's just because it's so detailed. And also, sometimes you get an Easter egg. There you go. There you go. So here's the thing. We looked at the, there's not really anything to look at them. There's one new gun. We haven't even gotten to use the anti pt gun yet. Uh, transfused blood to shoot bullet-like rounds. Then fired using electromagnetic guidance system. Ooh, that's a big shot. Big chunky shot. So we could uh, try fast traveling, I think. If you guys want. Here's your two options. I'm gonna let chat decide. Option one. Fast travel to Lake Knot City. Take on the new quest to bring South Knot City onto the Chiral Network. Option two, take our resources out of this facility, of which we have uh, quite a bit. Dump them with our truck that's sitting just outside into the highway and try to build up another highway chunk. Slash, uh, also use truck to take a bunch of cargo down the highway that we've already built and drive to South Knot City and deliver stuff. All right, two it is. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wasn't done there. Two it is. I haven't checked my email in a while, though. Also, why are we sitting in here in silence? And we have music. I'm going to talk over the music, but it's still there. We have a new... Ooh, we have a new uh, a mission. Uh, there's a the film director. I was toying with that tablet you brought me. Such a flimsy, cheap thing, and yet it was capable of displaying video imagery courtesy of my contract with Bridges. Could be useful, but the experience is lacking. I lo long for the halcyon days when people would pack themselves into movie theaters. We'd laugh together, cry together, jump and fright together. When cinema was a communal experience. But then came tablets, which reshaped how media was shot. All the close-ups and cliffhangers designed to draw you into the next installment. It was a far cry from the golden age of film. From when the silver screen reigned supreme. I tell you, I was born a century too late. <laughs> I know that's going to get a reaction from chat. The funny thing is, this is an actual film director. I wonder if they wrote that for him or if he wrote it as, a, as like a...
a snippet. But that does beg the question, chat. I understand, okay, Boomer. I get it. Okay, Boomer. Sure. But in that guy's case, does the artist get to dictate how their creation is consumed? It's a question. Sam, my man! A lot of love for you here in Port Knot City. Everyone's talking about how you hooked us up to the network and took out that BT. Makes me feel a bit better about how Igor went out, knowing he was a company in the company of a real hero like you. Have you been using utility pouches? They make it real easy to carry a blood bag or two. In, in fact, if you've got a bag of red on you, I'd recommend popping it in a pouch. What? Um... Oh, just put your blood bags in pouches. Take a dip in the hot springs. Miraculous healing properties does wonders for a stress BB. They, well, I thought he was telling me to drink the blood bag. Um... With the right tools and enough time, I can faithfully recreate what I see on paper. Which got me thinking, what if I made a picture of a BT? I believe what makes them so terrifying is we don't know what they look like. So if someone with dooms like you could describe what you saw, I could give your words shape and color. Maybe even we'd be a little less afraid. It might be enough to coax a few shut-ins outside for a bit. Thanks for everything, Sam. Don't be a stranger. Sam, maybe it's my imagination, but ever since I signed a contract, I swear I've seen you at least a half dozen times here or there. Was that your hologram? Surely it couldn't have been every time. Not when you came to see me bearing gifts. Nevertheless, it's hard to believe there's only been one of you running around. What is this? This is like a lore snippet. Though it's equally hard to believe that so many others could resemble you. Goodness, could it have been a ghost or someone masquerading as you? What have I gotten myself into? You leave me no choice. Next time you come through, bring that Cupid of yours and make me an official member of the UCA. You're the only one doing that for people. That should prove beyond a shadow of a doubt you're really you. I haven't been back to him. He's just going to join the UCA if I go back to him now? Sam, I have a delivery request. There's a prepper out there with a special talent, calls herself a cosplayer, and she can apparently dress herself up to look like damn near anyone. There's no one better when it comes to designing and making clothes and accessories. But she needs a new sewing kit to finish her current project. Would you find and deliver one? I'm sure she'd have something interesting to offer in return. Thanks. <laughs> How am I even... Where do I even pick that mission up? This must be the number one priority. <laughs> Sports bike with an engine based on the cross-plane concept and built around the idea of synchronized performance. The satisfaction of being able to have the bike perform as, as you wish. Roboticists and engineers among the preppers hope to be able to apply the same ideas to all new chiral network connected delivery machines all their own. I think we have more memory chips to turn in. And there was another memory chip I was going to get up here, but I don't remember where it is now. I think we already missed that. song is this? Uh, well, Asylum for the f for the Feeling. All the songs in this game are excellent. Alright, before we go, gotta relieve. We're gonna have too many of these P-Nades. These are EX. And we're good to go. Nice relaxation away from the mess. And a little daddy mats as well. Santa. Oh, Clint, you shouldn't have. What could it 
see what could this be? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh look. It's a beanie. That's a huge sack of gifts. Would you like me to open it? They're gonna run out of cutscenes because I'm Ooh. in chapter three too Ooh, long. What do we have here? What do we have here? A spaceman. <laughs> a spaceman. To give my buddy his the Kojima Company logo. anymore. I'm done fighting. You're all that matters to me now, so I'm gonna stay right here with you. My friend will know what to do with this one. Well, Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. Here's a space doll and my gun in this giant bag. Look at this purple. Dude, there's no way you could reach that for sure. That is all the way on the back, those grenades. Wouldn't you rather put those on a vest? Or like your legs? Whatever, it's a game. Let's go. So, step one is, uh, we don't even have an exosuit. Have a pleasant journey. We're quite naked right now and vulnerable. Actually going back in there, so don't get too excited. Poof! All my stuff. <laughs> Poof! Number one is uh let's see what we got. We got a these are real these are story quests. Retrieve the sticky guns. Hold up. Sticky guns? Some sticky guns have been stolen by mules. Recover one, deliver it to Lake Knot City, and I assume then I can use it. Experimental sticky guns stolen. Well, that's off the trail that we're going to take, but I absolutely want to do that, because that's a new gun. Before we do that, though... The cosplayer is on the way! We gotta go, we gotta go, uh, build the highway, and the highway goes straight to the cosplayer's house, I guess. So... Here we go, I guess. What is this? Truck? Truck? But they're just not gonna mention the fact that there's just a truck here? Oh, because I took the motor. Yeah, we took motors and something else to this distribution center as part of the main story quest. And the pouches. The pouches was one part, and now we can make our own trucks. Well, then I don't need this dumb other truck, huh? This dumb mule truck. Why well, did this backwards? Whoops. How could I have known? They just decided to not even mention that. Have a pleasant journey. All 
Alright, I'm gonna be good though, and I'm gonna leave my truck off to the side. Where it's out of the way. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Additionally. There we go. Speed Skelly is weapons online. Protected. All weapons will be locked until the punch. All clear. Welcome, <laughs> Sam Porter. Decontaminating soon. Look at All him clear. go. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Yeah, the junk yard guy gave us the speed skeleton and we got the gold versions, which is pretty pretty sick. As we were gonna do. You don't even you don't even have a dialogue for this? It's just here it is. A standard battery powered bridges truck that can carry large amounts of cargo, which will be protected from okay, I can't read that fast. Um Protected from the effects of both time fall and meal attacks, it can perform boosts and jumps which can traverse certain obstacles, but is not as good as a trike in dealing with rough terrain. Drive it on flat surfaces or roads to show its true worth. The battery will drain very quickly when the truck is in water. Will recharge when not in use in good weather. So it is time fall resistant. That's a pretty big deal. So we're absolutely making one of those. I don't need two climb anchors. I might need some PCCs. Shouldn't need any boots. No, we only have speed skeleton level one, and it's still that fast. Uh, but having a power skeleton would be nice. We used up our whole bola gun. We got a bunch of grenade pouches now. So let's see how many we can cram in there. And I should have a bunch of custom hematic grenades where we're going, so I'm not going to make any of those. Uh, remember when I was going to take out like thousands of metals <laughs> and ceramics to help build a highway? Well, it just so happens that uh, making a power skeleton and a truck, well, it ain't cheap. But look at this. Wow. That is a chonky truck. Chonk. With a covered cargo bed? Woo! That is an upgrade from the mule we've been using. I still have that weird, unshakable sensation that I don't deserve this yet, that I'm getting too powerful too fast, and then I'm like, wait a second, no, 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 no. I have 30 hours. I have like 32 hours of gameplay. 34 hours of gameplay. It's more, it's more than enough time to earn this. We've been playing with the mule for so long. I definitely deserve this. Alright, well that's going in the vehicle then. PCCs go on me. Power skeleton will go in vehicle, just in case we need it. Bola gun on me, and we got grenade pouches. I don't know how full the grenade pouches are, though. They're all highlighted. Two. Three. Well, they all go in there. Can Do you guys understand how big of a deal having grenade pouches is? It seems like such a small thing, but that's four boxes I'm just not carrying now. And I have another climbing anchor that can go in the vehicle. In case of emergency. And I think that's it. What did it just put in there? My, uh... Hoverboard? Neon purple truck, please. Did it... S hang on. How do I change that? Don't I have to customize it while it's in the garage? Yeah, and I got a bigger battery? Uh, that, that's so many cool upgrades. Okay. I forgot that I have stuff that I may want in private. Such as... Maybe a couple extra blood bags in the vehicle? I guess it depends on how much space I have in the vehicle. There's still no indication of how... 
mini boxes you can put in there. But it seems like there's no seating, so therefore it should hold more than the mules. Alright, I got two more EX number ones just in my grenade pouches. We are well prepared for BTs now. This is awesome. Oh, look at it! Gorgeous! All for me? Um, now how? I assume garage? Now there's an exclamation there. Oh my. Wow, that's bright! <laughs> Look at that. Purple truck. No golden trucks, though. So, where's the subcolor? Oh my god. That looks all. This looks like a contestant in a demolition derby where they just rebuild an old junky car from the scrap heap into something that's just gonna <laughs> ram other people. <laughs> Joker truck. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. I can't. Uh, even more color options. Monster! There's the monster truck! Wow, that is bright. <laughs> you, you want to know how I got these cards? <laughs> uh, it's an A-plus comment there. Chat, you guys want fire engine red? Or do you want the purple? I kind of want purple, but I don't have another color that goes with it. I guess you could just keep it purple and black. <laughs> it It's fine. It looks good. Why is there still an exclamation, though? That looks pretty sexy to me. I mean, it matches. Abandoned vehicle has been dismantled. Is that talking about my mule? Like you don't, you can't have two trucks? There wasn't anything in it. They probably just don't want you leaving a thousand different cars everywhere. Hold on. You forgetting something, Italics? By the way, this thing's crazy. Are you forgetting something? Um... Is this still not on the chiral network? Are you kidding me? Alright, I think we skipped this one. Because we're not going to get any help from our friends, because it's just in... <sighs> Listen. I needed a, an Ethernet cable that was 60 feet, and I got one that was 50 feet. So we're just going to have to move the computer closer. Now this auto paver, conversely, needs 5 hundo chiral, 900 metals, and 700 ceramics. What do we got? Oof. Uh, 
That would uh completely drain, basically, this facility. How about we take half? Or two-thirds, just enough to create some emergency things. Stack those in the truck. Done. Then, isn't there another facility over here somewhere? Is it just the weather station, I guess? This is where we're ultimately going. How much do we have at the weather station? 530 and 984. A lot of ceramics. Not much else. Where are most of my resources right now? I'm just draining everything. Oh, the elders got 3,000 metal. I see. Um, 2,000 at the craftsman. And the engineer has also 3k. I think we're going to take a quick visit to our good friend, the Elder. Though I do not know how easy it will be. Um, because we don't have any bridges. Wait, we ha no, no, no. We have, we have the highway now. So we go highway all the way up to this spot. What is this? A safe house? There should be a path here. In theory. Okay, let's go. Doesn't matter, got a roof. The truck better have hydraulics. <laughs> Well, I'm sure it does. It also probably has a booster. Wow! That is bright! Triangle do? Is Triangle handbrake? Someone's happy. I think Triangle's handbrake, but I just I want this in real life. Hey, remember when we built this? And it had zero likes? Are you serious right now? How does this have zero likes? This is perfectly positioned. Eighteen on that? Are you kidding me? I wish I could see what my most liked thing was. We are driving in style now. Time fall resistant. Hopefully more storage space. Cargo is covered. Huge upgrades. I don't think this is the normal way that I got... Actually, yes, it is. There's Gary Jazz right there. This is where I typically park. All right, now we got to make a quick swap. Well, we came prepared. Can I, uh, just, just remove cargo and equip? Okay, yes. There we go. Uh, what did I just drop? Speed Skelly. Put that in vehicle. And then ladder and PCC on me.
Talk to us menu where you can see all the likes your stuff has. Really? On data? Because, I mean, there's a log here, but... That's not really what I meant. I meant like a total statistic. For each thing I've placed. I'm assuming since we built the truck, we can also repair it. Uh, yes, this truck is a mule, or not, or not a mule. It is an official bridge vehicle. Uh, thus, it will be repaired automatically in, in any bridge, garage, or safe house. So, also a big improvement. Under bridge links, if you hit X on your own name, it shows a lot of info. Uh, I can see 34 hours total distance. That is a lot of info. Highest altitude, 510. We're going to blow that out the window. 75 kilometers on foot. Wow, that's crazy. 19 out of 72 items fabricated. Apparently there's a lot of things in this game. Held breath for four minutes. BT defeated one. Visits to the seam, two. One of them was kind of cheating, though. Total water ingested <laughs> and excreted. Dips in hot springs. Rest in rooms. Visits to toilet. Number of times BB has been soothed. Likes from BB. Connection levels only two stars. One of seven hot springs. 56 collectibles. Max level connections. One. Just one. Social other players. Uh, sorted by likes received. We got 508 from Spider-Man. Wait, I actually went to the bottom of the list. Hold on. Borders information. So I guess structures. Sort by total likes. A bridge created on uh, the yesterday. Got 628 likes. That was the bridge we made, chat. The one that crosses the river in that spot. My, I got a post box with 346. I need to get a thousand like thing. Good work, BB has 102. P-Ban has 51. And that's where we kind of fall into irrelevance. Very nice. I talk shit about the bridge. <laughs> Bridge is my number one selling item right now. Maybe I should make some more bridges. Beginning Bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Thank you. Welcome, chat. Oh my, he has a lot of orders. Uh, In theory, we're not coming back to the Elder for some time. So first things first. Take all his stuff. Or at least... 2,000... and... 400. Metals? 2,400 metals. I want... 800 ceramics. Special alloys can be difficult to find. I'll take some of those. And you got 500 chiral crystals. You don't need to hoard that. I'll take like 350 off your hands. Good deal. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, this is not obviously going to fit. Well, it might. Actually, it might. Oh, 
Okay, it won't. It's actually uh, almost the maximum weight capacity, but I brought a friend. 403. Okay, let's just chill for two seconds. Two seconds. A little clumsy. Silly me. There you go. There you go. Alright, now get all this. Put on carrier. Beautiful. Actually a half ton of junk. Yeah. How do you think the highway gets built? And then, depending on how greedy you want to be, you could take, uh... Orders here, because we are guaranteed going to the capital. Not now, but we will. So, handmade pickles, uh, reports from the early days of Death Stranding, and we're going to pass back by the distribution center anyways. Like, guaranteed. So then we just haul all that on back. It's fine. Beautiful. And then we go. How do you have 43k likes if your top item is 600? Uh, I built a bunch of highways. Highways are the secret to success. Whoa! Carrier overloaded? What? Since when? The wires that attach to floating carriers have a degree of elasticity, but will detach if stretched too far. How do I disconnect? Okay, um, well... Why did it even let me put it on there, then? Did it... Does it automatically put on anything on the other carrier? No. Okay, well, we'll put this on there, and this on there. <laughs> then, stuff on back. Put, um, special alloys. <laughs> and is there anything else I have that's super heavy? Or are we good? I think we should be good. So, two carriers is better than one. Hopefully. There you go. Hey, we linked them! Look at my cute little train! The satisfactory train update has finally hit. <laughs> choo choo! We're gonna go make uh make some highways now. Those are that's two that's like a ton. A ton literally of stuff. Chat how I don't even know how much it is. Hundred dollars in bits? Chunbol says bits are just premium. Ask a question. You didn't even ask a question. You pushed enter too soon. Well, you know, you're kind of right. You have a point. <laughs> Is it 500 kilograms? Is how much I'm carrying? Either way. 10,000 bits, Chunbull. I don't know uh, what I've done to deserve it, but hopefully you're having fun with Death Stranding. Thank you so much for the absolute monumental uh, amount of bits. Glad you're having a good time. Unless you're paying to hate watch. We have said some controversial things today. That's true. We did nearly start some arguments. 
Nearly. Wrong way. It's in honor of the death of Nerds. Well, to be fair, the, the the channel points are here. Those are better than Nerds. The only difference is uh, you can't gamble, which means that there's not two people in chat that can just instantly get rich by pure RNG with hundreds of thousands of Nerds. But you can now uh, do dumb emotes. Or hi- Okay, you guys really don't like highlight message? Yeah, this is nice. How is highlight message not cooler than anything oh. that we were doing before? BP is enjoying the train, I noticed that. I have enough to ask a question, but no question asked. That is, uh, pretty common. As it happens. Charcoal. Am I going to be able to scale this without the rope? A little risky, maybe. <gasps> Chat, your, all your highlighted messages are going to make me do a tumble down the mountain. This is why it's bad. You know you did this. You cannot pump it in these messages. Sometimes the highlighted messages, you just make fun of us. No, I hate this. It's cool. Look, I highlighted my message just for you. This is not a reason why points... By the way, look at the little bumps down the ladder. This is not a reason why channel points are worse than nerds. It's just a reason why you shouldn't have any form of channel points on your channel at all. I think you guys are just making a case to validate the fact that I successfully and reasonably deleted the point system in its entirety and things were better then. Is that what you're trying to say? Because I think that's what highlighted message says to me. When abuse this profusely. I don't know how much I can fit in this truck. We're just going to push it to the limit and see. By the way, grenade pouch can hold seven because I put seven. Wow. Uh, that's five nades per pouch. And it's protected against time fall. So kind of a big deal. I can now just be prepared for all situations, BT or mule. Without having to impair my ability to carry stuff on my back into the vehicle with you. But I, how do I tell how full a truck is? It just says times 22 and it's currently at times 5th, no it's at times 22 right now, but I don't know what the max is. It seems pretty beastly. Press square and why is it a skateboard? Skate four is alive and well. Oops, unless you jump off while it's moving. All right, well, I left my truck up there, so, you know. That is amazing. I had- I just had an urge, and I had to quench the urge, even at the expense of this extra time fall. Um, by the way, I'm gonna have to try that under more precarious circumstances in the future, I think. Me by game now. <laughs> Me by game now. So here I am. 
<laughs> skate sim. It was a skateboard game this whole time. That's incredible. Truly incredible. <sighs> skate <laughs> equals buy. Uh, I'm just gonna swing back by here. May as well see if there's any resources that I can steal. Besides resin, preferably. Tow the truck with your skate. Well, there's 80 ceramics just literally sitting there. Hundred and thirty is a little far. So we figured out that we could skateboard. We got a purple truck, which has plenty of benefits. Speed skeletons. The list of carrots on a stick doesn't ever seem to end. You just always get another carrot to lunch for. Captain Slip, thank you for the 100 bits, says, Enjoying the stream while working. Cheers. What are you talking about, while working? Can't you see what we're doing here? You don't think we're working? <sighs> this is nothing but work. The sad news is, we can't do this one because it's not online. So we actually have to go past it. I like that you actually get signal bars on the UI. When you get back in the zone. Well, I now see why uh, somebody decided to put a little safe house over here, huh? Alright, it wants to stay out of the water. Lest you lose battery, but the battery seems pretty chunky. And this is a best crossing scenario. How badly do you want um, to save your battery? Because we got hydraulics on this, right? Oh, yeah! Real high! You guys having fun with the message highlights? Unity light mapping, huh? That is above my pay grade. Is this truck close enough, do you think? To put the resources in? Yes. <laughs> With, uh, you'd be wrong. So, get wrecked. Or did you mean yes, you're having fun? Hold on. There we go. Offload you. Offload you. And now, 
We can do what needs be done. Um, I didn't really count. I think a thousand's fine. A thousand of you and maybe 800 of you. I could probably just carry this on my back. I don't even need the carriers. Whoops. But it freed up some space. Oh no. How does this happen every day? didn't charge the other one. <laughs> it should be fine. How much battery we got? Two bars? That's perfect. I gotta back up. Don't worry about me. This is the gross one, though. I don't like this controller. I like the other one I was using. It's newer and less greasy. Um, yeah, we were in excess by 130. That's fine. And this one's in excess by 152. But what choice do we have? Now, this is where the, the real ripoff comes. 500 chiral. That is a ripoff. I hope somebody gets benefit out of this. Besides myself. Because I'm dumping resources in here. Look at that sweet, sweet highway. It's a single strand of highway, but it does cross the water. We are missing a quite big chunk. Oh, I didn't even see this one. Ah, uh, it's kind of a good thing I didn't see it, because it's much cheaper here. So I'd be wasting way more metal. It only needs, like, 500. Um, so I need smaller chunks. You guys want to run up to the weather station real quick? Because it's very doable. Where's the next one? It goes here, then here, then all the way down here? Uh, that is definitely not in coverage. What about, um, the farm? I think the farm is just rural America. They don't get any coverage by the highway system. Okay, well, let's uh, pop that one real quick. I, uh, what do I do with all these extra metals? I guess I'll just keep them in the back. All right, let's take a right. Did I just remove a marker? No, I just pinned it. Rural America. Dude just printed I-55. Come on, let's roll. I, <laughs> I did, yeah, but is I-55 just one small patch of highway with dead ends on both sides? Imagine building that directly on the path that everyone's taking. You know what? This is this is an okay bridge. There you go. That's for you. Keep it. Don't spend it all in one place. Well, I'm glad people have been walking through here because, uh... I don't think we're gonna make it very far. Without them. <laughs> or maybe even with them. I had 
to use a little hop at a well-placed interval to ollie up over it. But yeah, this is definitely a player path. And we're gonna make it even more of one. Gotta use that booster to get up this hill. What our player path? Do you see that like darker soil on the ground? That's just a a line that a lot of players have been walking. And if a lot of players are walking a line, it removes rock, grass, and any debris that are in the way to create a. Uh, Passable, traversable piece of land. Thanks for the charge, even if this is in like a not so good okay. chunk of the hill. Alright. Likers get like chat. Likers go! Gotta go! All weapons will be locked until departure. Likers get like! Welcome. Sam Porter Bridges. 617. 617. That's gonna give me that many likes. Who did this? Who did this? How do I delete? Okay, two things. What uh, hmm. denominations do I need? Would be one good question. We are trying to build here for sure. Uh, we need how many metals? Four hundred and forty-eight. Four forty-eight, and then about six or excuse me, seven hundred ceramics, a little less. Well, I can't really do 448. Wait, where's all the metals? I thought there were a bunch of metals here. Why did I come up here? I could have sworn there were a ton of metals at this facility, are there not? Well, there's a bunch of ceramics. Okay, so we'll just take basically everything else. And also some special alloys, because they're hard to come by. <laughs> Load onto bike. The stupid bike in the door. Alright, there we go. And then you all go on that. And I can put the other carrier down. And then the stuff on the floor can go on that. Good? I think we're good. Uh, unless you want to take any other... Wait, do I have a delivery? I have one whole lost cargo. Wowie. Um, I also have memory chip data. Why don't we just do that? I've been hoarding this for too long. I thought you were going to exchange larger chunks you had. Yeah, I probably should. 
I forgot I, I was going to do that. Up on this. I owe you one. Do you need PS Plus to use the social strand system? Nope. You do not. It is not required so that everyone can stay connected. You also do not need the internet for the PC version in order to see all the social connections because by that point we should have uh, the UCA spread a little bit further over the US and your typical ISPs are going to be outdated by the, the new strand network that we're putting together here. So hopefully the PS4 players can shoulder that responsibility for the PC players. Thank you for your contribution. But no, you do not. You do not need uh, PS Plus. You also don't need Xbox Live. Just at all. Public service announcement. Um. Okay, so we're going to select the thousands. Where are they? Oh, they're in the truck. Never mind. I'm dumb. I dumb. Here we go. Here I go hauling again. <laughs> it's, too, it's too much pink purple. <laughs> it's it is too much. That's not it's not enough. What are you talking about? It's not even enough. Wait, why did I do that? Um, give me the big one Ks. Well, I only... Yeah, this is probably fine. Yeah, this is fine. We got it in a decent denomination. Let's go. More purple, please. Begin scan. Scan bridges, the road you built was used by ID. someone else. That's where all my likes Weapons are coming from. Weapons restrictions lifted. Huh. Uh-oh, I'm seeing a little bit of rust. This is supposed to be time fall resistant, but I guess it needs repairs every so often or new paint jobs. Alright, we specifically got this so we could go, uh, here. Good luck actually getting there. Where is it? Didn't I just mark it? Alright, I'll do it the real way. Not the baby way. Not the baby way. There's no way we're gonna get here with the vehicle. Guaranteed. Unless you make a huge jump off the cliff, clear all the rocks. I could do that. Don't turn too tight, slow down. Where did I tell myself to go? Over there? Hey, I'm new to your stream and been watching every day the past week or so. Happy to be part of this community. Oh, just give it two weeks. With <laughs> one week's the honeymoon phase. You gotta give it two. Well, here comes a uh, lose battery in water. Also, maybe get swept downstream. Kojima! Oh no, it's in red. 
It's in red. I'm I'm turning left as hard as not now. What? BTs? I'm stuck here. Oh my god, I'm in the red. So slippery. It's too slippery. <laughs> I'm on a rock. Woo. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be possible. But I just want to let you all know if I see a BT start chasing me, I'm going to leap this truck over the closest cliff to get away. In fact... Don't! Don't do it! This ain't, this ain't the smartest thing I've ever done, let me tell you. Let me tell you. This is not among... Okay. Alright, rocks. Calm down. Oh, God. We can make it. Bridges? This is- I'm putting you through the paces I know, uh, when you were put into service with me, I understand in the agreement was not like a, uh, Jeep Wrangler off-road competition where we have to go up 90 degree inclines and over the most annoying rocks so far found in the game, but, but. You're doing great so far. Keep it up. It's close enough I could just stop here and hover the rest of the way. But. You could use a little hydraulics to get you even closer. I'm gonna park over here so that the highway hopefully does not destroy my truck when it is built. Ooh, wee! This has been a uh, an adventure. Speaking of an adventure, do our gift subs working? Did somebody do this? Kojima! three minutes ago because I didn't hear it so I'll just do it again anonymous thank you for gifting a sub to self-proclaimed new community member hazmat by the way I clicked on their username they've been following me for four years you just got debated anonymous by a feel-good story just kidding they were following since six hours ago I just made that up to make I don't know who you are out there but I just wanted somebody to be like <gasps> For just a second, because they're anonymous. I don't know who. But I hope I got you. <laughs> um, hold on. Let's get let's get some math. Math says we need 450, 450 medals and 800 ceramics, just going to ballpark. Of course, metal comes in 400 and 600 varieties. 
I guess I'll just overflow with the six hundo. And then how many ceramics did I just say? Seven something? So I gotta overfill that too. Can't carry them, because I'm carrying, uh... Wait. Where? This thing is getting beat up pretty quick. To be honest with you. Alright, we'll offload one of those. I think that should be enough. Oh, cue the I'm new here. Oh, you think you're so cute. You guys think you're all so cute, huh? How do I subscribe to your comment? Let me tell you about Twitch Prime. Chad, let me tell you about Twitch Prime. You may be out there. You may have an Amazon account. You may not have hooked it up to Amazon Prime, but if you do, you can do one very special, very important thing that you may not have done already. And no other streamer is going to tell you about this secret that only I know. You ready? Uh, watch Mr. Robot. It's on Amazon Prime. It's the best show on Amazon Prime. Please watch it. It's very good. Okay, thank you. That's all. One ninety six. Did I do it? I did it. I wonder how many people are benefiting from this. I'm not even doing the initial work. I'm just completing them. That has to be a per player thing. But also there have to be exceptions where some people just load in tomorrow and the road's done for them because they are whatever. Let's Let's just love what we've done so far and enjoy it and savor it. It said I was timed out for 6 hours. Why did you do this? I haven't timed out anybody today. For the record. Not even one. We have done... We are 100% highway completion right now. It's like, as much as I can do, I have done. And now. The other thing you all have waited for. Um, we gotta go down to this cosplay. <laughs> Look at all this. Look at all those people you- uh oh, truck damaged? You think? In what way? Right on. Hang on. I've got a genius strategy. Empowered by other players. We couldn't do it alone. friends. Storing vehicle. I don't think we've used much stamina. So, going to rest. I mean, you could take a couple sips of beer. That's about it. 
get some bonus stamina. Um, what was that? <laughs> what was that doing? No materials in here. I guess you can just store stuff. Yeah, if you don't have materials, you can't fabricate, which makes a ton of sense. Mm, I kind of just don't want to rest. I kind of just want to go. Because I'm going to get distracted down there. You all know it. I do like this uh, sandy orange. I don't like any of the other complementary colors that go with it, though. It's not quite gold, is it? Gray looks okay. I also don't hate the navy. Navy and orange. Streamer is boring. I was, I, it was pink for so long. What do you want? They need to give me more elaborate color options. Now we're talking. <laughs> Hulk green. <laughs> Hulk green, baby. <laughs> Wearing pants on head, Hulk. <laughs> Wait, what items do I not have? Don't lie to me, game. They're in my truck, are they not? They're in the truck for protection. What are these emails? Thanks for delivering the prototype. I heard you delivered the samples. Thanks, we really appreciate it. I know it was probably weird, me and her being separated and all. I'm not going to pretend I wasn't a stupid asshole about, well, everything. Anyway, I just wanted to say we're grateful. I just hope this stuff comes in handy one day. By the way, got a few more designs we're working on, so if you'd like to look at that kit, drop by our shelter for a gander. Hopefully the things we're working on will prove useful. If not to you, then someone. See you around. An apology. We got married! How are you holding up, Sam? You must have walked more than a thousand miles, trying to let it get to you. I'm sure it must be lonely work. Well, anyway, I wanted to get in touch and tell you that we, well, we got married. I know. Who gets married in this day and age? But through the chiral network, we got in touch with a priest. <laughs> what? We said our vows and now a chiral priest! Silly, maybe, but it seems to have brought smiles to a few faces, so thanks for making it possible. We owe you more than we can say. <laughs> and then the mother. Dear Sam, wonderful news. My daughter's getting married. Oh, though you... I didn't even get invited! I'm not the best man! For that guy? A Vegas VR priest, and they didn't even invite Sam to be the best man. Um, I've never been married, let alone had any kids. I took her in five years or so back after her parents died. She could barely speak a word of English. Her parents had been Japanese, but we managed in our own way. Until the moment we met, I thought I was destined to live out all my life alone, but as soon as I laid eyes on her, that changed. I knew in my heart that I had to protect her. Make sure no one ever hurt her, though I ended up doing that myself by being too overprotective in the end. I've tried to make up for it. My daughter's leaving the nest at last, and I couldn't be happier. All I can do now is pray and hope for the best. And uh, I'd be awful grateful if you could look in on her and her husband from time to time just to make sure they're doing okay. There you go, chat. Resolution to what we did earlier. Also, uh, careful how you decide to exit this highway. Hmm. Where's, uh, how's it doing from the rain? Oh, it rain. It rain, all right. Okay. 
Somehow I don't think that the truck is cut out. There may be a way around the right. Alright, you ready to see the actual god in action? I don't know if I can do this. Here we go. could do it I could do it one for each wheel and we could ride down <laughs> ah, too easy that would have been so good and it would have worked well now I just have to do it a different way careful there Sam Easy. Can't build anything because of the road. You're not allowed to build next to the road, which is understandable. They don't want it to get in the way. Because it might appear in someone else's game. And it'll just be deleted. By the road. Huh. Well, now I guess I have no choice. But to do the also unthinkable. Here we go. Three... Two, you just have to go fast enough. If you go fast enough, the fall won't matter as much. This beach. Oh, uh, where is that? Is that are they on the top? They, see, according to the game, they're underneath this. So let's see. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Be still my beating heart. I almost flipped her. Nice handstand. <laughs> we almost flipped it. Wow, 17 players, 1300 likes. This one's for you, chat. There's the other thing, but it's not connected to the chiral network, so we'd have to do all the heavy lifting ourselves. Which means no help from our friends. And I do not have enough resources to do all the heavy lifting myself, trust me. By the way, we've commented on, like, the mud physics for footsteps, but we haven't really had an opportunity to look behind the car. There are some good, uh tire tracks as well for these conditions and also the slip and slide in the rain is pretty good uh, it's getting a little squeezed in here so I think maybe don't go any further would be smart because I don't know how to even turn around I think there's just enough room to wiggle. Perfect. Perfect. 
Perfect. The rain stopped too. Time falls done. All right, we're looking for... Wait, truck empty? Chat, where's the stuff in the truck? There it is. Where's the stuff in the truck? We've been trying to tell you. Okay, but I didn't, I didn't, I'm not blaming chat. Why is Kojima! all this in the safe house, Kojima? Just because I put my truck down there, you dumped it all in the private storage? No! I can't drive back. There's no way. The truck has to stay. Just stay in the truck! Dude. This feels bad, man. Feels bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think we, it's time to take a solicited copyright infringing suggestion from the chat. Even removing my markers as I get to them. It's got its own icon and everything. Flashing red, trying to tell me in the game. You know what else was on that? Speed skeleton was on the truck. How long is this song? I just muted the stream. Are you VOD muting yourself? Are you just trying to help Twitch figure out where to push the mute button? There is an upside here, aside from the fact that we're getting time fault. The upside is I do have two carriers with me, so I can haul everything that we left. I was told that the highway acts as a shelter from the rain, and yet... I, it's kind of, it's made out of Death Stranding material. Oh! Whoop. I slipped in the mud! Why is that funny every time? Because it's so unexpected. <laughs> Rock bit you. But you're not alone. You have BB. <laughs> BB sleeps 
Listen, a BB is the equivalent of uh, you're the designated driver for your road trip, and whoever it is that you're riding with just sleeps in the passenger seat. So you think, yeah, we're gonna talk, and uh, they're, they're gonna keep me awake and interested, so I don't just drone out, zone out, looking at the road. Nope, they just go to sleep, and they leave you responsible for the entire road trip. Upgrades for this 4,500. Woo! Well, there it is. Wow. Alright, undo all that. Not PCCs, floating carriers, please. On the ground. These go on floating carrier number one. These go on floating carrier number two. Why are there so many blood bags in there? Wake me- well, too late. It's November now, Green Day. You, you missed your alarm. That's what you get when you snooze it for an hour and a half. You know, eventually it just turns off, because why bother? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Will these even be able to lift off the ground? I doubt it, but maybe. Let's see. Do not have the weight required for delivery handmade pickles. What do you mean, the weight required? Here we go, round two. There's just not enough pickles. <laughs> the pickles are, are not heavy enough. Mush! Listen, Solid Snake was a musher. That's true. He was mushing, uh, Sam. The entire time. I'm the sled dog. Good. How am I supposed to get down here with these things? <laughs> uh, BB is having just a great old time right now. Porter gave one like for your post box. <laughs> Thanks, Porter. I appreciate that notification. What is that? Oh, chiral network disconnection? That's fine. I need to be over there. Come on, keep up, you two. Hey, 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 hey. General Ass Pickle is here for a third month in a row who says, I love you, Ital Cheese. Hello, General Ass Pickle. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for kujiming a great time. Very fitting time when I realized I forgot all this cargo. And thanks for your stuff. Please no. Well, it's cool that the weather does change, because it was super stormy the first time through this, so we kind of got lucky. On this return trip, it had kind of chilled out by then.
Man, this game just looks so good. Looking at the mountains in this. Did you see that spire? Look at that spire. Do you see that spire? Is what I was trying to spit out. Um, it looks like it's... One of these things. It's this, like, building compound. Well, we can safely say we're doing main story stuff with this cosplay mission. We had a little setback and a hiccup. But this is actually main story. This is the first gameplay of this game I see. WTF. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till you get a load of my ride. Though I've got to change the color scheme next opportunity I get. The Raphael Mobile? You mean Donatello? like a game or a walking simulator why why not both I saw a good comment on reddit that said uh, death stranding is a walking simulator what Mario is a jumping simulator nobody goes into Super Mario streams is like hey stop playing this jumping simulator nerd It's a traveling logistics simulator that involves walking, but also driving. Here's your sewing kit. Now, this is one of... <laughs> we were, I've been told we are going to receive something special from this cosplayer. What would a cosplayer have to give if not new cosmetics? I was expecting full costume, I'll be honest. I told myself there were bound to be a few scratches, but looks like I was wrong. Zero percent damage, despite, uh... Losing it at one of these terminals that we went through. <laughs> Whoops. That's right. Well, only one star, but I'll take it, I guess. Ooh, 2100, please, someone else likes. I gotta look at my, uh, my leaderboards and see where those are coming from. Whenever I mention your name to my partner, he gets all excited and starts talking about how much he wants to meet you. He's pretty interested in the chiral network, too. Totally on board with it and everything. But I'm still having trouble wrapping my head around it. I guess what I'm saying is that I'm okay with trying it out, just without any of the extra strings, if that's an option. If it is, then... Would you mind doing the honors? Nobody wants to join the UCA, they just want free internet. I don't want to join your country, I just want free broadband. That's a small chunk 
of the strand that we can turn on at least. A real small chunk. Cosplayer has entered a contract with Bridges. That's just the name of the character, Cosplayer. Wow, there's a lot of uh, signs here. Now on the network, and more importantly... <laughs> hey, Sam. Sam Bridges. Who is this? Uh, welcome to our summer home by the fall. Is it? Uh, it is. Uh -oh. well, there he is. Trip. I've always wanted to meet you. I know what you're thinking. Is that an otter on my head? Or am I just happy to see you? <laughs> well, both. Actually, the otter is a member of the weasel family. I have weasels in my family, but enough about my brother. <laughs> Man, you are tough. Hey, did you know that otters can survive without land? Oh yeah, they eat, sleep, even give birth, all in the water. The only thing they can't do in the water is drown. <laughs> Such good swim swimmers, they... Ah. Wow, you laugh about as much as this guy. Hey, by the way, you should have this. It'll help you on your way. Yeah, don't worry about me. I've got an otter one. <laughs> Come on, otter one? That's pretty good. Come on. Oh, man, you're the only audience I've had in like 12 years. Oh, boy. I didn't know what to expect, but it wasn't that. The cosplayer expresses her gratitude. She has given you an otter hood. <laughs> by the way, that hood was threaded by the hand of my cosplay partner. And she's amazing. It's triple stitched. That's no, in silk. HD. She's incredible. Wear it, Conan. and you two can ride the river rapids without fear. <laughs> Unless you're afraid of looking too sexy. <laughs> oh, right? Wow. How do you do really? that noise? Still nothing? You know what? Fine. Just go. Just go, okay? Yeah, and make the river your friend. That'll be fun. Good work. New order of Good work. Please access delivery terminal for further information. <laughs> Well, I knew there was a cosplayer, and I knew there was a Conan cameo. What I didn't know was they were the same thing, so I was still <laughs> surprised in the end. A lot of signs here. Um... Zip lines! Do we even have a zipline sign? Oh, baby, there's gonna be ziplines, chat. I wonder why put it on. I can't until I, unless they let me. You have to go downstairs, and uh, there is no downstairs here. Chat. Chiral Artist Studio, that's so far away. Not yet. Uh, this one we do have to go back to. To take on that extra quest. We may as well take this. <laughs> what a lame excuse. Uh, carry on back, please. Okay, good to go. Order assigned. I don't even think I have any lost cargo, do I? To, like, deliver here? 
Probably not. This place is super well hidden. Weapons restrictions lifted. Keep on, keep on. Why are you? Why does it have eleven hundred upvotes though? Don't Maybe because people keep trying to upvote this, but they upvote the P instead. Nice generator, nerd. Okay, and we're actually back to the truck at long last, which means... Finally. And go back where it belongs. How about we put one in truck? Wait, did I just put both of them in the truck? Well, it should be fine. For now. But I would like to keep one. Just in case. Nice to have. BB looks happy. Does BB look happy? Oh, I didn't. We haven't heard that dialogue before. Look, he's swimming! He's swimming! What is he doing? He's doing flips! One like received from BB. One like! Smart BB. So do they like grow up? Uh, they get incinerated after about a year. But not my BB. Lord Apple's climbing. Take it. Um, safe house up here. I applaud your proximity to a place that doesn't have a place to rest, but you put it right smack in the middle of the road that I could actually drive on. So, like... What's the point of this game? Remember when Burger King released a, a few video games for the Xbox 360? The kart racing and so on. Monster has a new game out. And uh, they really picked some good talent, I think, to push their brand. I get to do now. This is on the well. Hold on. Never mind. I lied. I thought that it was part of the network. Now it ain't. Man, they really do have a tiny little bubble down here. Are there any highway pieces that are even run through? I don't think so. I thought I was gonna get to start doing this, but I don't. What happens if you put stuff in there, then hook up? Do other people still add to it? 
You know what I mean? Like, sh should I, can I go ahead and just dump resources in there now, or is it actually a terrible idea to do? I just don't want to waste my precious cargo. Um, I don't even have that many ceramics anyways. I have a decent amount of metal. But I don't have any other use for these metals or ceramics, so I'm just going to do it. Alright, throw these on the ground. Throw down a little, uh, friendly neighborhood hover carrier. And then the rest... ...should... ...do itself. <laughs> As I kick it away gently. Alright, that should be enough. And then I think I can carry the other two. We're literally just going right there. I think some... Is there somebody here trying to L-U-L? You have to do the capital U and then the capital L after it, and then it, it makes an emote. But, um... Twitch, I know, is reaching bigger audiences every day. We got new people joining the platform, and we need to make sure that they know how to emote with everybody else. Yeah, they look like... See, there they are. Now I see the LULs. This test it seems to be working fine. That's good. No server problems or anything. I'll do uh, 300 chiral crystals. I don't want to part with my entire stash. Right. That might have been a mistake, but oh well. You got to do it eventually. Well, I'm just going to test uh, test the waters. <laughs> I like how the camera scoots down because there's this big door in the way. So the camera has to go down so it looks like there could be an opening there. Even though there's not even- Man, this thing is... Um... Seems like it's deteriorating fast. Right on. Wait, did I take a, um... Did I take a standard order from them? I think I did, right? How am I going to get this truck? Bridge here. Good luck. Do I need to swing back by the uh, safe house that's over here? Well, it's getting hit by Timefall. It's supposed to be Timefall resistant. This doesn't look any more Timefall resistant than the mule did. Oh, it's Timefall resistant because it's got a covered bed, so your cargo doesn't get lit up. That's about it. Thirteen thousand like bridge.
Other players are pleased with you. One player, 229 likes. That's a significant amount of likes for one player. Oh, oh. Shh. Got it. That was just a trick. That was just a cool trick. Give us a new coat of paint. Can't like it because I already did. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at this. 30. It's This is still 31% durable. I would have guessed 16. 15. Still had about a third. Of life left. Good to know. Storing here. Whoever mentioned me, hold this for me. It's AL. Alabama? Hey, you know, people are waking up all over the world right now. Alabama's still awake out there. Cool. That's, that's cool. Uh, Europe. Good morning, Europe. <laughs> I got some country folks up in here. All these emails got accents on them. This is the mystery machine from Scooby-Doo. That's fair. But it needs a little bit of a, a decal on the side, preferably. King of Wales, is that a fishing emote? That's the only thing this game's missing, is like fish. To make it that much better, more relaxing. I want to fish for uh, BT fish. Delivering cargo. <laughs> A cute little uh, chick icon. Little uh, chicken, or it's not a duck. That was a chicken. This one's Thank for you, Jack. This likes here for you. Three emails? Just because I'm here is what BB BB's making noise. Like a lot of noise. You baited? He's doing a lot more interaction with the glass. All right. Oh, he's got the little uh, keychain too. Has that always been there? I don't know why I never noticed it on this screen until now. From Mads, the little gift. I didn't connect the dots. It it kind of blends in, to be honest. It first appeared after Mads. Okay, so it hasn't always been there. I don't know. 
It's over there. You wanna go? You wanna go put on the otter hoodie so everybody will uh, be happy? How do you even do that? Not from here. Is it just on the desk? I'll figure it out. Check your email. Okay. Be sure to use your otter hood. The otter hood I made is pretty special, I know, because I tested it out myself. By putting it on, you transform into an otter. You literally become one with the water. Did you notice that I even put a Bridges logo on it? That's proof that no one else has done anything like it. I'm so happy I'm able to help support your work. Humans should strive to live in harmony with nature. We won't survive for long if we're always fighting against it. We need to go with nature's flow, surrender ourselves to the natural rhythms of the world. That's what I think, anyway. That's why I got into cosplay. I want to lose myself in a character. Let the character take over. Some people think it's an excuse to wear fancy clothes, but they're missing the point. It's an art. The art of transformation. We should all embrace our place in the world. There was a time when I tried to stay apart from it all. But after meeting my beloved Conan, my eyes have been opened. And that's why I've decided I'm going to sign a contract with Bridges and see where that takes me. By putting it on, you transform into an otter. You become one with the water. Have you used your otter hood? There he is. Did he intentionally take a face shot that looks like that on purpose? When I was younger, I was something of a professional host. I travel all over the country and speak at events, meet interesting people, and so on. In my own little way, I was helping to bring America together, too. I really believe that. Sure, I was scared of BTs, but I had a lot of porter friends. So we used to travel together from city to city. They called me the wandering host. I remember the first time I was asked to take part in a cosplay event. Didn't really understand the concept at first, but that event opened my eyes and showed me how wonderful it could be. Most people are skeptical, but it's something you can't understand unless you've experienced it yourself. A total transformation into someone or something else. I was an instant convert. I started running my own cosplay events, trying to get everyone to see how amazing it really is. It was at one of these events that I met my girl. Her costumes are incredible on a whole nother level. It's not just her technique either. It's her spirit, her soul. She's transcended to a higher plane. Anyway, she's the one who made the otter hood. Uh, maybe you already noticed, but putting that on will pretty much turn you into an otter. That's sure to be useful at some point, right? I want to share her passion with the whole world. That's why I persuaded her to hook up to the Chiral Network and join the UCA next time you drop by. With my people skills and her designs, we'll get the whole country on the tr cosplay train before you know it. <laughs> and Thomas Sutherland says, I owe you an apology. In my last email, I made it sound like you were on the fast track to becoming obsolete. Guess I was caught up in my excitement over that delivery bot. Maybe I didn't let it show so much, but I was glad to find you on our doorstep again. Sure, bots are useful and less risky, but that doesn't mean we won't still need you guys. If anything, we need you now more than ever. You're a symbol and inspiration. When people see you risking your neck for the rest, they have something to aspire to. I'm not saying everyone should charge off into the wilderness, of course, but I think you're a great example of how we can work towards a better future. People need that. Hell, I need it. <laughs> so, okay. If you put it on, you become like water. Likes received from the cosplayer. So where is it? I get it. You have to wear it as like a hood. But is it auto-equipped? Or do I actually have to like put it on? You have to be outside. Okay, you gotta be outside. Well, how, uh, how about we just go outside then? Let's go. I'm not even gonna wear the other stuff just so I can make sure it works properly. Um... 
Is it a suit or cargo thing? Like... Do I do it to the terminal? Do I need to make it? Is it in my locker? Not instructions unclear. I think you are wearing it now. What? Nope. Up on the D-pad. Oh, I've never had a reason to push that button. Okay, I have literally not pushed this button since the game began in 30... Five hours. You can just do the mask and hat from here. I mean, it's not like I ever needed to take it on or off. But there's also power skeletons here. I didn't know that at all. I had no clue. Quick, the time falls getting you! He's like hugging my face. And it's Bridges branded too. Anyone? 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 <laughs> he is one with the water, chat. Yes he is. There's uh there's our dude. The zoom in functionality is fantastic, by the way. I guess it is automated. Nice, Chargon. Try swimming. It's just a joke to get me to ruin all the equipment that I'm currently housing. Speaking of... Speaking of... All right, why do you want me to go in the water? You want me to swim downstream and lose all my cargo? Just because you're an otter. Okay. All right, well, let's uh, put all, how do I put all this stuff down? What? What? That's not in the... I should have read all the tips. I knew I should have read all the tips on the tips page. Let's see what happens when we run out of stamina in the middle of the water. Okay, well, it ain't this. <laughs> it ain't this. Wait, he is! It is! It lets me paddle! It lets me paddle. Otter helps by paddling. Baby thought that was funny. Baby's not even stressed. <laughs> the otter lets you paddle to the side quicker. Try staying still while floating. Well, I know you can stay still and recover stamina to try to right yourself, which is cool. I don't do that enough, but I haven't needed to. <laughs> Why is he just tapping? What is that? He's smashing a clam? Huh? 
He's doing otter things. <laughs> this game's great. I mean, I may have ruined all this stuff, but it's, it's not like I had anything that important anyways, except for some default cargo. High performance underwear. Going to Thomas Sutherland. Make sure this is nice and topped off. Get that container repair spray going. May as well just use the rest of it. Climb from here? Oh no! Very funny. Very funny. What happened to my float box? Why is it just there? <laughs> I don't know. All right, you're in the blue now. Come on, you're in the blue. This is fine. Now I look like a real character. Like a real character. It sank. Yeah, I noticed that it just kind of sank. Bring her on up, and this time, don't forget the stuff in your private locker. <laughs> we have ascended <laughs> to the perfect character. <laughs> Finally. More cosmetics. All of it. There probably is a select all button, but who can even say? Oh, you just hold... I got you. I'm learning new things about the UI this many hours into the game. That's how complicated the UI is. But I'm getting there. It's fun to learn, though. Wait, wrong one. Do we have anybody who... Wait. Yes, do we have anybody who's going to the main city? Uh, not you. Not you. Nobody. I think we're ready. Let's do it. Got a fresh mobile. Back on the highway. We've been working hard to get this stretch of highway built today. We built, like, what, four sections today? Or finished four sections? Not this one, though. Uh-oh. I forgot. I think this might be traveled enough. Nope. We can make it work. I would love to stop for all the Corallium that is spawning in here. It's a pretty heavy timefall area. Where's my bridge? Like, I made the bridge. Where is it? Maybe I didn't. Didn't I? There's a bridge. I took the wrong path.
Somebody's car is just here. Green and red. Hold on. I love green and red now. I need more green and red vehicles. I didn't know that I liked that. Lettuce and ketchup. No, I don't like lettuce and ketchup. But... This is my crowning achievement. 628 likes on this bridge. Nobody likes my post-it, though, unfortunately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it anyways. Why don't they just make the cars out of whatever they make this out of? <laughs> uh, people put stuff in there. There's stuff in there. Grenades, ceramics, PCC level 2. Not bad stuff. But they, just didn't, they used it, but didn't like it. As long as it's getting used, that's good enough for me. Okay. Oops. A little tricky to navigate. All right, if we could uh, walk some more of these paths, that'd be great, you know? I'll help. Let me start by driving through. Nice hops. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons mm. Is it possible to see what type of missions are here? Um. I do have two deliveries that go here, I think. All weapons will be locked until the so I need to go down here anyway. Whoa! A hologram with a little leggy boy. I joined the stream after being away since the beginning. What, of the game or of the stream? Yeah, we got sweet ride now. A sweet ride. And much more besides. <laughs> Everything all right, That's kind of the fun part, though, Nova. Is... Looks good as new. This game is My still, I think, enjoyable to experience without seeing every detail of what happens in the meantime, because it's just... This, I don't know, the, the progression changes from stream to stream and what we're using and how we're doing the thing, but... It's still cool to see how we got there, I'm sure, for people watching the VOD, but... It seems like it would still be easy to kind of pick up where there is maybe a one-stream gap. And still get enjoyment out of that. Ooh, he likes us. And has added a long-range truck. I don't know when we'll need a long-range truck. Because of our highway diligence. But extra battery, I assume, is a trade-off for less space for cargo. Well, take care of yourself. Good work. New order available. Oh, new order available. Main story quest. I thought that said stinky guns, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I did say I wanted to do sticky guns. We can all, we're always going to come back here. I was kind of going beeline to Lake Knot City. But it's not that far. Do, are there no missions to the capital? Or not the capital, I keep calling it the capital. Um, how about we do both engineers. No elders, too far away. Both craftsmen. And that's it. 
This is a few hundred kilograms of stuff. This order involves a lot of cargo. <laughs> As a warning, just in case. You could get the long range truck. Let's take a peek at it. Improved version of the standard truck. Two additional battery units have been installed. Can carry large amounts of cargo, which will be protected. Shares limitations of the base model when it comes to rough ground. Needs to be driven on flat surfaces. Drains quickly in water. Doesn't make any mention of having less space. It makes no mention. But uh, it is also extremely expensive to make one. 280 metals, 256 ceramics, so I'm not going to make one yet. I just don't think I need one yet. <laughs> Still got Gary Jazz's trike in there. Alright, all this is going on the vehicle. 22 items, by the way. They're all in there. So how do you tell how much more space it's got? Order assigned. Someone said there was a cargo indicator. Is this the cargo indicator light? So are the lights indicate fill or open? Like, is this open space or space that, I assume space that's full and this is max. I would assume. So if I get in, it doesn't change. Alright, time to move. Nope. Still four lights. Yeah, we think the lights are filled space too. Oh, slow down. <laughs> Use that new patch of highway. Junk! Gib, yeah, why is okay. there on the highway though? Who put junk on the highway? Gotta keep these streets clean. Remember when seeing this floating uh, tendril oil highway was so foreign and strange? And now it's just, yeah, no, I'm building this highway. Why wouldn't I be? I made this, and I made that, and nobody likes it. I heard uh, BB having a great time a second ago. <laughs> the otter is back. Hold up. I forgot. This exists. But I already used up all my resources. Okay, well it would take another one. Uh, almost 3,000 metals and 2,200 ceramics. So, a little on the pricey side. This one's for you, chat. Hey, this one's for you. Stretch my legs. Thank you. That squeal. So he's just going to ignore the at, -AT. No, I've just seen it about four times today, and every time it comes up, somebody hasn't seen it in the chat yet and asks what it is. So you can only, like, respond to that question so many times. Wow. During all this, couldn't have been easy.
there definitely was like a whoa that's crazy the first time though if you were curious so i just by now i'm numb like uh kojima is the magician and it's like please do another trick i already saw that one i'm ready for your next trick sir Oh, did he? F I can do it now. <laughs> oh, that's pretty ironic. Now I can do it. So uh, I guess it became relevant again, whether I wanted it to or not. Good timing. Now I am the fool. But I five starred this facility and thus. I can rest inside of his shelter. His max stash of supplies, wow, is way up. We'll be using those eventually. And that's not even all. I'm doing this one on the house. Seven of them. Count them. Stacking those S ranks, baby. And give me that badge. Bonus points for hard mode. One like from someone else. Nifty. Elite transporter. The dogged per perseverance you've shown time and time again has earned the admiration of clients everywhere. You've got miscellaneous grade 50 and will now just receive more likes. <laughs> That's the funniest upgrade to me. Just so you know, I've put something aside for you. Maybe you could use it more than me. Is it, Go ahead and grab it custom whatever. grenades? Oh, it's also a star, so I've added to my ranking. Seeing you in action gives me hope. Keep it up, Sam. Was the star inside that big box, though? Good work. New order available. Please access delivery big terminal. Bo big for box for a sticker. It's like going to the bank through the drive-thru with the tubes, you know? It's like I got this giant tube, this entire suction mechanism for what? My one piece of paper. Okay. This is an efficient use of human resources. Wait. But no, I actually do like the suit decals and I hope that there's more. We are looking for engineer, not elder, and lake, not city. I guess we could take ones for this because we'll eventually be going back there. Weather station, though, it's pretty far. Mm, we do have the truck. It's true, I do have the truck. It's just time is a problem. Whatever. We can get over it. We, we'll, we'll never make the select time. I don't think we need any equipment at all. 43 objects in the truck. This thing is a tank. It's getting faster and faster to do mass quantities of deliveries. Now it's the UPS drive. More than ever. <laughs> it wasn't really before, but now it is. So with the, the tall legs thing, I can customize that hologram at level two. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Making me get out with my otter helmet. Hey, I put that down. There we go. Just to pick up some grenades that some idiot dropped. Hold on, there's more? What's all this? This highway, man. Started off so clean and pristine. 
Now everyone's throwing their empty McDonald's bags out the window going 65 miles an hour. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I think I ran over somebody's gotta go fast. Are you serious? Mules? I don't think so, mules. Not today. It was slippery. Slow down. Onwards. I love our little highway. I also like the little water trails that come up behind the tires. I love that I've driven this enough that I actually know where the engineer is located without opening the map. I ain't getting off to go pick that up, sorry. I did my duty. Hey, speed up! Alright, so to get to the engineer without even looking at the map, you do this. Turn right, and go over this bridge. Somebody put this right on the path. Can you guys not build on- whatever. It's, there's no point in being angry at people I can't even see. Ninety-one thousand likes. Apparently, I'm the one that's wrong. Well, you could go over either one. This one works too. That one over there is a little faster. Yo, what are mules doing all the way over here? What are mules doing right in the engineer's backyard? Those are those are not mules. They were on high alert for a second. I think that those are uh, regular porters. I had more than this. Excuse me? Hold on. This is the engineer, right? Are those spoilers? Are what spoilers? Well, you can't say. I don't know. Probably not. Alright, here's the stuff I was going to take back. You know, those. Uh, we do need to deliver all this lost cargo. Didn't- I just came from this. Oh, I picked it up on the side of the road. Okay, well that's fine. Here's what I need. Anything that goes to the engineer needs to come off the truck right now. That means you and you. The junk components. These can come off just because they're not going to go with me all the way. The alcoholic beverages. Oh my. And the metals. Put it all on the ground. <laughs> I got, I got, I got an answer. I got an answer. 
I figured out how to, I, I want to do this. There we go. All that goes onto the carrier to the best of your ability. Actually, it all fits. Genius. Please, please rise. Thank you. Man. That certainly doesn't make carrying big heavy boxes up to your door, ringing the doorbell, and then sprinting to the truck as fast as I can. Because I don't want you to know that I exist. And that's if you're lucky I ring the doorbell. Sometimes you just walk outside and you're like, oh, there's a package here. How long has this been here? Days. And days. Thoughts on the game? I think it's super addicting. Delivering cargo. Very addicting, very fun. Um, absolutely going to be one of my favorites of the year. Hey Sam, how's it going? It's made for me. It's not the best game of the year. Well, the cargo's in great condition. But it might be my best experience of the year. I think so far my GOTY from just like a game perspective would be Resident Evil 2. Just like an all-around easy, like, not easy, an all-around package, easily digestible. It's the complete package. But I think this is probably the best experience that I've had this year. But I'm also still playing it in the honeymoon phase, so. Hindsight will be a better judge. So, since I've five-starred him already, what else do I get? I got a C for this. What? Three out of five. Excuse me? Whatever. I don't know where that C came from, but okay. Well, be safe out there. I haven't even, like, lost any cargo. Unless I just didn't take some. New order available. Please What's access that? delivery terminal for further. All this. Thank you. <laughs> Engineer is just a jerk. Yeah, I saw two out of four medals, but I don't know where the medals even came from. I have one more star on my pants, yes. We've actually done a lot of main story stuff today, believe it or not. This is not one of those times. But also, it doesn't take that long. Literally just looking to see where I'm gonna pass. Specifically, we're going to Lake Knot City and the distribution center. And 544 kilograms for the weather station. That's big enough to take. I'm, I'm curious to see if the truck can handle it. That is a big load, chat. Let's see if the truck... Uh-oh. 1 out of 28. Stack that as high as it can. Um, How am I going to get them to the truck? Um, hmm. Wowie. Okay, let's do this. Stack as many of these as will go. I haven't... Take off the 34 pounders, I guess. Which one am I actually still able to stack on? You almost actually got it all. I'll just go with this for now. You pr these probably won't even be able to move. Order 
Order assigned. Delivery parameters updated. Dingo, how does it feel to be back seating and also incorrect at the same time? How does it feel? There are many like you. There's someone new every day. There's a new sucker born every day. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're testing the cargo capacity. He's going back. Actually, hold on. Oops, I already have stuff on back. My bad. Vehicle is thinking about it. It's thinking about it. It's like, actually, you've got a lot in here right now. I want to threaten to be full. Don't worry. Lifters, I got it from here. 52 things in this bad boy. This truck is way better than the mule ever was. 100%. Now, let's see if it can handle this. We got one bar. I got one bar. <laughs> this is a huge list of stuff. Good enough. I don't, will it let me in? I can still get in. This is a miracle of science. This truck is an A+. Absolute unit. Also, I love how people go in a round. They pull in like I did and then go around and thus have created this extra path for the driveway. Like, look how huge this player-made path is. And then that tiny little strand that I just drove around. Listen, I can't even afford to pick this up. Can't even... It's ceramics, though. That's free stuff. Gotta stretch my legs. It's free broken stuff, but it's mine now. I'm the junk man. I'm going to have the junkyard open. And then there was one last stop. Home sweet home. Oh, you wish you could get your hands on this cargo. This is a mother load jackpot for these guys. Imagine getting stopped by mules with this. They wouldn't know what to do. They would just quit being mules at so much stuff. The mules can't drive on the highway because this is a... Bridges Protected Network Highway. I bet if they try to get on this, it would turn off the grid for them and like disable their vehicles. Same reason they can't go through these force fields and stuff. But you were able to drive on it with their truck. But they don't sense the truck, they sense the user. That's why it says, Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Not welcome, awesome Hulk truck. Okay. That's true. They've not been receiving supplies regularly either. Speaking of supplies, sir. No one's starving. Not yet, but a sense of unease is spreading across the city. We need you to bring them as much as you can of whatever you can. Food, oxytocin, the essentials. You'll also be carrying seeds, earthworm and insect protein paste, <laughs> organic chemicals, and anti-BT weapons laced with your blood. 
My own blood. None of which can be sent via a Cairo printer. A delivery will remind the citizens they're connected to the rest of the country. It will give them hope. And if you can get them connected to the Cairo network, all the better. Something's been nagging at me, though. Fragile checked in a little while ago, saying that due to some instability with the beach, she was having trouble making jumps. Until things settle down, she won't be able to help you out. I haven't even used her yet. Fragile's at the distro center south of Lake Knot if you want to hear the rest of the story. I marked a location on your map. Be sure to take a look. By the way, chiral density appears to be increasing across the board. We're currently looking into what kind of impact this might have on That sounds like a side quest. No need for you to worry about all that, though. Just keep on doing what you do best, huh? What's my favorite little detail of the game? Probably the Easter egg animations, like this, the fourth wall breaks, and uh, all the dumb stuff you do in the private room. Whew. Uh, three, four, five, six deliveries. Mmm, tasty. Look at that fat stack. Hey, Sam. Good to see you. Wow. This is way more than we expected. Thank you, Sam. My pleasure. Alright, we're gonna auto-skip this one. No offense, but this that's a lot of stuff. We're not even level 4 with these guys yet. So if you're wondering why I'm doing all this... There it is. New hologram data, bandwidth up. We can now use the color blue. <laughs> it's good enough for me. I'll take it, the color blue. And also, super resource haul. Doing uh, the standard quest is just a way to grind metals, resin, ceramics, special alloys without actually having to just go wander around looking for their scan signatures. So the better you are at delivering stuff, the more resources you get to build highways and other big projects with. What is that for? The world's most popular porter reached a total of 50,000 likes. I'm in a 6.1% gamer. 6.1 is my new record. We'll see if we can hit five. Fifty thousand likes. Not enough. I need a hundred K next. I'm gonna turn into a mule in no time. Always a pleasure, sir. Oh, you bet. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery. That wasn't even the heaviest one. The heaviest one goes up to the weather station eventually. So there's the emergency relief down to South Knot City. Woo, way down there. 43 kilograms. That's not very heavy. Tons of standard orders. But I don't need to do the engineer or the craftsman, really. So we can skip all them. Uh, we are going there. So I'll take that one. Whether you like it or not. Confirm. 96 kilograms, pretty hefty. We still got room for two. <laughs> room for two. I hope it's enough for their actual quest. Talix will be the first player to a trillion likes. World ended, but at least we still have like buttons. That's right. That is right. Uh, isn't there something dumb to recycle? This? And anything else that's super damaged? Which our anti-BT handgun is. Bola gun's pretty damaged. Climbing anchor. Ladders. If we're gonna go on a big new mission, I wanna make sure everything's just right.
Basically, all this stuff is messed up. Except my grenades in their grenade pouches. Which is excellent. Maybe one of the best new additions so far today. Level 2 boots. I got extra boots, though. No more materials can be stored. Excess materials will be discarded. Yeah. That's fine. Turn it back into usual scrap. This is how gamer death happens. I know, Squibs. I know. Thank you for your continued support. Trust me, I am well aware. Hulk truck, best new addition. Probably, yeah. Which one's full? None of these look full. Resins, I guess? That's fine. I hope after you set up highways and having a truck, you get rails, trains, airports, jumbo jets, and a launch pad for SpaceX starships. Anything is possible with Kojima. Who can say? Stamina restored, canteen refilled, truck repaired, Norman sleepy. Understandably. It's been quite a day. And indeed, chat, morning, it has been Let's quite a day with you. Thank you this is a good stopping us. point before the next big story mission. Watchtower examination tools, 33 minutes out of 45. What? Uh-oh. You're telling me I have 12 minutes to complete one of these objectives? Uh, well, that's a problem for future italics. Because the game has been saved. I should have probably checked that. I've never gotten an F on one of these before. Yeah, it's a problem for future attacks. Ooh. Norman's pointing to the door, in case you were curious. And away we go. I'm going to turn off the game now. Turning it off. I feel like I need a shower too after all that work. And if like five beers. Yes, the controller, the other good controller has been charging the entire time. Thanks for hanging out today, chat. I uh, will probably do it again tomorrow. Because I absolutely have no self-control. I am very addicted. And I want to keep progressing. And getting more toys. So. Keep your eyes peeled. No thank you. Rodney. Thank you for good grammar. No thank you. You guys can show up or not. It's up to you. But uh, I mean I do need a day off this week. For sure. So I will uh, pick a day. If not tomorrow, then probably like Thursday or something, depending on how addicted I actually am, which is pretty addicted. We're still, we didn't even make it to chapter four. Honestly, I didn't spend much time doing other stuff besides main story. I would say yesterday was half and half. Today was like at least two thirds main story, maybe more. We take our time, sure. Kojima! And we do some pit stops on the way, but I don't think I ever went out of the way from somewhere I was already going. I keep thinking I'm getting far, and then the game just shows me how wrong I am. The other thing is, though, not all chapters are going to be the same length. Which would be completely bonkers. Uh, I guarantee you the game starts funneling down the storyline path and then like probably six chapters in a row are going to be things that are happening to you that you just have to play through like a segment of 
to get to the next chapter. I think two and three are just huge chunks. Uh, so, if we're uh, streaming tomorrow, doing some more of this, bod watchers everywhere cry, but I gotta strike while the iron is hot. I can't do, like, one stream of Death Stranding a week, because it'll die off. I gotta pound it now while I'm thinking of... Because, uh, listen... Kojima! Truth is, if I, if I took a day or two off, I would just sit there... Okay, I need to. I need to read another interview. I should. I should watch a little behind the scenes of how they did the motion capture. Yeah, I, I like reading these uh, Kojima tweets. And uh, so what's Matt's doing on Twitter? Yeah, no, they're doing good. I would just be there reading up on the game and just thinking about playing it instead. So if I'm gonna do that, I may as well just play it instead of just sitting here thinking, of wishing I was playing it instead of relaxing on my off day. This is more fun to me. Are you generally a big fan of Kojima games? Uh, we played Metal Gear Solid 1. I played 2 when I was a kid, but we played 1 and 2 on stream recently, and I had a fantastic time. We're going to do, eventually, we're going to do Peace Walker, and, well, we're going to do 3 first, Snake Eater first. Snake Eater, Peace Walker, 4, and then 5, and it's Prologue coming down the pipeline. So I wouldn't consider myself a big fan, but I, I, I have respect. I do have a great respect. Because I think um, there are certain game directors out there that leave their indelible touch on what they make, where their, their, you can, their signature is readily apparent through what they've made. With the help of tons of other people, certainly, but... With a vision to guide all of their hands together. But yes, I, I think I'm pretty invested as well. That I feel the same way. Feel the same way. Waiting to see past the rain and see what's on the other side of all the BTs. I'm not even... I like the story and I'm, I'm interested to see where it goes, but I like the little just side stuff that they set up. But anyways, at the end of the stream here, Squimps, thank you for your end of stream sub. I appreciate that. Gift to Jay Sindarion. Congrats, Jay. Enjoy your 30 days on the house. Thanks, Squimps. For the gift sub, Rodney as well. Back for a second month. Yelling Kojima, Kojima! in my ear. <laughs> Much like that. Much like that, actually. Coming out of the woodwork right now, guys. You guys were in the back of the truck or something? Did I accidentally leave you with the uh, the cover on? <laughs> Finally letting you out so you can go? Schmock Tuna! Thank you for sharing your prime. Enjoy your next 30 days of emotes and good old ad-free viewing without the help of third-party programs. Alright, I gotta eat. It's time to go. We could sit here and talk about how much fun we were having all day, but why not just eat, sleep, do it again? And so we will. Get some more of that lower action. We're going to the south, um, not city. We're going to pick that up, drop off my full truckload of stuff along the way, and test out some new toys. Still haven't used the anti-BT gun, for example. And I'm sure there's a lot more to come tomorrow. So much fun. The carrot on a stick. I crave the next thing that the game is going to show me. And I like doing the, the standard missions for the old ones, because they have secrets up their sleeves, too. Even if it's just a cosmetic... or a new color scheme, or a level 2 version of a thing I already do. The progression. Very strong. Good night for now. Catch you again next time. Hopefully see you around uh, 3 p.m. Pacific tomorrow. Maybe 4. Like we did today. And we'll go from there. <laughs>